Don't forget about the YouTube chat, Shrimp Tom. You always forget about the YouTube chat. Don't forget about the YouTube chat. Ooh, beep borp. Uh, you are in fact first today. Welcome. Good job. Uh, second. Nice. Good job. Good teamwork. Great job, everybody. Great job. What's up, Mitch? How you doing? Honestly, true. Rat jam? Today, today is a rat jam sort of day. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it is a rat jam sort of day. Oakley dokley. So, let's just get off of the old intro screen. Turn on to the real screen with the guy on camera. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream stream. I'm your host, Stream Tom. This is my endgame Dragon Lord build. I ran this a bunch yesterday. I did raids. I did R10s. And honestly, it felt pretty good. I was slamming through monsters. The damage felt good. The crowd control felt great, except trip didn't work most of the time. Um, and honestly, overall, really good. I also spent a lot of time farming. I got all of this gear. I got the augments. I got the special raid weapon outburst. I ran this raid 10 times trying to get it in two days. Used a lot of timers, devil scale bracers, got the heart of Sulamade, spent a bunch of raid runes. And now what I'm going to do is reincarnate it. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to reincarnate. Now, you may be wondering, why would you reincarnate after un unlocking all of this gear and spending all this time? Two things. One, the content mill requires content. And so I need to uh, make a follow-up video on Dragonlord comparing this version to another version of the build I want to do. And two, the other version of the build conveniently uses literally the same items. So I don't have to worry about it. The only difference is instead of the docent, I'll have to farm out a new chest piece because uh, I need a light armor. And instead of this two-handed uh, uh, sword, the outburst, I will be using this one-handed axe, the Hellstorm's Edge uh, instead. Uh, so I'll just be swapping this for this, and uh, it will be basically the same build. So that's going to be the idea there. So I'm going to get prepped to reincarnate, and uh, we can just, you know, hang out, chat, chit the chat, have a good time, you know. Is all the same stats? That's right. Yeah, it's the magic of DDO. I've, there's uh, like a thousand million zillion characters you could play. And I'm going to play a character that's basically exactly the same. That's right. I like that. You guys can talk to each other. That's cool. I don't think YouTube chat shows up on the screen because it's not supposed to, um, unfortunately. Um as a Twitch live streamer, it's actually require a requirement that I don't have the chat show up on camera, which like is kind of whack, but whatever it is, what it is. As a partner streamer, I can't have the YouTube chat show up. Um, I apologize, YouTube chat. God damn, I forgot the reason I was gonna go seventeen was to keep wings. Now no wings. When do I become smart again? Wait. I'm confused. Did you go 16-3 or 16-4 and then drop the wings entirely? Because that's not good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We talked about this. It was... We talked about this. That was, like, the whole thing we talked about. That was the whole conversation we had yesterday. That was literally it. Race managed for the chess piece. I'm turning into a Shader Kai and a uh, different uh, level, level path. Curious their thoughts on the game. Which you like more? Is it comparable at all to DDO? I mean, basically, think of Path of Exile like DDO, except you know how fast we kill monsters? Imagine that the monsters die so fast that you can barely see them. And the reason why that is is because if they don't die that fast, they instantly kill you. And the complexity is times 100. Times 100. And the difference, like if you're if you're a bad character, like not a bad character, but if you're a bit player, but if you have a bad character, like you know, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. You might hit a monster and like crit for like ten thousand on your on your two hander, versus like, you know, a guy that crits for like a hundred thousand on their two hander if they have all the gear and stuff sorted out. 
In Path of Exile, if you crit for 10,000, you're feeling pretty good. Somebody with proper gear will crit for 10 million. Making your number inconsequential because of the difference in scale. And that's basically Path of Exile in a nutshell. Is that the, it's, you know, when you have all the gear and the stats and you know what you're doing, it is it is a order of magnitude beyond your comprehension in terms of scale. Um, are they comparable? Not really. They're very, very different games. Like, I think there's elements of them that are comparable. So, like, um, Path of Exile is and DDR are both action-oriented games, um, and they both have, like, kind of, like, a, a named-slash-unique drop system or, like, gen generic drop system. In Path of Exile, the, the general drops you get, like the random loot, is much more impactful than it is in, like, DDO. In DDO, the random loot's kind of unimportant. Like, you really never need random loot, ever. Um... Until unless you're leveling, but at endgame it's inconsequential. Whereas in Path of Exile, all the best items are very, very hard to acquire random pieces of gear, except for the build enabling uniques. Um, and then the last thing is Path of Exile takes more risks when it comes to changing up the game. So they have way more buffs, way more nerfs. Like, um, people get mad about like, oh my god, they nerfed like Dragon Breath or something. The Path of Exile devs are like, oh, this build is performing really good? Sweet. And they just delete it. They just nuke it from space. And some people get mad, and they go post on Reddit, and they're like, these fucking developers, I hate them, I, they ruined my entire video, I can't play the game with them. And then, within like two days, somebody figures out, or not even two days, within like three hours after that information comes out, somebody finds a new build that's 50 times better, twice as fast, and is even better than the old build, and then people stop talking about the old build, and it doesn't matter anymore. Um, because, as is true of most things, um, if you don't need to innovate on your ideas, you don't. And it's the same thing that happened with Hunt's End in DDO, where people were losing their mind, Hunt's End nerf, Hunt's End nerf, nerfing Hunt's End, Hunt's End nerf. And then you talk to range players and they're like, yeah, Hunt's End's actually still pretty good. Uh, now I'm using Pin, or now I'm using Dire Charge, or now I'm using Shadow Strike, and they're doing way more damage than before. And it's like, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so that's kind of cool. So I like the general changes. I wish DDO made more big sweeping changes more often. Again, the reason why I like this Epic Destiny update is because of the... Um, it's the toy box analogy. I was using more of the Lego box. You can play with Lego. Lego's fine. But uh, eventually you're going to get bored of some of the Lego that's in the box. But when they do a big patch, that's when DDO goes. And they take half the Lego out of the big Lego bin. And then they replace the rest of the Lego in the bin. They just put a bunch more Lego in the bin. And that's what the Epic Destiny patch, patch was. Like... We got so much more Lego. Um, I guess Dreadnought and Divine Crusader didn't really change, but like Fate Singer with Sword Sings and Master Duke Acoustics and like a lot better. Like that's that's super cool. That's like a bunch of new Lego, a bunch of new toys for people to play with. Why Topaz of quick movements in this build? Because it gives you um, quick draw, and quick draw allows you to um, swap weapons faster, and uh, also it's supposed to cut down the time between using an action boost and attacking. I don't know if it does, but it used to do that. There was a time when it did that. And yeah, PoE rating, waiting room. Speaking of PoE rating room, I am in queue. So, good old uh, 7,000 in queue. We'll get there eventually. You, you're ahead of me in queue? Dude, I didn't know when the server was going to go live, so I checked at 12. I checked at 12.30, and it wasn't live in either time. And then I checked at 12.40, and I was 7,000. It is what it is. Uh, I'm lost. Where am I going? How do I find my way? What's up, Rachel Letters? Happy... Oh, yeah, Good Friday. It is Good Friday, I guess. Yeah, so Good Friday. Funny story about Good Friday. So, um... I, uh... PUE day. It's going to be a PUE day, but Path of Exile servers go alive in two hours, so I'm going to be just reincarnating until then, playing the game. Um, so, fun fact. So, I had an issue over the past, like, little bit where um, I came back from my trip to Boston, and I had basically no sense of taste. And that was worrying to me, because do you know what thing has a symptom where you lose your sense of taste? That's right. The coronavirus. So there I am, being like, oh no, I was at PAX. I got the corona again. I don't want to deal with this again. Go to hell, coronavirus. So there I am, mad and fuming. But I, like, didn't have any of the other symptoms of coronavirus. So I was like, that's kind of weird. 
Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. But it's like, oh man, and my lips are really chapped and things aren't going good. Anyway, actually doing an examination instead of ignoring my problems like I usually do, um, I, I just have like a fungus in my mouth, as it turns out. It's like a thing that happens sometimes when you have change in environments. I took my inhaler like a little bit more. Um, yeah, double shot's a good idea. I've been taking my inhaler a little bit more just because of some the early spring that we've been having. And so uh, that really like dries out the mouth and I'm also a mouth breather. So this does happen sometimes to, to people like me. So it's just something that I, I you know have to deal with. It's not a huge deal and it's very easy solve. All you do is literally just go to a doctor, get an antifungal and bada bing, bada boom, you're all set. So it's great. Problem is it's a holiday. So nothing's open today. And then if I was to go tomorrow to like a clinic, um, it's like gonna be like the day in between. So like then nothing's open on Sunday and then Monday again. So I'm like, oh man, I don't really wanna wait in line at a clinic tomorrow for like 10 hours to deal with all that. So I realized I don't have to, uh, I can just go on Monday and deal with the fact that I have uh, I like extreme dry mouth and no sense of taste. I'm just gonna wait till Monday. Is that the right thing to do? No, but it is what I'm doing. So I just, I literally have like constant dry mouth. It's awesome. Yeah, fung I literally said, I said that. I said fungus among us. Yeah, candida fungus. I'm so slow. Oh, did my items not take themselves off? Weird. Oh, items. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm literally fine. Like, it's just like a little bit of discomfort when I talk and I have a dry mouth. And then I'm just going to go and they're going to be like, yeah, here's your medicine or whatever. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Why did I reincarnate? So I can play something new. So when you reincarnate in Dungeons and Dragons Online, uh, Alaru, uh, what it does is it allows you to restart your character and get like more stats for another build and try something different. So for me, I reincarnated today because one, I wanted to get the stats for reincarnation. And two, I wanted to compare the Dragon Lord that I just played, two-handed fighting, to a Shadar Kai version of the Dragon Lord. It's gonna be a slightly different build with Shadar Kai and Bard involvement. And I am hoping uh, that it will be quite fun uh, to be able to play around with. Uh, but again, that's gonna be a bit of a wait and see. Um, but yeah, it should be it should be interesting. And so that's the idea. We're gonna be going a single weapon fighter and using it with Shader Kai with like the big chains and all that, which will be pretty cool. Then you might be wondering like, oh, but you farmed out a bunch of crazy raid gear yesterday. You spent all this time doing that. Yep, I did. <clears throat> but most of that gear is actually gonna be used on this build. I wanted to get a comparison between how does it perform for leveling and at the end game. And the best way to do that is to well, play it again. Uh, so we're testing both things. And that's, that's why we're doing it. That's why we do it. Salt water sucks, but it works. Yeah, gargling salt water. I've been doing the, the salt water gargle. I have been doing that. Uh, I'll be using Rogue, Bard, and Dragon Lord. So one Rogue, three Bard, 16 D Lord. And hopefully it works well. Also, I've done no planning, so I will be winging it because I it can't be that hard. And that's the plan. Or to the build. Oh yeah, yeah. This thing is gonna. This thing starts at level fifteen, so it's gonna be like really easy to get going. I was wondering why I'm just randomly assigning points when you epic reincarnate. You have to just like quickly level yourself up again, which I wish you didn't have to do. It'd be kind of cool if they could, they could take an imprint and then just be like, "Do you want to be exactly the same as you were before?" and then click yes. Uh, that would be nice, but whatever. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. It's one of the reasons why some people will like buy boxes and they'll do a bunch of reincarnations back to back to back. And dude, I can't do that. That would like ruin my day. That would ruin my whole week. Just sitting in this room, clicking around, and I gotta play it. Yeah, 16 Dragon Lord means you get the top aura. 15 means you does not you do not get the top aura. So if you you're missing out on one whole aura by not taking 16. You ever get sick of fixing your bars? No, because you just do it instantly. Slash UI layout load main four. So you can save your UI layouts, and then you can see this text here when I hit enter. Done. Easy. If you didn't know how to do that, you just save a UI layout. So you go in here, slash UI, layout, save, and then where you have these stars here, you just put the name of your layout that you want to use. Is that always in the game? Yeah, it's literally since day one. Um, so you can save a layout, and then you just swap this for load. 
So if you want, just write that down on pen and paper. Get out your get a you know get a get a notebook. I hope I, I assume you guys are taking notes here. Crack out your notebook. Get your pen and paper. Write down stuff, and then problem solverino. But yeah. So UI layout save, and then the name of your layout. If you want to be simple, just call it like main easy, and then you do the same thing. Uh, and then when you want to load it, you do load and then main and you're done. Now, things you need to know is you have to pop the bars out ahead of time. So um, it can only move things in your layout that you have. So if you like, uh, where, where is it? Uh, yeah, this one here, number eight for me, uh, is like the main bar where you pop stuff out of it. You have to pop out and orient the right bars. So because four and five for me are rotated and the rest aren't rotated, I just pop out bars until I see the number seven when I make a new character and then I rotate four and five and then I type it and it auto sets everything. It won't pop out the bars for you. So you have to pop out the bars, but that's only when you make a new character. If you're reincarnating, uh, you just type in a thing and it keeps it. But if you're doing like hardcore or something, you have to, you have to pop it out. Do I have tome, tome check, tomes. I only have plus seven tomes on this character. Wow. Uh, heroic reincarnation. I want a dragon lord past life. Yeah. Plus one melee damage and plus one breath weapon DCs. Cool. Scrim Tom. Yes, you can fine tune the layout in Notepad. So your layout information is saved in your, um, like my games or like my documents, my games, Standing Stone Games folder. There's like a layout thing once you save it. And you go in there and you can edit by pixel, the location of all of the things. So if you want the, your bars to be perfectly aligned, you can go ahead and do that if you're somebody who needs that. For me, I don't really care, so I didn't do it. Also, at some point, I have to... Uh, uh, do my filter blade, get my loot filter going. Berm. So we're an Iconic today. We're running as a Shade Archive. Very convenient. Thank you. Uh, we are a Strength build, so we need Strength. I need Intelligence 16, so I can disable Traps. And Constitution is pretty good. I don't need anything else. I don't need Wisdom, because it's useless. I don't need Charisma, because it's useless. Maybe like, but Strim Tom, aren't you going to be a Bard? Like, yeah, but I have Tomes or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't need Dexterity, because it's useless. Uh, I do want to take precision, but I'm not taking precision early, I don't think. So this is fine. Um, I guess it's going to come out in tomes. I can't take precision at level 1 anyway, um, because of base attack bonus problems. So we can just ignore that. Um, so I'm going to get all the rogue skills, so disable device, UMD. Um, uh, perform, I will max out, because I will have extra points here. Because uh, I just can. Tumble is good. Um, I don't need jump because I'm a strength build, so we'll go open lock. Uh, so disable device, I get search. Search, spot, that's good. Um, I need balance, seven points. So I need to make sure I'm leveling up balance as well. So that's important. Uh, diplomacy, don't care. Bluff, don't care. Haggle, I'm, an, I'm a fighter, so we're going to grab intimidate because intimidate is useful for just holding aggro and stuff. Eight more points, double checking, double checking. What else do I need? I don't need concentration. I don't need jump. Uh, okay. I don't need haggle, so we'll go with swim as well. And is there a cross cross class thing I can do? Do I need heal? I don't do any healing. Do I need perform? No. Uh, or maybe spellcraft? No. I think I need six ranks in perform uh, total, so that's fine. Move silently. I don't need. Uh, yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. So I have four free points. So I will put them into Hegel so I can make more money. I was hoping to build it soon. Uh, technically, I did actually do all the work. I just never posted the video. So technically, that is something I want to I want to get done. So we're gonna take single weapon fighting at one. Fits in single weapon fighting, and then we make our cool as hell shade arc eye. Uh, keep hitting random. Oh yeah, I don't like the eyes closed though. Let's fix that. Oh, how do I fix? Oh, is that the scar? Scar style. Yeah, it's the scar. I don't like the eyes closed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's, we'll fix the scar. I like the hair. That hair is kind of cool. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't want to be lawful good. I want to be chaotic neutral. Uh, is there an alignment? I did, I remember that you needed to be a certain alignment in Dragonlord. Did they patch that out though, right? So you don't need to be an alignment on Dragonlord. 
Spider, Dragon Lord, Alignment, Draconic Outburst, uh, Draconic Might, cannot be used while raging, Alignment Neutral, perfect. So Chaotic Neutral is the way we go, because uh, we're going to be a bard, we can't be lawful, so this is all good. Bazanga. Be with Shadows against Uses and swap it for Precision at 20. Yeah, I, I could do that. I'm not gonna because I don't wanna, but I could. Okay, so the question is, when do I take the Bard? And I think the Bard is gonna be 13, 14, 15, because then I can take all the fighter stuff sooner. So see how my bars are like everywhere, right? So if you see here, it's like, they're just like stacked up and it's useless. Slash UI, lay, UI, layout, load, main, and done. Snap. Easy. How fast is that? All right. Anyway, uh, refuse. Get the get the hell out of here, old man. Get the get out of my face. I gotta go. Got the old ball and chain. You know what I'm saying? The old ball and chain. Uh, the old ball and chain. Yeah, I, I really want to get a shirt. Um, I'm not married, but I find those like. You know, there's like uh, there's like gas station T-shirts or whatever you see on like the rack. That's like, you know, like my favorite time is when I go fishing because it's the only time I actually get some quiet around here, which is like, you know, like the classic, like, boomer, I hate my wife, you know, t-shirt or sentiment or whatever you see in like those old school comics. Um, I don't know why, but I had this really funny, like, idea that hit my brainstem where like, I kind of want to just get a shirt that like skips the subtext because I think it'd be funny. Instead of saying something like that, it would just say, it would just say on the front, in text, I hate my wife, and then on the back it has a ball and chain. I don't know, I just think that'd be really funny. <laughs> no no subtext, only text. <laughs> and somebody'd be like, oh, are you, wait, are you married? I'd be like, no, I've never been married. I just think it's funny. I don't know. I find that humor is like really silly and like totally unintelligible. I used to work with so many people that had that same sentiment, like, oh, I hate going home, you know, gotta spend time with the wife. I'm like, why'd you get married? I don't get it. What's what happened? What went so wrong in your life that you're in this that you're in this place? Uh Dragon Lord, let's go. Don't screw this up. Okay. Table of Ice. Search. UMD Nuts? I think we're doing UMD. Mm hmm Table of Ice search UMD seems appropriate. Uh, I need I need seven balance. Two, four, seven. Okay, so we're gonna have to do UMD for now. We're gonna, do, we're, yeah, we gotta do, we gotta do balance for now. Yeah, I'm gonna do balance live seven, um, which is fine. Uh, fighter feats. Okay, so now I get Therixada's instinct, which is plus tactical DCs, which is pretty good. Do we assume I use a UMD on every character? Yeah, you do. Yeah, the, exactly. The the boomer comic strip, exactly, one hundred percent. 100%. So just, but skip, just no subtext. Text instead. Okay, so now we go here. And don't screw this up. Balance. Damn, I'm just going to do this till I get seven balance. I'm going to do something else. Okay, so now we get a feat and a fighter feat. So this does allow me to take. Um, I don't need a weapon proficiency. We're going with uh, a hand axe. I'm also planning on going with light armor um, for some of the benefits of using light armor, of which there are many. So I can use Precision, which is quite nice, over Power Attack, which gives me a lot of extra direct hits. Um, and I kind of don't hate the idea of taking some of this stuff, but yeah. Um, point Blank is useless. Weapon Focus is not bad. I don't need Power Attack. I don't need... Um, do I need Improved Trip or Improved Sunder? Um, would I take Improved Sunder on this build? So I think the answer is we're still going Tier 5 Dreadnought, because I think Dreadnought is too good to avoid. Um, so I do like the idea of taking Improved Sunder. I don't think you need Improved Trip on this build as much as I like it. I just feel like it's not going to fit in and I can get Improved Trip at a Fury if I really want to. So I think I will go with Power Attack, which then I'm using Precision and Power Attack, but I want the Improved Sunder, I think. Do I need Improved Sunder or can I just use Regular Sunder? Does regular Sunder also strip immunity? I should know this. This is this is this is why we plan these things. Um Dragon Lord. 
Battlefield Tactician. Additionally, if you sunder or uh, oh, when you sunder, it makes them vulnerable to your draconic element. Helpless for trip. It's helpless for improved trip, but improved trip has problems right now. Didn't upgrade the right defender stance. Insect defender, no points to test. Not sure about the PRR loss. Oh, the exact 25 PRR loss? Oh, 30, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Because, uh, so, I can't show the other trees. But... I can here. Hold that phone. The idea here is we go Fury. And if you go Fury, you can get Top Dog. Because the plan is to run for Epic Strike Quick Cutter and to grab Top Dog as well. Um, which then allows me to then use Be the Whirlwind. So I can Whirlwind Attack or Quick Cutter. I don't have Whirlwind Attack, but I will have Quick Cutter. And then I'll have Improved Trip as well. And that kind of saves me all those points. Um, so that's kind of the idea there. Uh, so you can get that. And then that allows me to go into Dreadnought and still grab Sundering Swings. The problem is, I just don't know if I'm... How, like, do I need Improved Sunder? That's the thing. Because Improved Sunder is nice. But since I'm taking the Fortification Reduction, I have a feeling Sunder is basically just... I'm going to use it if a monster is immune to Lightning. And outside of that, I'm not really Sundering is where I'm kind of getting to. So I don't think I am taking Improved Sunder on this character. I think I'm just taking regular Sunder. So I don't think I'm taking those feats at all. So I, I have some more feats. So I think we're not going to do Improved Sunder on this build. Because um, remember, the Warforged build, I took Improved Trip and Sunder also because that was like me reliving my um, experience of being like a kid and playing this game for the first time and being like, big Warforged Sunder, Improved Sunder. So we're going to go with Dodge instead, I think. For the mobility. Uh, dodge and precision seems good. Um, I don't hate the idea of um, getting the ability to bypass um, or like to have uh, weapons that don't break in heroics, which is kind of convenient. But I'm just not going to deal with it. Yeah, we're just going to deal with it. That's fine. All right. We're just going to deal with it. It's all good. I'm going to use precision. 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 Where are you, precision? I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce, man. If only it worked with chains, yeah. So there's an understanding that's worth wings and both packed and cure crit mass, I think probably. 30 PR and 170 HP is a lot. Cure crit how much does your cure crit mass hit for on yourself? Yeah, we're going light armor on this build, for sure. Strength. Device. I just have to make sure I don't take too many of, of like one level because that would be very stupid and embarrassing. We're taking fighter till 12. PR AC, PR same. Oh, armor class, 30 AC. Uh, what's your AC currently? Okay, that, that, and then we go UMD because that's good. Uh, okay, so I like the tactical feats. I don't need those. I don't need nice training. I don't need any of this stuff, so I will go with mobility here. Is mobility good? Grab mobility, because mobility good. Gives me an extra tumble charge, so now I have another one, which is nice. I will be using those tumble charges as well. For those of you who are like, you're, you're going to use, are you even going to, you press that button? You bet I will, Sonny Jim. Okay, any feat in the game? Um, I can take spring attack. Spring attack is quite good. I will already have a dash. I could take Whirlwind Attack as well, but I'll have Double Chain, so I don't think I need Whirlwind Attack either. I kind of just want to grab the Fighter Damage feats, so I think I'll be doing that. So we're going to go with the Weapon Focus here, because I think Weapon Focus is the key. So we're going to go with Weapon Focus Slashing and go that way. Snake Bite. I could take Snake Blood. Honestly, I think I don't think the Armor Class difference is going to make much at that point. Your Mod's 1200. Do you take Cure Serious or no? I just do it because 300 points are worth it for me and not swapping the weapon to oozes. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I have an extra point now. Nice. I'm going to start ranking Intimidate now because I can. Uh, okay. So we have improved single weapon fighting, which is nice, which I didn't even notice I could have taken before. And more strength. I'm going to, like, kind of focus a little bit because I'm not following a guide, like a guide that I wrote. I'm just kind of winging it on the spot. And so I want to make sure I don't ruin this. So apologies if I am... Focusing a little bit more on the screen and not on the chat. 
Yeah, we moved on to Shader Kai. Yeah, we're Shader Kai now. Again, the, this is because I, I want to test a bunch of things. Okay, so offhand versatility. What am I using in my offhand? A buckler or an orb. Both are probably fine. Um, if it's an orb, I get an imbued dice. Is that worth a feat, though? Probably not. So, Eternity's Ward. Uh, this is MRR. No, I want the uh, damage one. Sinvala's Toughness. No. Vila's Fury, I want. And then weapon spec is really good, and so is greater weapon focus. Both are fine. Um, I think for now we're going to grab greater weapon focus, because that seems a little bit more hit chance is usually better. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I might I might go with the offhand versatility, because it is, it is quite good, so we're going to have to test it out later. I can take that at any time, and also if I don't take offhand versatility and I find I actually would have preferred it, that can just go into the build guide, you know what I mean? Guard breaking, maybe. Again, it depends on it depends on how how much I how deep I go into it. Also, Nisabor, welcome back to the stream team for three calendar years. That's a long time. I hope you're doing very very well. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome back, and uh, I am glad to have you here. Weapon spec. Okay, last fighter level before I go to bard. Last fighter level before I go to bard. Don't take another fighter level because if you do, you're gonna kick yourself. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I shouldn't have done that. That's not good. Greater single weapon fighting. Wonderful. Okay. Bard time. Bard. Bard trainer. Down there? Yeah. Chain fighter? That's right. Chains fighter. Uh, we want to be a standard bard because I need swashbuckling. Okay. So, I need six ranks and perform. I need UMD... I need disable device maxed. I need open lock, ma not open lock. I want search maxed. And then UMD. We're going to max that out. I'm also going to be oh, working hey. on open lock. Good uh, day. I don't need What's proficiency. Featherfall, good. Uh, Dragon Lord Fighter, Zeta Lock. Welcome back for 40 months. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the resub. Longer than three years. It's a very long time. I don't know why you're still here, but you are, and I appreciate it. I want Featherfall. I want Swim. I only get one spell, so Featherfall is good. It takes the next level is Bard. I get, um, so the ranks and perform are done. You, disable device is done. Search is done. UMD is done. So now I can just jam open lock for the rest of my points, which is pretty good. I don't need perform. Six ranks is all I need. I don't need haggle. I don't need balance. I don't need swim. Uh, tumble. Oh, tumble ranks. Honestly, do I need to open locks? We have bells of opening. Tumble ranks is pretty convenient because if I get this enough, I'll have more charges. Um, so I think I am going to go for the extra charges on the tumble. Uh, now I want the swim, which is pretty good. Um, because I sh I might be able to get tumble high enough. But that's an extra seven ranks, right? So that's 16. So honestly, at this point, I think I can get my tumble ranks up to 20. Um which will then allow me to get an extra tumble charge. Uh, so I can have 20, because you get, while using later armor, you gain extra tumble charge for every 10 trained ranks. So this will give me four charges, and I'll be able to get up to five very soon. Uh, so that's pretty good. Then I get an extra feat. Now offhand versatility, not a bad option. Um, I want tactical master and supremacy, but these take higher levels. And unfortunately it looks like I can't get supremacy until epics, which I probably will end up taking. And I can't get Tactical Master here. Um, is there like Weapon Focus or whatever? No, it doesn't look like I have Weapon Focus. Or anything special Weapon related. Uh, which is not great. I could take Power Critical, but I don't need it. I could take Improve Critical. You know, that's a pretty good feat that I forgot about. Whoops. And we'll grab Cure, just in Dark case. Here we go. Alright, so now what trees are we using? So Dragon Lord tree number one, very important. Uh, swashbuckler tree number two. Why are we swashbuckling? Because swashbuckling gives plus two to range with a hand axe, which basically makes hand axes scimitars. So this will make my hand axe a 15 to 20 times three. With Dragon Lord, it gives me plus two multi. So that makes my hand axe a 15 to 20 times five. Chain, which is my attack, makes it a 14 to 20 times six. And Greater Chain makes it a... Uh, 
13 to 20 times 7. In an AoE, that hits 3 times, which is disgusting. Which is why we use this combination of abilities. So, we're going to go into Splash Bookling. Uh, I don't need the extra Bard Songs, because uh, it's just for me. So we'll grab Blow by Blow. I don't imagine myself using this attack, but I might. And in the event that I do, I want to have it. I might replace this with uh, just the dodge. So we'll see. So we have Swash Buckling. That is done. Things that are also good is Deflect Arrows. Very valuable. I might take this. We will see how the points shake out. Uh, Shader Kai is next, because I want to make sure I get all the good stuff. This is garbage. Uh, listen to certain spots convenient because I'm a rogue. This is garbage. Um, overcoming Fear is garbage. That's garbage. And, man, look at all the... That's a lot of garbage. This is a lot of garbage. Well, we'll take Bold, I guess. It's better than nothing. Sneak Attack Dice is free damage. Um, dodge, Wolverine, Lighter, No Armor is great. Again, I don't have any decks, so I can't use this stuff. So it's a lot of useless garbage. Uh, free Displacement. I now have Displacement all the time. Um, gaining Dodge when I use Spike Chain is good. So I'm going to take that because it's convenient. Uh, and then I'm going to get the Ghostly Essence capped out. And then we go with the Big Spike Chain. Some people like using Assassin's Mark. Assassin's Mark isn't garbage. It does slow enemies when you attack them. So there is value there. Uh, I am on the fence about it. I don't know what I want to use it. And then we go Dragon Lord. I played blue, so we're going to go blue, which sounds pretty good to me. And then we are going to uh, max out these skills. Uh, I can get Double Strike here, so I'm going to go with the damage. So I'm going to pick up more Double Strike, grab Draconic Arms, get these stats here. Action Boost Haste is the best action boost in the video game. Reckless Devotion is very good. Uh, grab the Dragon Roar. We need uh, Draconic Conviction. No. Might in order. Perfect. Max that out. Uh, I actually don't need Displacement here because it's free, which is a wacky concept. Huh. I actually don't need that because I get it here. And you might be like, well, you could take the point out of here. This is cheaper. Um, it lasts basically forever. Uh, and it has no mana cost, so it's kind of the same thing, except then I can put more points in the Dragon Lord Tree, and there's nothing else good I want to take here. So that's wacky. Uh, alright, so let's just skip that entirely. I have more points to spend than I was expecting. I can get Natural Armor, which isn't bad. I can get Will Saves. I can get Intimidate, which is also not bad. And at rank 3 here, I get plus 2 to hit, which is not bad for one extra point, so I can put 2 points into here. Grab the Field Skills. Take this, take this, take that, take this, take this, take this. It's all good. And now I have four points remaining, two of them for a Universal Tree. Um, so in terms of Universal Tree, I have no need of any of the points anywhere. So I'm just going to go Inquisitive and I for Accuracy. This is plus two to hit, so it's just pretty good. And then for my last tree, I have one Rogue level, so I can't use anything that's really out of here. Uh, for Bard, there's like War Chanter, which I could go for Weapon Training. It gives hit points, imbue dice, uh, flat damage, which is an option. Plus I can get bonuses to hit on my Inspire Courage which I think will probably be a good place to invest a small amount of points, and Scaldic Rage, where you use a Bard Song to ex fly into a Rage. Um, this is not a real Rage. It's a fake Rage. Uh, however, I think it, yeah, it says it only lasts one minute per Bard level, so I think it's only lasts three minutes. I want to test this out. I should be able to use this with Might in Order, but um, we're going to check. So, uh, Might in Order. I need a weapon because I need to be able to check the damages. So whatever. Yeah, because it's not a real rage. So I have a weapon in hand. I am plus 30 to hit. Um, my strength is 10, so I should get an extra plus 5 to hit by using this. So I'm plus 30. Bazinga goes up to 35. We Scaldic Rage, which then goes up to 37. So that, in fact, does stack. So I can use Scaldic Rage for 4 extra strength for free. I just have to use a Bard Song, and I have to use this every 3 minutes. Additionally, it fatigues me when I use it, which is very tedious and very boring. However, there's a couple ways around this. Uh, we can pick up more Bard Songs here, <clears throat> so I can use this more often for the extra strength, because it's basically free, uh, which is convenient. Um, and I don't think I can get any duration on here, but, you know, and I can also pick up Attack and Bard Songs. If I don't want to have the Aura for extra attack rolls, I can just have Attack and Bard Songs here, which is also not too bad, because then it gives me more duration on this, because I will want to be using Inspire on myself for disabling traps. My character is not good at disabling traps, but I do get the Bard class feat, in Bardic Inspiration, where I can do this, and now all of a sudden I get a bonus to my skills, um, and an extra plus four, which should be pretty nice and allow me to disable basically everything in the whole game and be a full rogue, which is nice. How many rogue? One. 
This is a uh, 1631. Uh, the one rogue is just because I don't want to change it and getting three sneak attack damage isn't bad. And the ability to disable every trap in the game isn't bad. Uh, three bard is fine. And uh, then the rest is going to be fighter. A two for evasion plus three imbue. Um, the problem is I'd have to give up on the top um, aura, which means I have to give up on the uh, melee power aura, which I feel like that's pretty good. And I don't want to give that up. Like, if I went 15, you're right, I could get the evasion, but I should be able to get evasion in epics anyway, because I can just run Shadow Dancer for the evasion. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It's evasion? Well, but it's six melee power to the raid, right? It's like the whole, that's the whole raid group. It's not just me. I always prioritize, like, the, the, the whole party. Plus, also, this character is so crit-heavy, and the imbue doesn't work on the crits anyway, so, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. I didn't realize Scaldic Rage worked, but that was a kind of a later addition here. But we are going to get extra Bard Songs, because I need more. Uh, so I'm going to do that instead. And then I'm going to go get some gear. Equipment. So let's uh, let's take care of some stuff. First, I'm going to go get ship buffs, so I can take care of that. Although the music here is really nice. So I'm going to do things in order. So we'll get that on the action bar. Search can go over there. Open lock, I'll put you over there. Uh, blow by blow, I don't see myself using that often. Chain attack, greater spike chain attack, flight of kings, uh, trip, I might use that. Sunder, again, that's for the bypass if I need it. If that comes up in conversation, swashbuckling stance goes on. Displacement, I'm going to cast that all the time. Draconic arms is a toggle. Dragon's roar. Yeah, that's where dragons were ring all the time. Um, so we'll do that. And we'll put that there. Actually, we'll put that there. That's probably fine. Um, Reckless Devotion. I'm probably never using that because that's how I found. The range on this is so short, it's unbelievable. Like, it, it, it's like, look at that. I can't get de Reckless Devotion. You can't quicken it. It's horrible. Can you Scaldic Rage and Trance? Yeah, you can. It's not a real rage. Um, so that's why it's not affected by things that improve rages. So you can definitely do that. Uh, okay. And then I have Swim and Featherfall in here, just in case. And I can cure. Look at that. Oh, give 37 hit points. That's actually way more than I thought. Mana. Okay, anyway. Oh, that guy's healing amp. Uh, okay. Feats. Past lives. So for epics, uh, Ancient Power is Ancient Good. Double Strike is double good. Enchant Weapons is triple good. And I like Brace. I like Ancient Blessings. I feel like with all my multi-classing, my saves should be all like pretty good generally. And if I need to get through a trap, I can just do the old tumble and bam, my trap these saves are infinity, which is pretty nice. And then Iconics, uh, Raise Claw, or not Raise Claw Shifter, uh, Asimar Scourge is more double strike, which I appreciate. So my character gets to have walking around Oh, I don't have any weapons equipped, but I'll have a lot of double strike when I have weapons on. It's not bad. Need mats for my Merfolk's blessing. Uh, yeah, yeah probably. Um, do I? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. All right, now we go to the Riard Carnation Cache. So this is gonna take a little bit of time to get stuff sorted. So it's always the fun part about reincarnating is the like, look at me, I'm going through the whole process of pulling every item out of my bank slowly, one by one. One at a time. I'm gonna try to delete these power of evidences. I hate that these spawn in constantly whenever you make a new character, where it's like you just have like a in near infinite quantity of them. Um, this is from buying the half orc pack back in the day, and it's kind of cool. But I wish I could like disable it so I just didn't have them in my inventory all the time every day. That would be that would be nice. I would, uh, I'd love to not have that be the thing. I don't need any of this. Large gem bag, thank you. Blood of dragons, I don't need buttons of winning. You gotta have a button of winning. That's important. You know, you know what? It's this is a good way to start the character. Hold on. Let's just let's just get that sorted right here. Get one of these going. Ah, time to win. I feel like winning today. There we go. Congratulations. You've won. I won. Congratulations, you've won. Quest complete. Got it done. Beautiful. Always got to get those going. Uh, it's important to feel like a winner every day. And what better way to win than by paying for it? So I did pay to win, and uh, I won. 
So it was pretty good. Good deal overall. Flask of America. We got Flask of Death Word. Reaper Eyes. So I want to use my Reaper color stuff. Maybe. I'm like totally reincarnating this dead character in like four days. So I'm probably not going to do that. Um, But I have tons of money I don't know what to do with. So maybe I will. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do... Yeah, we can run purple. Purple's kind of cool. Reaper Eyes. Reaper Wings. Chug Lug. Uh, What's Greater Treasure Hunter Boosts are good. Chug Hope Lug. You are having a good day. Thank you. I am having a good day. Welcome back to the stream team. Slam Dunk. Appreciate the support. I hope you're doing well as well. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Hope things are going good for you. Jack Jibber's Blade. Potion of Haste. Jib. Go down here. Um, Potion of Disease Removal. So we have that sorted. Lesser Resto. Curse is in here somewhere. I probably missed it. It's right here. Perfect. Uh, I put, just pulled it out here. I have a lot of just garbage in my inventory, so I'm, I'm currently just in the process of sorting it out. So if you're like, man, your inventory looks stressful. Yeah, it'll it'll get better. It's just, it's not currently. Uh, Skullduggery cap is nice. Key to the city. XP potion. I don't think I need this other stuff. I think this is all fine. It's all just like one, it's all the stuff you just grab like one step at a time. It's my teleport item. Did I grab it already? Yeah, I did. Nice. Uh, that's done, that's done. Key to the city, XP potion. I'm just gonna put this here. Because I want to have that down there. And I want to have this. I have the cakes just because I have so many of them. And when you're doing, like, early leveling, sometimes, like, you're playing with somebody who's, like, kind of new or they, like, run into a trap and they, like, don't know where the trap is. And I feel bad in those situations. So, um, especially if it's just, like, because, you know, when, you, when you're when you zerging a lot, uh, sometimes other people will zerg with you because even if they don't know exactly where they're going. But it's just like, they're fun. It's fun, it's in the moment. Uh, and then they get obliterated. So I like to carry the cakes around just to, to help people out who are doing that. Also, I have millions from gold rolls. So what are you gonna do? Uh, what's my league starter? I don't know, I'm gonna have you guys vote on it. Um, because for me, it's either, uh, they should let us rage in the strength trance. Uh, it's just because it would be the best, like strength already is the best build in the game. And it's basically like they, if they let you rage in strength trance, all it's going to do is make you do like 20% more damage than you'd otherwise do for like, that's about it. It's not that they can't do it. They just, they just didn't want, like strength is already the best way to scale damage. So they just didn't want uh, more damage. This is my interpretation. Uh, maybe it's wrong, but that's what I would imagine is the case because... Again, strength is the best way to scale damage, so that wouldn't be a huge surprise if that is why they decided to limit that. Uh, do I need GH scrolls? No, I have a planar gird. <laughs> Although I will take heal scrolls, it's pretty good. Yep, basically. When one option is so good, it kind of eclipses every other option in the entire game. Generally, not the best way to go about doing stuff. Doesn't mean they can't, but yeah. What are we voting on? Uh, League Starter. I'll probably, I'll probably have, uh, I'll probably put it up here. If you don't know about Path of Exile, feel free to just vote anyway. But yeah, I can't decide between Power Siphon of the Archmage, uh, Elemental Hit of the Spectrum, or um, Void Sphere of Rending. They're all very cool. And they're all probably not going to work well, and I'll probably need a second character, but I should be able to take all three to tier 16 maps, so... I just need to figure out the, the pieces that go in between. Uh, okay. That's good. So that's items. Let's actually get some gear for this character. So that's all the things that I've got. So we got the heal scrolls. We got the raised dead. We got the, the uh, this here. We have teleport. We have greater teleport, the convenience factor. It seems like the root problem is they added too many strength boosts to the game then. E probably, yeah. I mean, I don't really think that the, the the strength boost is more of the issue. I think the issue, from my perspective, is that uh, the problem is that the idea is you, if you're scaling a secondary stat, like say you're using intelligence to damage, you're playing a class that uses intelligence in some other way. So like, if I'm using intelligence to hit and damage, it's not going to scale up to the way that strength is, but... I'm a wizard. I can cast a spell and have it function. 
The problem is, because main stat isn't the only determining factor of how characters scale, and instead, one of the main determining factors of how characters scale is pretty much exclusively, um, like, secondary stats, like spell DCs as an example, if you have a high intelligence and you want to deal damage, it's very difficult for you to also maintain the spell DCs at the same time. So I think in the devs world, they value that, you know, strength is just raw damage and like tactics, but like dire charge doesn't have the same versatility or like just ease of use of something like mass hold monster, which just like at range locks everything down. Um, but the problem is, is that if you are playing an intelligence build, even if you're a wizard, you probably still can't hit things with your mass hold because of the limitation of how spell DCs work. So I think the idea is that strength being higher is fine because in theory, you get secondary benefits from having intelligence or wisdom or charisma or something else that you don't get with strength because strength doesn't scale skills either, right? Like intelligence is your trapping ability. Wisdom is like heal and spot. Uh, charisma is like your intimidates and other stuff. And there's like secondary things that work off of them. And so like, I think that's more of the main issue. I could be wrong about that, but that's my interpretation of that is that's more of the main issue. Um, this Enforcer's Coat is definitely not levelless. Okay, so Necklace of Charisma is pretty good. But again, I uh, as I said, that's just my um, my interpretation of how that how that would function. Not, it doesn't have to necessarily be true. I'm just, you know, speaking out loud here. Okay, so we have an Intelligence Cloak, which is pretty good. I do want that. I have to find an item that gives me rogue skills. I hope I have one. I think I have a key lock ring somewhere. But yeah, the, just the main issue is that that doesn't happen as often in the game. Uh, I, I definitely have a key lock. I don't know where it is, but I know I have one somewhere. Not here, though, so... No. Well, uh, well, we'll, we'll... So I want to use strength gloves, because I'm pretty sure I have, like, a pair of strength gloves, 15. Elliot the Spectrum sounds really cool. It it's very cool. It's basically elemental hit, but it does all three elements at the same time. Which, like, that's that's kinda sick, not gonna lie. Like it's just elemental hit, but it hits all three. So it's fire, lightning, and cold. Um, and so it's like this try Ellie thing, and so it's gonna do it on like a wander as a uh, as an element or as a witch, and try to scale like try Ellie and kind of work like that, which seemed cool. Um, other items in here. Chain of Manacles does give sheltering and vitality and fortification, which is not terrible because I don't have magical sheltering. So I can just throw in Chain of Manacles here, which is not bad. Uh, we're going to go down here. So yeah, my only strength item it looks like for heroics is a um, pair of gloves here that is eight plus eight, which is not terrible. So we can definitely use that for sure. Uh, Flight Foot Greaves give me America, so I'll just throw these bad boys in there. So I got Strength, Insightful Strength. I got all of the offensive stats. I've got True Seeing. I have uh, Ghostly. I got Dexterity. I got Constitution, Insightful Constitution. I already have Sheltering, so I don't need the Chain of Manacles. So we can get rid of that. So then what am I missing? Uh, Sandy Fighter Sash gives me Trip and Stun, which is very convenient, and Vitality. I don't have those stats, which is nice. And then I have a Bracer. Now, oddly enough, I can actually use the Bracer because I don't have Insightful Sheltering and the Hallowed Castigators exists. So we'll just grab the Hallowed Castigators because it's convenient. And I have an entirely open helmet slot with nothing to do with it. So let's click Head and see what we got. I don't want any of these. Um, Memories of Kindness with Quality Sheltering Mythic is not the worst thing in my inventory. Crown of... Fi uh, is it Leaves with the Profane Well-Rounded? I really wish I had something better, but I don't know how I don't have, like, a helmet here. What's the base Shader Guy helmet? Death Block, Disable Device 13. I mean, you know, that's pretty good. Gets the job done, man. Do you Shaper Storm's Winter of Flames for that? No. Uh, actually, you run Secrets, uh, uh, Secrets of Suffering, which makes it so critical hits. Instead, apply Sap, Brittle, and Scorch. Um... And then you use Skitterbots to apply Shock and Chill. So then you're applying five different elemental ailments. Um, and so then you have, uh, yeah, so you have the five different ailments going. Um, and then you use the Elemental Convergence and the Golem stuff. 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. I need a weapon now, which I don't have. Oh, so let's get that sorted. Is this uh, Thieves' Tools? Nice. And I'll delete that, delete this, delete this. I gotta turn this off. I probably need cosmetics. I should... Sly Gloves, no thanks. Should probably need to go get Leather Gloves of the Snake. Um, which is a thing, but we'll sort that out. I have 755 hit points. I got four tumble charges, which is nice. I can tumble around all the time. And I have to go to Ravenloft to get a weapon. Which means I have to do the opening of Ravenloft. And I deleted all my weapons. I'm so dumb. I literally deleted all my weapons. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Outburst Dream is dead. Well, I wanted to test out more stuff. Also, I mentioned yesterday on stream that I was reincarnating today anyway. Get a Soul Marsh weapon. Uh, I, I don't have... I don't have the materials to make one. I'm just gonna go take one. Uh, but yeah, I want to compare. Just, uh, wait. Just League and just start League Ender, so you don't have to start mid characters. That's usually what I do. Um, that's a lot of mailboxes. All right, it's <laughs> a lot of mail. Uh, that's kind of funny. I just need to find any weapon that lets me do the quest. So let's go with main hand, weapon. Uh, Assassin's Kiss is not a bad option. So, we'll just take Assassin's Kiss and then go run it back. But yeah, the other reason why I think offhand versatility will be good is I don't see myself going this far up Swashbuckler for the Swashbuckling. Although Dashing Scoundrel is 10 double strike, which can be pretty good. So I might go up there. We'll see. I'm not sure how the points are going to lay out. But offhand versatility plus free 10 double strike does seem tasty, especially considering I can take deflect arrows he here, and I might need the extra dodge as well. So again, we'll see. Not that hard to get. Coming off after not taking the right class split? Maybe. I mean, you know, everybody takes time to learn different things. The city of Storm and for some of us, that time is much longer than others. Ship has arrived to ferry passengers to Sharn. The city of towers. Yeah, I don't have the, the axe of the unseen. Seeks heroes looking for a grand yeah, so this seems fine. I got a little bit of that. Uh, my Speed dodge is capped somehow. It's good. Do I have a dodge item? I honestly don't even know. Uh, just slam elite into the mist. I could probably do normal, but whatever. It's fine. You stumble okay. Through the thick so let's pretend I understand how to play. So I do this. Give myself the skullduggery cap so I have death block or death ward. So we're all set. Um, I have Blow by Blow, I have a Dragon's Roar, if anything is immune to Lightning, which turn on Double Strike, if anything is immune to Lightning, I can Sunder the Lightning immunity away, and I use Scaldic Rage and then Might in Order, and I haste myself. I don't need this. This seems good. So we'll see. Ruth going for your Pierce Washbuckler. The problem is the Capstone used to be cool because gave you evasion, and now everything literally gives you evasion. So you don't ever have to worry about it. Like, if you don't have evasion somehow in DDO, I don't know what to tell you. But it's really easy to get. Okay, so now we go, wee ghastly chain, and we whip chain attack everything. I didn't put precision on my bar, because I'm an idiot, and a rube. Uh, a Moran, and I'm a feared. I'm not fear immune because I don't have GH because I forgot to use my greater heroism item. Whee! I forgot how fast that attack is. God damn. When you have action boost taste up, it's kind of cool. Hey, buds. Get out of here, wolves. I require real weaponry. Thank you. Uh, what's the class split? This is 16 Dragon Lord, 3 Bard, 1 Rogue. What's the idea here? Okay, let's get Precision real quick, because that is like a feat that I need to turn on. It gives me more hit chance and bypass, which is good. So I'm plus 70 to hit, so I shouldn't really ever miss. I don't want the Assassin's Kiss, which is 18 to 20 times 5, which is fine. But I want the Hand Axe. So we get a Barovian Hand Axe. Now the hand axe is the 15 to 20 times five. So that's what I'm talking about. So the idea here is you walk into the party and then everything dies and you see these guys and then everything dies. And uh, that's kind of the idea behind the character. 
you just run around and whip chain people <clears throat> and if somehow something is still alive uh, you whip them again and if something is somehow still alive you shout at them and then you whip them do you understand how the build works this is going to be very good by the way the so dragon lord is not applying dragon lord is plus two to multi that's the idea behind the split multi and this is only range so they add together my own whip ah yes yeah, the the classic blunder yeah yeah it's basically you just press w until there are monsters and then you click you take your mouse it's hard because it's all over the screen you got to navigate around find whip and then just and that's basically it you don't have to do anything else Everything else is uh, nothing I need. I'm going to refill my scrolls just so that way I, I, I have them filled because I don't want to be like stupid and like not be able to cure somebody or something because I don't have my scrolls. I'll be good. True. Yeah, you can just do it on the horse. Run around keeping the borderlands, blasting people. Not a bad idea. All right. So go here. Divine scroll vendor. Hello. How are you doing? 75. Buy these. I could probably get Resurrection, but we're just going to buy Raised Deads for now. I'll buy Resurrections later. It's fine. It's not a big deal. All right. Oh, also, I got to show off my Reaper wings. Wings of the Reaper. Eyes of the Reaper. Kablamo. Uh, also, I need blue dragon scale. Do I have blue dragon scales? I don't think I have any cosmetics, but I'm going to double check my cosmetics character because I might need to go get that. We're level 15. I know. Isn't that crazy? I'm just, honestly, I'm a gifted leveler. I just level so fast. I know it's hard for many of you guys to just fathom how fast I level on my characters, but, you know, it's just, I am that impressive. I, I am. It's true. No. I got to spend my Reaper points, which I didn't do. Reaper points, Reaper points, strength, strength, give me the strength, or oh, one point here, and then that's pretty good. Uh, do I want dodge? I mean, I probably need to dodge. Maybe I want will saves or something, because will saves are like my lowest save. I want one point here. I don't know. I probably, I don't think I need to dodge right now, but I probably will in the future. The extra plus nine is very convenient. Um, I'm going to check for cosmetics, and then I'm going to check my cosmetic character, see if I have blue dragon scale. If I don't have blue dragon scale, i got to go make some, uh, which means I'm going to do tour with dragons this life to start to refill the scales. Cosmetics, it's an empty uh, all. No blue dragon scale. Okay, so I'm going to go check to see what I got. If I don't have blue dragon scale, I have to go get some because it fits the character. Normal servers? I agree. I wish you could too. Um, I, people have been asking SSG that forever. So now we log into Mr. Wardrobe. It's my uh, character that has all my, my stuff. This is the, one of the random characters I played. Ranger, Artificer, Bard, Warforged. What a, with intelligence as the main stat, I think. God, this was a character build. Got to level 20 on Hardcore. It worked out well. Good old Mr. Wardrobe. All right, Mr. Wardrobe, what do we got? We have... I'm just going to type in Dragon. Drag. White Dragon Plate. Okay, so I don't have Dragon Scale, so I will have to go make some. Uh, I'm just going to relog because I went to a few different areas. Um, I would like start an evening star, so I had to load all of evening star and then I'm coming back. So just to refresh it so I have uh, less frame problems uh, during the leveling process. While I'm waiting for DDO to close, I'm gonna do two things. Um, well, actually I'm gonna do one thing. Now available, Dragon Lord and more. As of the 28th. Okay, so that makes sense. So whoever was in the other day, I cannot remember your name. Your, I know your name was Red. I just can't remember the exact name because my memory sucks. Um, but they had an issue where they couldn't play Dragon Lord. It wasn't VIP. It's because it wasn't VIP on the 27th. They made it. They added in the VIP on the 28th. They did say after the 27th it would be available. So there was technically one day where you couldn't play Dragon Lord as a VIP if you didn't claim it. Why was it designed like that? I don't know. Yeah. 
the start. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick poll. Uh, if you care, answer. Um, Uh... Alright, feel free to vote in this Path of Exile oriented poll, if you care. He was up. Dude, the queue was up over an hour ago. I've been in queue since like yesterday. I'm a queue expert, okay? I'm 7,000 in line. I dare you doubt my Q expertise. Well, why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. I was sitting right here and I said, Ipsum, the Q is up. When, when I wasn't streaming yet. I did say it. I had, those words left my mouth. Oh, right. I need, uh, I need the, the skills. Look, man, I'm trying my best. All right, so now we are a dragon lord. We got to look the part. Uh, so I got to go get some uh, dragon scale blue. I hope I have some blue dragon scales. I have 73. I can make a lot of armor. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go make some. Uh, so that's fun. So I can get greater TP to giant hold. Let's go. <clears throat> I can greater TP to, uh, to uh, giant hold. Nice. Personal responsibility. Yep, yep, there you go. That's what it is. I need to find my hand axe now. Where'd it go? Where's the hand axe? There you go. Blue. This guy. Master blue scale meth. Armac Orum. Okay, so which one looks the coolest? We're gonna look at the blue dragon scale real quick. Um, Video Armac Orum. He makes the blue dragon scale, which turns into the armors. So I'm gonna get this going here. So armor, 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 armor. So we have the dragon hide, which looks all right. Dragon plate, dragon scale. Ooh, I like the dragon scale, not the docent. And the robe, I like the dragon scale. That looks good. Get the black ones. I'm a, but I'm doing blue. But I'm, I'm a blue dragon. Yeah, I, I like the, I like the skirt. Um. Skirts are one of those things that, like, from a combat, like armor design perspective, makes so much more sense. As opposed to having something tight to your body, you have chain that is hanging at a distance away, so it just, it absorbs some of the blow, and because there's some looseness to it. Um, it, it's like you, you have this, like, uh, it, or, it, you know, they have to apply extra pressure to break through. It's just a smart idea. All right. Blue dragon scale is what we are going with. So that seems good to me. 20 scales down and trade. Okay. We did not have a lot of people voting in the poll. An elemental hit of the spectrum was the one that came in last. Damn it. Well, it's still my thing, so I can do whatever I want. Okay, I need a, uh, I need a thing. I need a mirror. So I can glamour it up. Can I check my account, please? And I don't think I have any cosmetics in here, so we'll see. Shrim, have you been to Bicoline? I don't know what that is. I don't know if that is a video game location. I don't know if that's a real world location. I don't know if that's a fair. I don't know if that's a public event. I couldn't tell you at all. Oops. A mirror here? Yes. TV, so I didn't vote? Oh, no, no. That's that's completely... No, no, no. Uninformed voting is like a right. You should be allowed to vote for whoever you want, even if you don't know anything about the whole process. Just do, do whatever you want, man. Is this bound? I hate that. Whatever. That's the wrong bank. View largest LARP in North America. LARPing? Oh no. What is that? How do I spell this? Beco line? Oh, Duché de Beco line. It's in French. It's in Quebec. The freak in hell is this? 
St. Matthew du Parc? Where is St. Matthew du Parc? I'm gonna look this up. I'm Googling it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sean again. Trois Rivière. Past Montreal. Oh, dude, that's like a five hour drive. It's actually like a four hour drive. Well, no, it's like a five hour drive. I am not much of a LARPer. Um, I like to do my. Uh, oh, I need blue hair. I'm blue dragonborn. I need blue hair. I'm, I'm more of a. Um, I, I'm more of a. Uh, like, if, my thought process is if you don't know anything about Path of Exile, you just vote for the one that sounds the coolest. Uh, but I am more of a... Um, do things within the confines of my home uh, sort of person. Uh, cut hair color. Okay. Sky blue, cerulean blue, royal blue. Uh, royal blue, midnight blue, cerulean blue. I want something bright because I'm more like blue electric. So we'll do sky blue. That seems good. Yeah, more of like sit in my house and do something by myself. I went to Big Line last year. He had a blast. Like, I'm sure it probably is fun. There we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Now we're cooking with gasoline. If there was blue Reaper wings, we would be in business. I don't have a blue hand axe. I'm so sorry. I just don't have one. Yeah, it does seem like there would be one of those things that would be kind of fun. Yeah, definitely want to take like the whole weekend and go, go check it out. It would be kind of neat. Sweet auras. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably do that. And then I vote for the one with the damage. Path of Exile is only damage. <laughs> I'm gonna put a poll, but I don't care about the results. I mean, I'm not gonna care about the the results if, uh, you know, not even 10% of the people uh, engaged. Then it becomes straight up dictatorship. And so you talk about armor, what should you say about the skirt of plates? Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but I do watch YouTube videos. And so seeing people in YouTube videos talk about the value of skirts on armor, and it's like, yeah, dude, look at that. So you look at the protection, because it's it's like looser fabric. So if you try to apply pressure, the fabric moves with it, so it's harder to break. Although this isn't chain, this is dragon scale. They don't have dragon scales in real life, but they did have scale armor. Just use, like, metal scales. That's why aminals have scales. And snow peaks have a hand axe? Yeah. And I have that hand axe, but I don't know where it is. Make a lit two hand axe or see a uh, Seranion. Yeah, that could work. Look, man, I want to join a quest and go on an adventure, all right? And there's Russia doing memoirs. You know what? That's the perfect group to join. Get to stretch, you know, wet my teeth on something. Oh, hey, what's up? And then Russia sometimes says hi, and most of the time says Reaper 7. I say hi, and that's it. What's up, the screen? How you doing? Yeah, this is uh, this is always. Oh, I got it. I got the high. Oh yeah. I don't know what difficulty this is, but we'll find out. Ooh, R one. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the things that you got to be on at the right time. I didn't put on any of my buffs, I just I saw the fight was going on. Um, also, I'm a fighter, so I have access to second wind as well. No more tricks. Thank you. Oh, yeah, dude. Man, let's go. Eat chicken tendies for lunch? Sounds sounds good to me. Didn't know existed. Yeah. So I got I got I got cures for others. I got cures for me. Hmm. It's not a lot because it's very low level. Look at the cash level. Three out of five max. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know where we're going next. He teleported. Kobold. Uh in twelve. Okay. We are doing the kobold quest. Sounds good to me. Pop it a hireling when he goes R7 to show that you're a good player. True. That is a classic move. Join the party on Reaper 7 and then open up a hireling. Anyway, there's only a black dragon in here. My character is blue dragon, so I think there's some good synergy. Although black dragon is like acid, which is associated with earth. And blue dragon is associated with lightning. And I've recently started playing Element TD2. And in that game, 
Earth takes half from lightning, so maybe it's a bad idea, but we'll find out. R1? I don't know what's going on now. Look, dude, I'll take it, but this is uh, this is sus. It's a weird circumstance. Yes, this is weird. I don't I don't know why we're on R1, but all right. Could be UI. Check X. No, it's R1. Maybe he doesn't want to play Monk. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it could be a misclick. I mean, maybe he just doesn't want to want to play R10. I don't know. You gotta let people go at their own pace. That's that's my opinion. You gotta let people go at their own pace. Oh shoot! I uh, got stunned for 10 seconds. <laughs> Whoops. Chains just uses your weapon. It's a weapon attack. Basically, think of it like you put your weapon on the end of the chain and then you hit people with the weapon. That's how it works. Yeah, it also only uses your main hand weapon. That's why it's really good with single weapon fighting because you get the increased attack speed on the chain. Damn it. Stunned. Again. Taking a lot of damage. Can I fix this? Uh, I can. Eventually. I don't have the capacity to do that as of right now. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna do this. Do we have a ranged weapon? Um. I don't have a ranged weapon. I don't know if I can hit this. I might be able to. Okay. Yes, I can. Nice. Easy game. It took me a second to think, but I'm like, all right. I don't know how we're going to get through the next one. Let me drop combat. Boop. Back to full. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I'm gonna solve a lot of these problems, but that's a that's a future me issue. Also, I should be uh, using the dragon shout on these guys to make them helpless, which I absolutely was not doing. And I can also use trip in here, which I'm also not doing. I'm not doing a lot of things that I should be doing, because I that's the problem when you like just reincarnate, especially like level 15. It's like I have so many different buttons to press all of a sudden. I'm back, I'm back. So now this one, I think he has a thrown weapon, so I think this will work. I don't have a thrown weapon, so I can't do anything to this one. You actually just need, straight up need to have a thrown weapon, that's how it works. Uh, or like a ranged attack of some kind. Like a spell. Nice, we're good. Spell combat, let's go. There's a bow in a barrel. There could be a bow in a... Oh, is there guaranteed to be a bow in a barrel? God, I love... I love this, this weapon. It's like, chains! You guys remember that old video? Still, surprisingly, one of my most popular YouTube videos of all time, and I've never been able to recapture that magic on a future future video. Apparently me just going chips a lot was uh, very entertaining. And, as is true to custom, uh, after the event, uh, I had an artist hand draw a really cool custom chains design to throw in a t-shirt. And I've sold basically zero. No. It is what it is. I made the shirts specifically so that if people wanted them, they'd be able to get them. Not because I wanted to make money off of shirts. I'm not like a... Um, a graphic artist or like somebody who's like big into fashion. It's mostly just like people are like, Yeah, chains! And it's like, oh yeah, I can, I can make that a little... like clickable moment, you know what I mean? Miss. Ah, uh, yes, the old, the old miss on everything attack. Got him. What's this build? This is Chains uh, Dragonlord. So it's like Dragonlord, but with Chains. I have a question for you. Have any of you or your players tried hands with Dexedin? Uh, no. I have never played in a 5e game with a Paladin. Finn. All right, we're not doing the extra step. He said Finn, so we're out. The air suddenly tears open. A towering magical door. What's the value? Something very large and very of, powerful. Of what's the value of a of Dex Paladin? Plaza two. You got it. 
You think Trade's Dragonlord would be better than the two-handed fighting one? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm slamming people for close to 2,000 damage already. And I'm not using the Sword of Shadow. Unlike the other character, which was using the Sword of Shadow and was not doing that. Uh, my split? Yeah, 16. It's going to be 16-3-1. Three, one. Three, one rogue, three bard, 16 dragon. Yeah. Summerfield District. Blockade Buster. All numbering classes in five. Is it? I don't know. I personally find the 5e um, rules of like. There's a lot of 5e rules that I find not that great. Like, in a game like Dungeons and Dragons Online, it makes sense to just have bows do, like, dex to hit and damage, as an example, because it's like... Is there's so many other ways to scale damage, and it just doesn't make sense to have this, like, weird split with bows where they, like, don't do that. Have this weird split damage because it's a video game. But then, like, in the pen and paper, if I could do the same damage with a bow, or more damage with a bow, at the same attack speed, or even faster due to abilities, than I can with, like, an actual finessable weapon like a dagger, or even a longsword, why wouldn't I just use a bow all the time? And so, um, that's one of those, like, decisions that seems weird, but, like, in 3-5, as an example, you get dexterity to hit with a bow, but to get damage, you need to get a specific custom-made composite strength-adjusted bow that would then allow you to add bonus points of your strength onto your bow. None of this, like, DDO bow strength nonsense. And so that means that strength is still, like, the damage stat it, uh, and kind of comes into it. Same with throwing weapons. Dex to hit, strength to damage. Because um, they knew that just having it all scale off of one would be a problem, especially because dexterity, in general, I mean, dexterity gives you literal armor class and saving throws, and strength doesn't. Also, dexterity feeds into a lot of skills, and strength doesn't. So this, all of this makes total and perfect sense to me. What's my DCs, anyway? Dragon Breath is 64. Trip, 57. That's not bad. Hammer's on the wrong side of chat. Oh, yeah, it's because I had this thing. I, I, it was on the wrong side. Thank you for noticing. Um, but yeah, so that's, um, I can see that being a thing, but yeah, I just, I haven't played any 5e with a paladin, so I don't know. And also, um, it's a little bit more complicated because the last 5e game that I ran was with a bunch of like very beginner players. So they like literally were learning how to play as we were doing it. And so as a result, you know, people didn't make the best character decisions. They were all making their first characters ever in D&D and they just picked abilities that were cool and uh, like obviously I, I coach them with it on like the what they should do and you know how they make different types of decisions but at the end of the day it was it was their their characters their builds right so uh i let them have a lot of fun with it and uh, kind of learn as they went and kind of build their characters up because that's part of the D, &D experience is like making a character and then, like making mistakes or having somebody who's flawed uh, what's the setting that lets you see your dc in the tooltip the mouse so if you put, take your mouse, your cursor, and you put it over top, it displays a tooltip, and then in it, it shows the saving throw. That's the setting. That's that's the that's how that's just that's the default function of DDO is that you put your mouse over top and you can see your your thing. I don't mean mean to be a jerk about that. That's just, that's uh, the default function of the video game. Droam's rampage through you've slain the majority of Droam forces. Are we done? That was fast. Ruins. But beating war drums indicate the invaders are preparing. I don't take any assault. damage. So yeah, so that was my the last D and D campaign that I ran, and the current D and D campaign that I'm running is a custom one, in the sense that I am uh, for the custom campaign. I wrote a custom world, so it's my own custom little world and all that, uh, full story and everything. And then I gave my players the world document, and I let them read the world document and think about their character's place in the world. Who are they? What did they do? What was their job hitherto? I gave them the, the one prompt of they wanted to be an adventurer, so they have to figure out who their character is and why they wanted to do that. 
but I let them basically think of all of the things that their character was and who they were going to be Rank and all that. From the Storm Reach sewer system and then, up from this um, sewer tunnel beyond this there we hatch, go. Leads to After uh, having all that information, kind of they all thought about it and noodled on it for a little bit, I then sat down with each person and they described their character to me in as much detail as possible. And then I wrote their character class based on their description. So they were like, yeah, my character's... Um, uh, it's like yeah, my, uh, like somebody's like yeah, my character's from up north. My character uses like has like some access to like natural magic that I use to help out around you know the farm or whatever. And then as I got older, or it's like as I developed it more, I realized like oh, I could do stuff with this. I could go be like a famous adventurer. And I wanted to go do a thing. And I was like oh, okay, sounds good. So then somebody grew up up north. They have nature adjacent magic. How does that work? How does that fit? And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how how I did all that. So as a result. I don't know about Dex Paladin because, I'm, uh, you know, my, my campaign has, like, all sorts of wacky stuff. Um, it's, it's all custom classes. Which, by the way, if you ever want to see any of that, you're interested, you think, oh, wow, you did all that? That's kind of cool. You can. Uh, in the Discord, there's the category called Pen and Paper, and the pinned message is my whole campaign notes section, so you can read all about my campaign and the world and the religions and the... The theology and the ethics and the the places and the maps and whatever it's all in there as well as all the classes so if that ever sounds interesting to you you're more than welcome to just take a gander i take east ship south oh i can't perform that action underwater well i hope i don't get feared Annoying. The Droan That'd be annoying. fleet has gathered here during this order. dark Let's go. night, probably for mutual protection. Such measures might help against a naval attack, but not against you. Not against me. Sorry, bub. The crew of the Vengeance has been alert. The alarm rings out. The crew of the Carnage will now be ready to confront. Wait, how those guys not get stunned? Whatever. Get me to cut the line ahead of Strim Tom at Pax. Cut the line ahead of Strim Tom at Pax. It didn't matter. They let us all in anyway. The theater was pretty empty. Like, there was... Not that there wasn't people there, but, like, they probably, like, half-filled the theater, which, for DDO, I'm gonna be honest, I was very impressed. I was very, very impressed that they had so many people actually at the event. For those that don't know, uh, Dungeons & Dragons Online hosted a panel at PAX. They talked about how they do monster design and stuff. It was pretty cool. Like, if you're somebody who knows a little bit about the game, it was probably a lot of stuff you already knew. Uh, but they did go into some interesting insights about um, how they come up with some different monster designs and some of the model process and, like, the workups, which I personally thought was interesting. As somebody who was, like, kind of interested in things around game design. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and then there was a surprising number of people who'd, like, never played who just, like, showed up for the panel. And we're just like, yeah, I got a question about this thing. It was kind of sick. Yeah. Somebody come out. Our group is 16 of them. You had a group of 16? That's crazy. I didn't even know 16 people played Dungeons & Dragons online. That's madness. Master tactician of the Droam Navy. I just walked in with Ipsum. The lower decks of the My Q, 7,000. The entire crew was awakened by the are, we rank are, we are we ranking each other based on Q? And yeah, I, have to, I haven't done any loot filters at all. I have to go do that eventually. I still have like 50 minutes to get my loot filter done, so I got time. 44,000? Wow, what a chump. Oh my god, 18 hundo. That feels good. Intelligence? Ooh. So I can just like 15 seconds and get out of here? Swim. This is the wrong way. Well... You know, that's good. You just swim down. I'm gonna swim around. The boat's exploding. One down, two to go. There we go, we're good. I think I'm safe. Nice. Good. One down. Oh god, get out of the water. Get out of the water. 8 p.m. League Start, who does that? They literally do that every time. Every time. Like, literally every time. Filter blade. I do have to make a filter. Um. So. Something I don't know in terms of the filter. So, like, 
Oh yeah, sign in with PoE. I gotta sign in. Something I don't know. Can I just update my filter? Like I had all the sounds and stuff customized. Can I just update it with all the sounds without it like redoing everything? Or does that not work? Just one more drill Load it and it updates. To to the bottom That's it. Of the ocean. Okay, interesting. Probably a lot of people trying to use filter blade right now. So I'm just gonna load it up and get that sworded. Get that sworded. So this should be a good time. I want to tell people to go grab the month of freebie. The month month of I can't read that last word. It's being hidden by YouTube chat being total fucking garbage. Dude, I I will never stop being upset about this. Look. What word is behind that heart? I don't know. I have no clue. It could literally be anything. And I'll never know because there's a, a message on the chat. Why? Worst design I've ever seen. It is completely baffling to me. Um, but yeah, there is a uh, year of the dragon stuff. Okay. So. Uh, filter has been successfully updated. Okay, so how do I load a filter? Oh, my filters. So if I, I have to load a filter. Uh, so the last filter that I had was here. So if I just load this one as an example, it's now up to date in theory. So it uses my soundtrack. Everything is done. I'm just not sure. Like, is it not gonna, keep it with the old stuff like my worry is that it's gonna start it's gonna break all the scarabs like their scarabs aren't gonna be in it because i'm i'm using an older filter so i won't see most of the scarabs um and then that'll cause me a cause me a problem uh let me just see some of the stuff currency they change stack tiering um large stacks or with the all the mines have been pounds. detonated and the mine layers are sunk okay. You have broken the Droam blockade of Stormreach Harbor. General currency, god tier. Okay. Also, it's not it doesn't have my sounds. Like a whole bunch of stuff isn't loaded properly. I don't know, dude. This is the problem I have with this. Um Okay, so that's and that's the most recent one? Really? I feel like that's not the most recent one. Is it this one? That's the gauntlet one. What's this? Yeah, all my sounds aren't in. I don't know. I I I I feel like it's. I don't. I don't know if that works. Maybe it does. It's not working for me. This is probably mine. No, it's not. Okay, so there it is. So I actually, I found the filter that I wanted. And then I need to make a change to this. I need to do one of these. And in theory, that shouldn't change anything else. So that's this guy. Uh, assault on Summerfield, this guy, Undermine. Yeah, sorry, I'm like, I'm like multitasking. And then... My worry is that my... Um, Okay, so the sounds are all set up, which is good. And then the leveling item rumbling sound emanates from a nearby corner. Should be of the fine. Plaza. Oh god. Guard Captain Tullis um, his work. My worry is that all my items are fucked up. Weapon progression, weapon progression, two changes. I don't know. I'm worried that my weapon's gonna be fucked up, but we'll see. If my loot filter's broken, I'll just get a default loot filter and then go and just run with that. Um, I because I usually take the time to like custom do a new loot filter every time, uh, because sometimes I feel like it. I, I I don't have confidence that it's gonna actually come through the way I want. But yeah, if it if I can just load it, that would be good. 
Again, I'm so nervous about getting to maps, and then, I, you know, because they said that scarabs are supposed to be really common. So if I do, like, two maps and I don't see any scarabs on the ground, I know it's broken. Um, and so I will I will probably have to go and try to update that. Um, and try to, like, I'll have to work backwards, but I guess I can deal with that when I get to maps. I assume scarabs don't drop before maps, so. Roughly three to four, yeah. So if I do two maps and I get literally zero, then I'll know that something's broken. Quest completed. Also, Dark Darius, welcome back to the stream team. Priestess Lord, you've been a fantastic day. Glad to have you here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome. You've beaten back Droam's surprise attack. This would in the huge It's broken? Area. Yeah. A ladder and a tunnel lead off into the darkness. Yeah, I have like wands showing up. Progression down. editor. In game highlight specific bases. It's like weapons and armor changes. And it's all energy shield? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man. All my armor is like... Oh, can I reset this? I'm gonna try something. Hold on. What happens if I press reset? Uh, tier, 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 tier 1? Okay, if I press reset here... Do anything? Slow you down. Do anything? Rule removed? Daggers? Rune daggers? Wands? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My 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 thing is broken. I don't know how to fix it. I I yeah, okay. I'm just gonna have to use a, the default loot filter for a while until I can figure it out. So yeah, I don't know. Does anyone here have advice on what I can try? I got a new system, graphics, DirectX 12 installed with the launch that my cards at DDS DirectX didn't show 12. You know, if you're playing 10 15 minutes playtime interesting i don't know how you solve that problem because i know nothing about computers or direct x but somebody in here might because there's a lot of computer guys broken the website if you have custom sounds no 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 i mean i mean like um i want to I, I have a loot filter okay that i made with all my custom sounds enabled and everything but i used it for the um, that huge explosion blocked off the rest of the tunnel. I used it for like the the, the, the gauntlet by hand and two but because I used it for the gauntlet through. it's a very custom only loot filter so it was only the items I specifically needed since it was a solo cell found gauntlet so as a result I don't have any items I could couldn't ever need unless it was solo cell found so I want to reset a lot of those rules but I don't know how to quickly do that um and so I just have to use a loot filter an older one that doesn't have any sounds in it to go back to that um and then i'll have to fix it later i did i changed the slider and it didn't change any of the the rules so yeah like for example um it's like only showing for example uh, like it'll it only will show vol or like an energy shield gear it won't show any non-energy shield gear and i to fix it i have to go in manually and reset up all the items which again it's fine it's not a big deal it's the fact that I just I have to do it. That's all. That's it's just it's gonna be time consuming. Uh, where did I put that? That's there. Happens in areas. You can just stand in the harbor. Also, yeah, these are good questions. Yeah, some people might know. I also don't use DirectX 12. I only use DirectX 11, so I don't know how that would function. Yeah, if there's I don't know if there's a way to reset like the. Um. Yeah, just to reset, like, the the drop pools, if that makes sense. Because I have, I had everything else set up. Like, all my, all my custom colors and everything, I want to keep those. I just want to change, change that up. May help? Yeah. Several places. Give me a DirectX dryer, but I reset now with all the clean, clean last few times. Mm, okay, yeah. That sounds like there's some type of problem. I don't know which one is backwards compatible. Uh, okay, let me look here. The thick smell of smoke in the air suggests the presence of explosives nearby, as does the charred corpse of an unfortunate ogre. Yeah. Uh, how do I how do I get this to be fixed? I just want to reset the armor drops. That's it. Um, the armor and weapons. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's one of those things where I just need to take a bunch of time to actually, like, go over the loot filter and step by step uh, change a bunch of stuff to be reset, I guess. Kind of take a lot of time with it. But I probably can do it at some point. I just I just haven't. So do that, because I can do that underwater. And I don't know if I can disable the traps in here. I think I can. I don't have a trapping item, so we'll see. Also, what's up, Crazy Trickster? How are you doing? Just hanging. But I should be able to. Let's see. Oh, I can see it. Plus 70. No problem. I can just disable all the traps, so I'll do that. Saving lives here, everybody. Saving lives. It's nice that they added all these, like, control panels so that you can just, like, disable the traps in mass. I have no idea how time-consuming that must have been to, to put into the game, but it, it is it is good. It is nice that they did that. Because disabling all of these by hand was an absolute nightmare. Problem is, I don't know where the next disable spot is. I think it's around here, probably. Oh, there it is. What's going on with the LFM? Uh, I don't know. What is going on with the LFM? A familiar kobold voice you tell me. Sparks. Blow uh, them up! Blow them up now! You have found the lair of the demolitions, master. If the game is doing a DX11 call, that your DX12 can't uh, install, can't do, it will just quit the activation, so I'll DX11. Oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that might work as well. Just set them both up. The smoking body of the demolitions master crumples to the ground. Yeah. You've defeated Droam's scheme to undermine Stormreach. You've reached the end of the tunnel. Surely this must exit to Droam's base of operations here on Zendra. Yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I, I might just have to do this, like, heavily by hand. Because I thought I could just go to the area and just press reset on it. On, like, it's like, oh, weapons and armor changes, like, hit reset. But, uh, doing that... Oh! You can just hit reset. Never mind. That fixed my problem. Okay, I just gotta reset that. Uh, yeah, reset... Yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid and I'm dumb. And I am stupid. And I am dumb. And I'm stupid. It's fixed. I'm fixing all my problems. Uh, let's just reset this. Reset that. Reset. Reset. I'm so dumb. It's okay. It's only for the currency. The sounds are only on the currency and the uniques. And I display all the uniques anyway. It's the rare items I wanted to reset. It was all like the rares. Does harm not work like inflict spells? In what way are you asking? Uh, also, for my Path of Exile build, I still don't know whether I'm going to start with either Void Sphere of Rending or Elemental Hit of the Spectrum, Wander, Elementalist. So it's either Void, yeah, Void Sphere of Rending, Assassin, Elemental... Uh, hit of the Spectrum Elementalist or um, Power Siphon of the Archmage uh, Hierophant. And I can't decide. Does it damage anything when you use it? So it should do damage. Yeah, harm can't drop enemies to anything below one hit point. So you can't kill monsters with harm unless you're a Dark Apostate. Dark Apostates get double damage with harm and it can kill monsters. But uh, that's pretty much it. And it does more damage generally. Yeah, probably. Mana stacker is probably a bad idea to play. As vile as this sub this oh no, I clicked on the water. Damn it! Destroying their provisions may God. cause a food. Clicking on the water is a bad idea. So yeah, it should. It definitely should do damage. So if it's not doing damage, then there's a problem. Are those casualties? Oops. Or have, have they gone on this? assignment? Fill a bucket with the unspeakable. Ugh. Gross. 
This and then we put it in the water here. Nice. I'm supposed to actually having to click the waterfall. The Much better decision. And I don't have to face her. Where's I can just whip chain. See you later, lady. Get tripped. Get wrecked. Being able to just chain people from behind is very nice. So I don't even have to think about it. This character is going to have so much AoE. You might be like, oh, you're so you're single weapon fighting, you won't have a lot of area of effect. And uh, no, I will. I will have a lot of area of effect. One of the benefits of this character is I get both chain attacks, and I'm also going to be picking up the whirlwind attack out of or, um, Fear of the Wild. So I should have tons of area of effect. A lot of damage. All AoE. Yeah, exactly. Well, you don't want to stare the Medusa in the eyes. A lot of people, oh god, don't realize that. That Medusas deal damage in front of themselves. So you wanna you wanna make sure you are not staring at the Medusa when they're doing their screech. If you don't look at them, you don't take the damage. If you do look at them, you do take the damage. So you just wanna make sure you're not looking at the Medusa. It's one of those things that is that is, is kind of intuitive, but a lot of people don't realize that that's actually how the game works because Careful. It's like Dungeons and Dragons actually has this directional targeting thing, and yet the facing specifically matters. An ancient giant temple complex rises high above. The reason why that tech exists is because there is a front attack versus back attack. Um, if you ever wondered when something in the game says, oh, hey, there's like a flank, like while flanking, you gain X bonus. Um, and the reason for that is that when flanking, you actually gain plus two to hit and flanking is just considered attacking the monster from the back. So not only if you're playing a melee character, should you attack the monster from the back because generally it's just a good idea. You're not in front of the monster, but also by attacking the monster from the back, you increase your hit chance and you can increase it a lot by playing as a, um, a couple very specific melees. Specifically, Legendary Dreadnought gives you extra hit chance from back the from the back. Dried yet on this so. altar. Who was somewhere upstairs? A Medusa hisses. Don't just stand there, fools. Get more soldiers up here. Get the more soldiers. Must not be interrupted. I can just heal myself back up to full. Good. We chains. 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 Is them with picks on stone resound from down below. I'm just like lumbering about. I'm not really doing a whole lot. Oh no, it's a Carnage Reaper. He's dead. Took a thousand damage. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Only well, annoying thing is dealing with stupid uh ranged characters that just run around. Took you long enough to get here. I am trap man. I'm going to disable all the traps. I do like having the ability to disable traps on this character, because it's just like free experience points. So it just gives everybody a little bit of an extra XP. Experience points. Looks like I have time to do this, because they're still trying to solve the puzzle instead of letting me disable the trap. Done. Alright, we got it. Never mind, we're good. And then we wait. Something I didn't realize is that the all the uh, stars are actually on different places. Because I guess they're just all hidden and they only become visible. So they're not actually on the same spots if you watch them. And neither are the trap boxes. So like all the trap boxes are laid like next to each other. And they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's kind of neat. Yep. And then in Epics, uh, when I use the Whirlwind Attack or Quick Cutter, it's also going to be a knockdown. So everything should always be crowd controlled in some capacity. Die, lady! Die! Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly just like standing around. I'm, I'm doing traps, man. See how it like inches its way in, or that it's now like a smaller, smaller circle or whatever. I do wish that they were like closer to the center, so I'd be able to just uh, find all of them. I don't know where the sweet spots are specifically for uh, searching all the traps. There's like a place you can go in the center that gets three of them. Uh, but I don't know where that sweet spot is. 
I also like that everybody waits for traps because they're like, mm, XP. Smash. The green hag everybody wants that extra bonus. I think we're done. So, uh, but more traps are going to spawn in. I think when the traps spawn or become visible, I think that reduces it. I think. I don't know if we're done. 100% of all progress in the quest for my party. You're doing your part? Yeah, I'm, I'm down. It's not like I wasn't killing stuff either. I was also I was breaking crates a lot. What is this game? Uh... This game, this game is called, um, uh, I don't have a funny joke. It's really weird. It's a weird title for a video game. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's interesting. It's got stats. It's got numbers. You can play characters. You can play other characters. It's got a lot of things you can do with it, you know? Really, the versatility is endless. I mean, you can you have the entire game at your fingertips. So, kind of go for it. Two, three, Blammo. The lights on Quest the complete. Collapse. The portal collapses. Ah, oh, genius debilitation. That's Your me. Your mission is a success. The few remaining stragglers pose no threat ingenious to Ingenious Strim Tom. They go hand in hand. All right. I have to use the washroom. I'll be back in a moment because it's been like two hours of sitting here chatting with you guys, and I'll be back. And Necro next. This guy's doing Necro? Cool. Somebody says, Hello, Shrim. Love you. Send my regards to Russia. He is awesome, too. Um, will do. Only the best game ever? Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that. I like Dungeons and Dragons Online. Can I call it the best game ever? Like, Burnout 3 exists. That game's pretty good. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door is pretty good. Time Splitters 2. There's a lot of good games out there. Best game ever? I don't know, man. Yeah. Chrono Trigger. Also very good. Like, so many good video games. DDO number one? <sighs> Again, I like DDO. I play DDO all the time. So you may be like, whoa. Really? Burnout 3 is the best? Why aren't you a Burnout 3 live streamer? I can't play it on computer. <laughs> hey, Strim. Love you. Send my regards to Russia. I am trying to get into the country and need a good first impression. Oh, uh, sorry, dude. It's not going to happen. I definitely can't give you a good first impression for getting into Russia. Um, Vol first. You can start if you want. I'm taking level. Vol first. Check. Let's go to the Orchard of the Macabre. Good old Orchard of the Macabre. I really got to make a decision on what build I'm going to start with, and I can't. <sighs> I don't know. It's impossible to figure that out. 
Dude, I'm, t I'm playing video games, man. I'm talking about the video games, you know? Nice. The shaves. The shaves. The shaves. Saves me some time here. Oh. Something just slammed into my window. It doesn't happen often, but it has happened on like, one or two occasions where a bird just slams into the window. You feel bad about it because you're like, this is very unpleasant. Uh, So, if you go into options and then you go into key mapping, all the way at the bottom is choices where you can select a part of the dialogue when you talk to an NPC. So NPC dialogue. And the first option is almost always the best option. So just key bind this to whatever you want. You can put this on the left mouse clicks, so then every time you click, you're always talking to NPCs. Bad idea, but you could do that. And uh, it's usually control, but I actually use the control key all the time for like my key binds, so I just do shift F1. The default is control. But yeah, rebind that to whatever you want, whatever's convenient, and then when you start talking to an NPC, you just go boom, 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 and you get your way through the dialogue really fast. When replaying games, I sometimes try to do that in those games as well. And I'm going to be honest, it doesn't always work. Which is unfortunate. I hope I can disable the traps in here. I'm honestly not sure if I can. But we're going to find out. If I can, it can disable the traps, that's good. If I can't disable the traps, that's bad. So we're gonna we're gonna see. So the first box should be here, I think. No, it's not. The first box is through here. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember these traps very well. Is it here? No, it said here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first box is here. Yeah, there we go. Shadow of all, get out of here. Roll a one, success. All right, so I can disable the traps. That's good to know. Thank you, video game, for giving me a one on my first try. So that way I could definitely know. Uh, what's my fortification bypass? 30%. Okay, that's not a lot. I do wish I had a little more. I also, unfortunately for me, do not have evasion uh, yet. I will be getting evasion in epics, because evasion is very easy to come by. I'm going to get it out of Shadow Dancer, because Shadow Dancer provides a lot of damage and evasion. Uh, but I don't currently have it yet. So that'll be a future thing. I only have one level of rogue, so it's not a big deal. Search control panel. Nice. So as long as the quell doesn't dispel my uh, death ward, I'm pretty happy. It's just annoying when they dispel death ward. Fortunately, uh, an item I can recommend to pretty much everybody in the universe is Skullduggery Cap. Three charges, death ward, ten minutes. Amazing. Uh, I recommend that to everyone. Did they dispel your death word? You got another one. Did they dispel your death word? You got another one. Did they dispel your other death word? Uh, delete your character. Make a new one. It is what it is. The seal shudders and opens the depths of the temple. Dank um, also, because it hasn't been coded that way, you can use Flight of Kings underwater. So if you have things like this you want to go through, you can just Flight of Kings under there. Same with Bear Charge. Alright, so now we go here... I don't think these are active yet, so it should be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sneak around, get my disabled device. Also, searching while like moving through the air is a pro gamer move if you want, because you can move hey, around stream, in the air while searching. Just tuning in. What's the plan for this new life? Oh, there it is. Uh, my plan for this life is the same as the last time. I'm playing a dragon lord. However, this character is. Do I have exactly 100 healing amp? This character is a little bit different in that instead of being a pure dragon lord using the capstone of Sunder Soul because I wanted to be able to test it, uh, this character is a uh, Shade Arkai using a one handed weapon, the hand axe, with a chain. The reason why specifically a hand axe is because when swashbuckling, uh, you get plus two to the critical threat range of hand axes, but no multiplier. And when using Conqueror up here of Dragonlord, you get plus two multiplier, but no range. 
As a result, these two things beautifully mesh together to give you a hand axe that is a 15 to 20 times 5, which is a gigantic number for crit. And that's just generic. That's every hand axe in the whole game. Some hand axes even have like special threat ranges and stuff, which makes them even better. But for all intents and purposes, that is what we're talking about here. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of it's kind of neat. So you get a lot of you get a lot of good options there. And then on top of that, because it's a chain uh, or it's a one-handed weapon, I can use it on the whip chain, and I can just blow everything up. So the way the character generally functions is I just run around attacking stuff. And, or I run in, I use Dragon Roar to stun everything, and then I use Chain Chain to stun ev or to kill everything. And then if anything's still alive, it shouldn't be. And that's about it. The last uh, 20 minutes. In a shower of 20 minito. The high priest and so we just go Chain 1, Chain 2... Everything turns invisible, so it doesn't matter whether I use chain or not. And then we hit the monsters. And the damage is no slouch either on a single target. So that's the nice thing I, I like about it as well. Unfortunately, we don't get, like, the doubling up of damage from, like, using a two-handed weapon with strength. But, you know, we're doing our best. I got a shield fragment. Nice. Oh, God. A middle hit of the spectrum seems really cool. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Elemental hit of the spectrum. That seems cool. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Mm. Void sphere of rending. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Void sphere of rending. Elemental hit of the spectrum. Ugh. I should probably flip a coin. My worry about the void sphere is that it's going to be really, really bad. But it looks so cool. Yo, what's up, float? How are you doing? I'm good. It's also reliant on getting a shield called Broken Faith. I actually don't know where you get it. Huey, Broken Faith. Uh, yeah, I don't like to... I don't usually use League Starters. I just pick a build, and then I start with that build. So... Okay, Broken Faith can only be gotten... Uh, Broken Faith dropped from the Renegades Warband members. Renegades Warband can be encountered from specific prophecies. Oh, Acid Caverns Map. Oh, so I just have to do the Acid Caverns map boss and farm it where uniques drop, or unique monsters with the Scarab unique dropper monsters drop one unique every time. And then just farm it. Each oh, that's a thing. Entrance to the Inferno of the Damned. Huh. No fire or ice. A hoarse voice echoes through the stone. Seek the flame hmm. That's gonna be interesting. That's not the worst item to get, but it's that's a process and a half. Just gotta farm acid caverns. Is acid caverns on the most recent the map Black list? I hope it is. If they removed acid caverns from the game, I can't. I literally can't even play the void sphere build. So I should look that up. Uh, new atlas. Does anybody know? <laughs> Intense heat radiates from this focus of dark magic. This might sound dumb, but yeah. Anybody know? Okay, gotta bathe a cat. That that's not good. Bathing cat's bad. Okay, where's the trap? They shouldn't follow me. I I'm not going the right way. I'm just disabling traps. I can't do anything on here. Yeah, broken faith. Stepanerd, the pariah, and broken faith. Um, it's tier four in affliction. All right, so I have to look this up. Some steroids for a skin thing, some medicated one. Hopefully, no more itchy cat. Nice, that's good. Yeah, my roommate every once in a while will like bathe the cat because the cat is not the best at keeping itself um, in order, if that makes sense. Uh, so some it's just not as good as some other animals at keeping itself clean. And by other animals, I mean other cats. I was wondering why I'm not killing at all of these guys. They all cast fireballs, so. And the, cat, the fireballs are way faster than using the methods. Nice. The fourth Torchman. 
cemetery areas. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta clean them up. It's it's mostly that just that she um, builds up a pretty thick like undercoat, but she doesn't like shed it very well, and then she runs into problems. So she needs to get scrubbed down. Um, it's also really funny whenever she does it because she cleans the cat in the bathtub, which is right there. So like it's on the other side of that wall, and so I can hear the most funny thing when she's cleaning it, where she'll be like trying to soothe the cat. She'll be like, "Oh, you're doing so good. You're doing so great." And then I hear cat screeching and like thump, 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 as it's like slipping her grip and trying to escape in any way you can. Very funny. Okay, so they're doing fire right now. It's fine. I can start working ice. Hey, bud. The guardian awaits your summons. Yep. Nice. One down. Come at me, bro. Perry the cat. True. Perry, deflect. Well, it just wants to get this guy. Oh, nice. He's got it. Cool. He's got it. I'm just trying to disable all the traps for the extra XP. Uh, okay, so... UE 3.24 patch notes. I need to find... If Acid Caverns isn't here, that's a huge problem. Acid Caverns. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, monster balance, quest reward, Atlas, Atlas, Atlas. Where's the Atlas? Where's Dorak? He's not doing anything. He's just waiting for the league to start. Uh, I need him to sort his out. Because like, I didn't think about it ahead of time. Okay, the following maps have been removed. Okay, Acid Caverns was not removed. So we are good. Map tiers and locations have been shuffled. Though the pin locations have not changed. Most maps are now found... Initially found at a different tier. Okay, good. Still in the game. Uh, there's nothing to do here, so I might as well go. Also, my posture sucks. You can't do the day. Heard a noise in the porch. Open it, look inside. Cat ran in and won't leave. Yeah, that happens. Apparently, there's like a thing in some European countries where they're actually like banning cats. And or like, they're, they're like cracking down on people who like have outdoor cats because of how destructive they are to the environment of the entire planet. Because they just like kill unbelievably quickly. Which like, it makes sense to me. I've never understood people that like live in cities but have like outdoor cats. I've always found that very, com very baffling. Um, I've never understood people that have like outdoor cats. Like, you buy the cat. Why put the cat outside? Like, if you live on a farm in the middle of nowhere, and so you have a cat on the farm that hunts down or, like, keeps it safe from, like, mice and other things, they're going to try to eat some of your crops or get into the grain. That makes total and complete sense, and I get that. I'm, I'm totally with you. Absolutely. I totally got it. But, like, if you live in a city, why? Like, this is going to sound crude, but almost everybody I know that has a cat that, like, goes outside has had an issue with a cat getting a deep injury from fighting a street cat or a cat that has been hit by some type of vehicle. Put the cat in the house. You live in a city. Why, why are you doing this to yourself? Or, like, you know, take the cat, put it on a leash, dude. I know it sounds like really stupid, and there are a lot of cats that are very good at escaping through leashes that do not like to be leashed. Um, as somebody who, uh, we had a cat that we used to try to put on a leash, and it was hard. It was not impossible, but it was very hard. You needed a very special harness, because if you didn't have a good enough harness, it would just wiggle and squiggle and get out. Yeah. It freezes if we put a harness on her. <laughs> just freeze. That's so funny. Uh, just like turns to ice. 
I don't know why. I love it when cats are like kind of uncomfortable, so they don't know what to do. So they like, yeah, they do that thing where like, as you said, they freeze. It's like, it just like the cat is just like big wide eyed and just doesn't do anything. And the eyes are just like the size of dinner plates. I was gonna say, we got two wizards and neither of these guys has fireball and this guy has to resort to a wand. Wizards. Come on, wizards. Fireball's the wizard spell. What the heck? What in tarnation? Put cat on harness before giving bath. Actually good idea. Can you use Scaldic Rage and Strength Chance? Yes, because Scaldic Rage isn't a rage, by the way. Scaldic Rage is literally just like plus four, plus four rage bonus to strength. It also doesn't stack with the rage spell. So if you have the rage spell, then you get an extra two. I don't fireball, I'm a battle wizard. Oh shit. Yeah. But bear in mind, it only lasts for one minute per bard level. So, and it takes a song. Um, so it's, it, with only three bard, it does not last very long. Or like, you can't take, you can technically take one level of bard for extra duration, but you won't have any song. So it'll, it's gonna be, be a little clunky, you know? A little clunk city. Funkalicious. Got him sundered. Get him with the crits, baby. Okay, I actually finished doing my Path of Exile stuff. All this is done. Save. So save and sync. Actually, I should definitely change the name of this. Uh, so I should save. Uh, so I should more. Save as, and this is, what's this league called? This one's called Necropolis Starter. Sync and download, save. All right, it's done. All right, so it's Necropolis Starter. Hopefully that will be in the game when I'm able to log in in eight minutes. I think I have to uh, delete a character too. They really don't need bath anymore unless they got like the fleas. Yeah, generally, I would I agree with that. Generally, I don't. I think that most cats don't often need baths, but it depends on the type of cat. Um, some of them that have like uh really long fur need like grooming because of some kind because their fur can get like matted and into knots and stuff, which can cause irritation, which can cause problems. So you need to make sure you're checking on your cat's fur if you have one of them long-haired cats. So that's important. Cleared almost all your tabs. There's no world where I can clear all my tabs. So bad at cleaning your back end? Yeah. Also, it depends on the size of your cat. And by size of your cat, I mean the width of your cat. If you got a fat cat, uh, they can't always reach everywhere. Dude, it's gonna be so much easier to organize all the stash tabs now that we have the like the bulk buy bulk like the bulk currency movement. So I can empty out all of the old um old currency tabs that I have. It's like I don't want to move five thousand chaos, but you can instantly move five thousand chaos now. Good. Die everybody. Get out of here, zombie wagon. A lot of damage. Damn. And basically an oblong sphere. Yeah, when you got them sphere cats, that's a, that's a tougher one. Yeah, I think I got them all. I think that's zombie train done. But apparently not. Apparently I am missing something. Oh, there we got it. Yep. Don't don't worry. I, I am in the queue. We are in the queue. So we'll get there. 7,000. Hmm. Oh, also, what gem? Uh, God. All right. I'm going to do one more poll real quick. I'm going to get... I'm going to flip... We're going to flip a coin, and you guys are going to help me decide what's the first character I try. Um, although... Kind of need an item to do the other one, but yeah, we're just gonna. I know I did a poll already, but not enough people voted. If you don't know anything about 
Path of Exile? Don't worry about it. Just vote for what sounds cooler. What should I start with? We have Ellie Hit of Spectrum. I have to truncate it because I don't have enough words. Or um, Void Sphere of Rending. Uh, there we go. 50-50. Vote. Chain Reaction and Lancing Steel of Spraying. Uh, you mean you and everyone else in the entire server? You're welcome. Looks like it's the answer I want. No. Oftentimes also, I will say, getting outside influence is useful. Okay? So, if you can't make a decision between two things, all right, you know how you can solve this problem? By flipping a coin. So, let's say you're like, I don't know, I'm going to get, you know, takeout tonight. It's Friday and I want to do something, but do I want to get pizza or burgers? I can't decide. They're both so tasty. How do I decide which one I should get? What you do is you flip a coin. Because when you flip the coin and then it lands and then you put it on your hand and you go, okay, heads, pizza. And if you're apprehensive about the pizza, if you're like, uh, I don't know if I really want pizza, that means you definitely get burgers. It solves the problem because it forces you to make a decision, and if you don't like it, then you just go the other one. This is kind of the same thing. Yeah. Because even if you're like, oh, you know what, I actually don't want this, it doesn't, the decision doesn't matter. What matters is now it, you're like, oh, I am doing this now, and if you don't want it, you get an immediate answer. Oh, Slam Dunk is dead. Um, live. Heal. That's not a lot of healing. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's a robot. That makes sense. He can heal himself. I was like... I tried to do the heal and it did not go very well. Scrolls. Also not going very well. These guys, their lives, also not going well. Whoop! That's good. If you guys haven't tried Shader Kai Chain with Hand Axe, I posted the Critzilla build a while ago, which is a Barbarian, which did the same thing. If you're wondering where this build comes from, this is a classic Barbarian build. But... Uh, Dragon Lord mimics Frenzy Berserker with the plus two crit multi, so you can do it as Dragon Lord instead, and it's pretty nifty. Later, I get Conqueror's Command, which is basically just imbue dice and plus one to the auras. I unfortunately do not get Dragon's Defense for 10 melee power, which would be nice. I'm missing out on that, which is sad. But yeah, mobile also with the polls not working. The Twitch mobile app isn't great. Um, I actually can, so the the bot that I use has got, gained a whole bunch of new features. Um, I can rename the bot now, which is cool. So I can name the bot whatever I want. The problem is I don't know what I want to name it because I'm indecisive. So if you guys have any good ideas as to what the bot in channel should be named, please recommend. And I can have it do custom polling that works on mobile. Um, and it's faster and I can have more text. So it's just something I was looking at and reading into the last couple of days and not actually doing myself because I was doing other stuff. Ellie hit of the spectrum. All right. That's what it is. Elemental hit. Call it Fred. Ellie hit is a dead eye build. No. Ellie hit is a elementalist build. It's over. Shrimbot. I could go with Shrimbot. That is an option. Yeah. I think everyone posting Deadeye? Yeah, but those guys are losers and meta slaves. Not me. I'm a Chad, okay? I make my own builds. As the I don't think you understand how much of a Chad I truly am. What's that? I'm going to play the popular thing that's easy? Oh, I'm going to play a ranged attack with a ranged character? Wow. I'm going to summon golems, okay? That's cool as hell. I'm going to get the whole group, okay? I'm going to get the posse together, and we're just going to bash everything apart. It's going to be awesome. Or it's going to be bad. And that's all I have to say. No, thank you. But yeah, so I need Elemental Lid of the Spectrum, which I'm going to have to farm out because it's like essential to the build's functioning. I need Elemental Lid of the Spectrum, and then I also gonna have to run Delirium or trade for the Secrets of the Suffering. This should be a good time. And I have to run Skitterbots.
And probably determination. And probably grace. PM, let's go. Am I in? Oh, the queue is moving. Do I do this last quest? Hmm, I don't think so. I have to leave. Thanks, team. Take care. Uh, I have to go uh, to the Island of Dread. I mean, I'm, the queue is moving, dude. I would love to stay. I would normally just be like, can I AFK this quest? But this literally is the one quest you can't AFK because it's a gather quest. Unfortunate. Unlucky, basically. It's, it's pretty unlucky. Okay. It is, it is unlucky. It is what it is. Did my camera die? I think my camera died. Hello, camera. Hello, camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that died. Uh, Give it a sec. It's it's working its way through. It's got, it's got some things. It's got feelings and emotions. Oh, yeah. All right. That's good. Uh, I don't know why it's dead here. There's no sound. I'm gonna. I'm also ed ed editing some stuff on the side. I'm editing the metadata. Uh, path of exile. So it's here. Uh, elemental hit witch. That's good. And how on earth do I fix this? Can I unplug it and replug it? Also, there's no music, so I'm just gonna make the music. Unplugging it and plugging it back in again hasn't worked. Uh, I have no idea what to do. Um, there's a virtual camera? What is this? I don't have a virtual camera. Oh, it's not even it's not even accepting it as an input anymore. Did my USB slot die? I'm in the game, baby. And I don't need to delete a character. Okay, my Oh, 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 oh. Oh god. Oh god. Uh yeah, it's not it's using a virtual camera for setup for some reason, which it's not supposed to. But it is, and it is. That's always fun. Uh, so we're gonna go to Necropolis, which is good. We'll start as a witch. This character is gonna be called um, uh, Rainbow Spectrum Blast. Woo! Okay, good. Restart PC. You just wanted me to bounce me out of queue. I'm gonna turn the sound on. Give me a sec. You just want to literally bounce me out of queue. There's a power here that welcomes me. Yeah, dude, dude, have you tried like resetting your computer? I mean, I think that'll work. Not saying I want to get ahead of you, but just like if you reset your entire computer, uh, that'll probably function, no problem. Okay, so where am I? I'm here, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna like do one of these, flatten it up. There we go. Maybe like make it a little wider. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're like, so we're still on camera, you know? Just, just a little. A little flatter. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's all face, baby. It's all face. Restart? Yeah, that's their trick. Just just pop out of the queue. I mean the queue's only what, a hundred thousand by now? So we'll just drop out. Okay, so Path of Exile. If you've never played this video game, I give you the um the four one one of the situation. Zixel, welcome back to the stream team for thirty months. Hope you're doing very well. Um uh, so the if you've never played this game before, basically it is a top-down action RPG like Diablo. So if you're like, man, this game looks like Diablo. It it does. It does look like Diablo. Um, it's got a darker, more gritty art style um, than your classic, uh, than like Diablo 3 or 4. Um, and it's got a very high degree of complexity. It's also free. In my opinion, this is the freest game on the market. So if you want to try a free video game, everything in the game is free. So... That's just how it works. You know, all the content, all the monsters, all the items, it's all free. Um, the things that you will end up paying for at some point is basically bank space. They have specialized tabs for holding all your stuff that make it very convenient and add a lot of quality of life. And they 
kind of expect you to buy them if you go super hard into the game. However, when I say super hard, I mean you're going to spend the first 50 hours, 50 to 100 hours, without even really noticing that it's any type of issue. Um, and at which point, it's like, then you spend like 20 bucks and buy a bunch of tabs. So the effective buy-in for the game is like 20 bucks. So overall, in my opinion, I don't see this as being much of a problem. But that being said, you know, your mileage may vary when it comes to these things. Uh, rolling magma is pretty good. I'm going to grab that. Uh, are my stash tabs sorted? Oh, yeah, it's all done. Mmm. Oh, baby. Just leave, I guess. So, yeah, you spend a lot of time doing it. Is being good at the game free? Um, I mean, maybe not for you. I know Zing, story. got him. Also, what's up, Ludacris? How you doing? Rolling magma. To pay me, PayPal me $50? That's what I should have said. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I'm on Jungrown Uber Killers. First enter flooded depths. I'm not as fast as these guys. Also, there's racers. So whenever the league starts, it's a fresh economy. It's all brand new items, all new brand new things. There's like new rules and new modifiers. There's a Necropolis League. So there's going to be new stuff happening in the league as we go. Um, as I go through. For me, I, I I don't super, super rush. It takes me about 10 hours to get through the, cam, uh, the campaign on my first playthrough on every single new character, um, which is pretty standard um, campaign leveling pace for your average player, or like for your average like returning player. Your first time through, it might take you like 30 to 40 hours because this game's complicated. It's got a lot of moving parts, a lot of things you need to learn as you go around. Um, but uh, then you have the racers. These are the people that literally like compete at this video game and they go fast, okay? They go real fast. That's why it's, when it's like, oh yeah, there's this guy that's like already in uh, the flooded depths and this guy is like first character level six. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of a lot of fast players, okay? They go, they zoom. The Ricers, the Racers. Oh, talk to Undertaker Aramore. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Also, I stop and listen to the lore of each thing, so. An exile with a talent for killing. Color me shocked. I'll make you the same offer I made the others. Take this lantern. Mm -hmm. I think you'll appreciate what you could see by its ghastly light. You go ahead and do what you do, and I'll collect the most interesting body. Undertaker. Spell. Once you've got one, we'll talk. So he gives me the lantern, which is oh, I can talk to him. Life of an Undertaker. You might yeah. Call me the last true citizen of the Eternal Empire. Mm. I might do that. Or you can call me Aramore. Aramore. Also, let me know if it's too if it's too I quiet. By the way. Call you exile. So fares fair. I do just call you exile. That's funny. Don't live very long, so I don't bother learning names. But yours is, well, I'll just say your parents must have been quite strange. Wait, what do you mean, Rainbow Spectrum Blast Woo? That's my parents had a gr good naming convention. Okay, he's quiet. Okay, let, me, let me turn up the volume a little bit. Three make the game sound louder. Two years with the big man Strimmy T. I'm just going to turn that up just a little bit. Turn the sound effects down a little bit. Also, Kirik, welcome back to the stream team. Appreciate the support. You're having a fantastic day. Thank you, dude. That's crazy. Perfect. So now I got the lantern from this guy. Uh, so when I go to the door here to go to this next area, I can click the lantern, peer into the lantern, and see the spirits. So I can see that um, I have cannibals here. There's a lot of them. Uh, savage crabs. Chance, pack to, chance to contain a pack leader. So they have like a bigger monster that's in the pack when it gets randomly generated. Not a lot of zombies. And I can see this one has a chance to hinder enemies with on hit with spells. The crabs don't cast spells. Um, so that's interesting. And strongest monsters in the packs gets 100% increased maximum life. Um, and there's, you know, one to four monsters per pack. So, I mean, that's double life on the biggest monster in the pack. So I guess I'll just leave it as is and see how it goes. And we're going to try it out. Eggs Isle. I mean, there are eggs on the island, true. So yeah, you didn't switch? Nope. I didn't have to. To learn is to live. Mr. I'm not so, not, uh, quick question. Uh, not so quick question. Per, per, uh, best thing to do when I just started doing a new thing in a new game. Yeah, the Shader guy's uh, looking interesting. 
Um, okay, so... Is it possible in DDO to make an endgame viable build for a character whose primary and preferably exclusively deals damage to Eldr Warlock Elders Blast? The short answer is no. The long answer is no. I guess stun lock to death. I hope that helps. You're welcome, one from ours. This is also why I don't play hardcore, because I'm reading chat. But to be fair, if you're if you want to know, that's also the same thing in like uh, pen and paper D and D and Baldur's Gate and like all these things. You have other buttons on the keyboard for a reason. Like you have other buttons on the on the keyboard, so you can use other buttons. Fire and ignite resistant is very annoying. It's like the first monster mod. Go oh, away! Stop attacking me. I'm gonna, like run out of mana trying to fight these crabs. Feel like a maniac just trying to mow down crabs on the beach. Alright, die crabs. Please. They hinder on hit with spells. Fortunately for me, I don't have to deal with that, but yeah. I'm just getting stun locked by these things. I'm gonna have to just like put on some armor just so I can stop myself from getting stun locked by the crabs. Alright, nailed fist, nothing important. So throw on some armor. I can't use any of this. Is that a wand? Give me extra spell damage, it's fine. Is it Ellie hit? Yeah, it's elemental hit. That's what we're going with. I have to get elemental hit. Uh, you get it at level 12. Circle it, thank you. You get elemental hit at 12, so I'm not there yet. Naked Hobo wakes up on the beach, grabs a shank, and proceeds to kill a god. Yeah, basically. It's video games, man. It's video games in a nutshell. That's how you do it. Yeah, so the crabs have the extra haunting, so that makes sense. Prisoner's Gate. Damn, dude, these people are fast. Okay, so Hail Rake should have extra hit points, because... Wait, is he the leader of the pack? I'm not sure how that works. No, it's this guy. It's this guy who is the leader of the pack. Unsolved Anguish. Oh, why does that UI cover literally everything? Oh, no. Okay, so I guess... So, bosses don't count as part of the pack list, then. It's only the regular monsters that are in the list. Okay, that makes sense. I, I, can, I can understand that, I guess. Well, well. This oh. one's got quite the unfinished business. EA Sports PGA Tour. Wow, nice. Okay, so I collected a corpse. Now I talk this to this guy. Corpse will do. Full of anguish. Just how we need. Keep making them. Mm -hmm. And I'll keep scooping them. When we've got enough, we can perform certain rites of the necropolis. Visit me. And there'll be something in it for you. No questions asked. My man, no questions asked? So I can view the morgue? Okay, so elemental modifiers are 50% scarcer. So I can make less... I can make elemental modifiers less likely with this. That's kind of cool. When I do a craft. So maybe I can put that on, like... Like, a pair of boots. And then I can craft something. And then hope to get, like, a... A boots with move speed because there's less elemental modifiers. Oh, I guess there's no prefixes that would matter. Only suffixes. Oh, uh, I have to come up with something, but I'm sure I could. Nice. And I got rare boots with move speed. Oh, move speed and life and life regen. Hell yeah. All right. Is there any rats to guide? True. So now for the mud flats. Fizz damage is lightning, extra damage on the zombie. Oh, fizz is cold. So these don't do fizz, so that's probably a good idea. And I don't want to deal with roas, but I'd rather the large roas not be buffed up, so I'll make the smaller roas. Well, the larger roas are probably less likely. Yeah, so I'll make the larger roas have the fizz as lightning. That, that looks terrifying regardless. Cool. Hopefully I don't get murdered by the roas. But we're going to see how this goes. Again, I'm taking my time. I'm, like, reading all the text. I much prefer to uh, go through and read everything than, like, kind of rush through. What is very common in Path of Exile is for people to start with, like, a leveling character. So you make a character that burns through the entirety of the campaign in, like, four hours. And then you start going from there. 
it does several things. One is it helps you get a good jump start on like the economy. This game has a big active trading economy. So if you get to high level first, that means you can start farming stuff first, which means you can get items first, which means you can start trading first, which means you can start building wealth first, and that will pay dividends throughout the entire Path of Exile season, assuming you continue to play. Because uh, then you can get access to really crazy, really powerful loot very, very early, uh, and much earlier than a lot of other people. So that's uh, one of the heavy reasons why a lot of people will do that on like the first day or a couple of days, uh, which makes sense. I haven't found any lightning or cold resist or chaos resist. Just, just fire or whatever. My first two rare packs are fire, cold, or fire res monsters. It is what it is. Um, so you know that's how a lot of people will do the starter. But again, for me, I like the experience of going through it every time, so I don't mind uh, leveling up uh, through the campaign in each instance. Although I know that's not for everybody per se. Oh, that's a freeze flask. All right. When I can wear the boots, nice. Are they a three link too? It's a three link blue? Wow, I'm rich. Find Acropolis, but I don't see any rats. So yeah, uh, that's the other thing too. Um, obviously the, the there's like the special league mechanic, which is one of those things that's kind of confusing if you're new to like Path of Exile, if you've never played the game before. They do a reset every four months where they reset the entire game. Um, you can still play on standard where nothing ever resets if you want to, but I personally don't. But they do a reset where they reset pretty much the entire game every four months. And then when they do the reset, um, uh, here we go. We're all set. Uh, oh, I didn't I didn't do the thing. Can I go back and do that? Uh, oops. Oh, whoops. Oops. I, I'm, I'm, I gotta get used to like actually clicking on it. I wonder if that, if the, if the spirits affect it no matter what. Do you have to do anything for that? Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, I get to the door. You have to. Oh yeah, you have to peer. Okay. Maim on hit. I guess I could throw that on these guys. Twenty percent damage. It's fine on those. And increased life. I'll throw it on skeletons. Oh, it's basically none of them. I don't like the water elementals. So fifty percent extra life is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna put it on the skeletons. I guess I don't really like those. I want to have those with more life. I like that you get to customize the monsters and make those types of decisions. You can choose exactly what you want to have uh, in each area. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, hello. Give me a move speed flask. Give me a spell cascade. Probably summon Phantasm, if I'm going to be honest, because Phantasm is pretty good in the early game. Sell a bunch of garbage out of my inventory. This hat has no stats on it, so it doesn't matter. Take care. Let me go here. Oh, actually, I want to keep that. Give me this. Get away. I should probably get the messages of like people logging in and out. I should probably like turn that off, so I don't see it, because it is annoying. And Bestel has... no, somebody has something else we're getting here. Oh yeah, he does. So I can get Contagion, Summon Raging Spirit, Orb of Storms, Frost Bombs, and Flame Wall. I like taking Orb of Storms, because I just like that it does some like free damage, basically. And then Frost Blink, and then so you can just drop it down, it's just going to hit people. And I kind of want to have Arcane Surge with the Frost Blink. Frostblink is kind of like my teleport skill, so I can teleport around, and then we are all set, and I can go back. Back into the dungeon. What's up, Mike? How you doing? I wonder how it works if you just teleport to an area. Or like when you get to the map device. Is it like a mirror when you walk into these areas? How does that work? I'm doing pretty good. Playing the new Path of Exile League that just released uh, 20 minutes ago. Should have more damage, but it is what it is. Uh, essence of greed, sure. I'm greedy. Did I give these extra life? I gave something extra life. No, it's the skeletons. I gave extra life. Nice hatchet. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, new league should hopefully prove to be pretty fun. I've got a, a slower start right now, but you know, it'll 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 catch up in a bit. Just missing on some like extra items. People are in the old fields. Damn, people already done the first act. Now I am literally in like the third zone of the game. This is what I get for reading text. Um, and I, it's also one of the reasons why for me I can't really enjoy the the racing scene as much in like Path of Exile. It's very cool um, that you know people are able to like be incredibly skilled and just push through the game so fast. I don't know. I like. Um, I like taking in the lore and the story and picking it up bit by bit. That and also I'm just not the most competitive person, which also helps with that. 
Uh, although, when you're like somebody who makes content on the internet and you describe yourself as not a very competitive person, then you know it's like, oh yeah, no, Shrimp Tom, he's not very competitive. He just like he doesn't he doesn't really care about winning. He just play plays to have fun, you know. It's like such a veiled insult. Okay, you get more damage. A chance to maim, hinder enemies with spells. Honestly, that's fine. This is fun. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm missing like the my character build is gonna change a lot. I'm actually supposed to be like a spell or not. I'm not supposed to be a spellcaster. I'm supposed to be like an attacker. I just don't have the stuff I need for that yet. Level 100 to delve. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a bit behind, you know. That's fine. Pull up the skills. We get deep wisdom because that's good. Uh, I'm stuck. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you're on late, one, two, three mans again. I am playing Path of Exile till like three in the morning. Not that I don't want to do three mans. I do. I deeply do. But like, brain want to play Path of Exile. Beat Borp. Uh, shoot fireballs at crabs in a in a sewer or in a underground river. What? Oh, this guy's an essence monster. Oh, that's such a problem. Okay, so also they mentioned that they made a bunch of changes to the campaign to make it more exciting, and they added a bunch of adjustments. And that's one of the adjustments they made. This boss is an essence monster. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Uh... Half dead, at least. My main problem I have is these crabs that are spawning on top of me um, are interrupting my spell casts, which is annoying. So, the reason why I'm actually not taking that much damage from this, it's not as dangerous as it might otherwise be, is because uh, I have these summons, so every time I hit the boss, I summon these little phantasms, these little like ghost guys that attack for me. And that's very convenient because they also absorb hits from the boss. Wow. Okay. So they made that a lot more hard, a lot more challenging. Interesting. Cool. So that was a cool thing. Maybe I should just go do every zone. Stay sharp out there. Also, I definitely have to turn off the login notifications. Game UI. Uh, map, gameplay, cursor, chat, notifications, there it is. Friend request, friend status change, friend now, online, offline. Yeah, there we go. It's just, it's so many people are logging in in and out all the time, it's annoying. Cool. Well, that was neato. Uh, where am I going? I'm lost. I'm gonna loot and do this. Okay, that's level eight. I can't use that yet. But yeah, uh, but no, I had a lot of fun doing the three man last night. I know obviously it was like a little a little late, so you know I was definitely tired. I made a f I made quite a few mistakes on my uh, on my runekeeper last night. I could have done a lot better. There's just a lot of situations where I just kind of stood in the wrong spot and did the wrong thing. Um, I think I was like a little bit too close. I forgot to put the 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 rune stone too far away, um, and yeah. The final boss, though, honestly, that final boss is super easy. Um, I wonder how hard it would be for me to get my Guardian to basically do that without needing heals. Because if I can get my Guardian to be able to do that without needing heals, damn it. I'm, I like I don't have the, I have the muscle memory of not clicking on these things. 50% uh, max life. We'll put the max life on the... They're called Quith? Crit, attack, life. Uh, honestly, that's probably fine. Quith. What a monster type. The things you learn behind the scenes. And there's good, just no res. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's the, um, I just, I need to get practice playing my Guardian. Uh, I only tanked once, which was doing the three mans. We were going to do the double pairs of three mans, like, a couple weeks ago. And then we ended up just running the six man instead. Which, like, I don't know which one's more valuable, like, which one's better. Because, like, I need a lot of earrings. And do the earrings drop out of the six man or no? Because that's what I need more of. I need to fill out like my earrings on my characters. Because I, I was just using the expansion ones. So I can't use those anymore. Six man's bracelets? Oh, okay. I mean, I like those too, but yeah. Oh god. I'm getting 
weird or there's so many monsters. I'm just sending stuff backwards. With ears and bracelets? It does? Yeah. But the raid's like once a week, so, you know. Get into the raid when I can. I do find it interesting that they kind of just let all the jewelry now just drop for everybody or like all the items. At least that's what it seems like where I'm like pulling agility gear on my on like my uh, will class. Like I got an agility earring, which I'm going to be passing over to my uh, mariner, which is very good. I'm excited for it, but yeah, it's just more of a surprise than anything else. Yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting how they do that, especially with like the change in stats. Um, Extra life and extra life. Uh, okay, that's good. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please leave me alone. Have mercy. Life, heart, and soul. GPS is like 10k crit in two slots. Oh, from the raid? Oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, the one downside of my DPS is most of my characters, I think it's just because I, I still need to like really shore up some of the gear. Like, I have a lot of, like, I, I still have some yellows on my gear, on every character. Um, I need to, I need to get some stuff. Oh, 20% chance, 200 increased chance of resistance modifiers. Oh, cool. That's good. That earring drops from the three mans? Okay. These guys are tanky. I don't know if it's because I'm just not very good with, uh, what do you call them? The... Um, molten orb, whatever, uh, fire orb, whatever this is called, bouncing, bouncing orb, magma orb, rolling magma. It used to be called magma orb. That's why I'm confused. Is it the same stat drops for the six man? Yeah. Also, I was using a couple pieces on my he uh, rune keeper that have like outgoing healing, and I'm capped with two pieces of outgoing healing gear and nothing else. So I think outgoing healing is a little like overscaled. I think. Like yeah, I don't have anything. Did they change Kaduku at all? No, he's the same. Okay. I just thought that was kind of neat. Level 8 in the village. Might as well keep going. Zoom! And by zoom, I mean plod. <laughs> That's the pace I'm going at. Damn it, I didn't click the thing again. Fuck. Okay. Try to do the league mechanic. Please, Trim Tom. It's very hard. Devoted to something? Devoted to Prospero? What does that mean? Oh shit. I don't know. I have no idea what devoted to Prospero is. Because I didn't click on the, me the message. I'm going to be honest. They could have done that better. Like the part where like when you have to go into the new zone. They put they put the thing above the door so you don't even see it when you're going to a new zone. Is very silly. Like, I find that completely baffling. Increased quantity and rarity. Oh, it's quantity and rarity. So that's why it's devoted to Prospero. So there's more, there's the monsters drop more items. Okay, interesting. Let's get them. This reminds me of just playing through, uh, not Ruthless, but whatever the first thing was. Uh, or the gauntlet. Armor can roll haunted modifiers. All right. Haunted modifiers? It's dirty work. Is that a legion? It's next to Lion Eye Standard. Cool. So there's a legion here. I don't think I can do this at all, but I might as well click it. I don't think I'm going to be able to break out anything. Oh, apparently I broke out... Oh, get the Karubi chest. Amount of mana. Get it. Nice. It gives 20 seconds for this. Oh, do they change how legion works? Dude, they, <laughs> what is happening here? Impossible in the lead mechanic. Challenge mode impossible. Yeah, I am. Okay, healing can be able to do sometimes we're in voice. Yeah, absolutely. How about this? We'll trade. You explain to me how gibberish works, and uh, I'll teach you how to play Runekeeper. Because I find Runekeeper healing is very easy. It's like the easiest healer, in my opinion. You have, like, you don't have gibberish two or three. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. The lead mechanic is called Necropolis, and so they, apparently they made a bunch of changes. So I'm doing um, Legion in the climb, which is cool. Um, oh, hell yeah. Uh, but also, so they made a, quite a few changes to the campaign, which is kind of neat. 
but uh, the mechanic is that uh, you have this lantern that lets you add stats to monsters. So I, the bone wheels have 200% quantity, and the skeleton archers have 200% increased rarity. Two and version three. Okay. I I have zero versions of gibberish. I don't have it installed on my computer. I just see you guys posting like, oh, we need gibberish now for raiding, and I'm like, okay. And I I literally don't know what that is. Complete mystery for me. Is that the Guild Wars 3 announcement? Uh, kind of. The channel in the Discord is literally already titled Guild Wars 3. So I think I was really just ahead of the announcement, if I'm being honest. I'll take full credit um, for Guild Wars 3. Uh, ArenaNet, thank you very much. Don't do any damage. Also, I need to kill these ads. They're fucking me up. Howdy, Stream Tom. You're awesome and cool. Thanks, Hardcore Player. Uh, you're awesome and cool. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing good. I know this isn't DDO, which is my normal thing. I'm a Dungeons and Dragons Online streamy guy, but uh, we are doing Path of Exile because I want to. Because I wanted to play the new league, and I am doing that. I got nothing. Cool. I love that. Is it two files you'll need? Okay. Yeah, I, d I don't even have the thing installed, so I'll have to I'll have to learn from like the bottom up what the heck is going on. Okay, cool. So the climb. Very neat, though. Stop getting stunned. Increased chance for defense modifiers. I wonder if I can craft an item already. Oh, these guys have increased quantity or rarity. I can't remember. I assume it applies to all of them and not just the one that's, like, glowing. Uh, but actually, I, I'm something I'm not sure about. I assume it applies to all of them. It's not really clear. Damn it! Dude, this game is impossible. Why? Why would they do that? You see the door. Look at this. I see the lower prison. I go to click on the door, and then I have to, like, stop and press this. Terrible UX design. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Um. Let's see. Increase life on the ghouls. That's a bad idea. So we'll increase life on you. And this stuff is fine. That's whatever. Terrible UX design. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea how that made it out of first round testing. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people that also do exactly what I just did. Where they get like completely bamboozled by that. Or they click on the wrong door. It's, again, it's not like really complicated. Like I'm you know, trying to disarm a bomb over here. But like that's just silly and dumb. I can't wear that. I don't have enough strength. Uh, does this give strength? Nope. It gives double resist. That's pretty good. Does this give strength? No, but it gives life. Well, I'll think about it. Okay, I don't need this. This is garbage. I'm going to sell all this garbage. I kind of want this chest because I need yeah. armor defenses. I'm going to put this on. Uh, Nessa's giving me uh, added lightning damage, which is great. Well, I'll take it. Thank you. And I will take uh, a strength item. Nice. Can I enchant this anyway? No. Other jewelry, life regen. All right. Okay, cool. I can put that on. Beautiful. Yes. Good. And then I'm gonna have to get elemental hit. The, I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna get the elemental hit. Like I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. The ghouls are very dangerous. They do like a lot of a lot of extra damage. I mean, I do a little bit of extra damage, but not as much as these guys do. Get them, everybody. No, I'm gonna be doing elemental hit of the spectrum. I just have to get it, um, which I will do eventually. As I said, my my pace through here is not gonna be the fastest, and I'm okay with that. I'm just playing around, you know, playing the game, having a good time, collecting stuff, killing monsters, fighting bad guys, searching around. I do like that they already changed one of the quests, the crab quests, so that way the guy's stuck in an essence. I think that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to try to do the optionals. Like, I think I might try to do, like, Dread Thicket in Act 2 and try to do, like, all the zones, but, like, for real. I, think I might do, like, a full quest clear just because they said they updated the whole game, like, throughout the entire leveling process, and I don't know, that seems kind of neat. 
Like, what better time to go redo everything than after they said they updated the whole thing? Trial. Okay, so I want this for sure, but I don't really need the wand nodes yet. I feel like it might be foolish to just like put points into the wand nodes before I need them. Damn it, I almost made it. Also, I remember doing this. I died like three times in here on uh, doing this on the gauntlet because of how much extra damage the monsters have. God, playing Path of Exile regular after the gauntlet is so crazy. Feels like I'm playing a totally different video game with how much easier it is. It's, uh, it's astounding. I also don't know how I'm going to get um, dexterity. There's another problem I have yet to solve. I will need a lot of dexterity in this build, and I do not know how to get it. I could go for some, like, some of the extra projectile stuff, which is not the worst idea at first. Just like move towards the dexterity and extra extra prodge, because I, I want to get uh, extra projectiles. I should be able to get three all the time, so I won't actually need anything else. But, ooh, that's a monster. Extra physical damage aura. Oh, I love that. A lot more essences showing up. There's been like one in every single map. I don't know if that's like a new thing that they're doing. They're just trying to add in more essences to the game. I don't know. I'm just literally chugging mana potions. I got I got nothing else. A lot of quivers today. Hmm. Okay, so that's done. This is good. Okay. Look at the lantern, Strim Tom. Alright, we got it. Damage, attacks, all damage can freeze. Honestly, that can go right to hell. Um, strongest monster in pack gets 100% life. Pack leader. Okay, pack leader's a diabolist. Diab yeah, it's all the, it's all these guys. Um, I'll put these on the ghouls. I don't want to deal with the extra life on the guys that can resurrect the undead. What is this? Oh, the strong boxes are on the map. Oh, neato. That's cool. Whoop. It just defaults to the things. Yeah, but that's, it, you know, the whole point is to use the UI. Like, you're right. It, it does seem like you can just do that. I just, I don't want to ignore the UI, if that makes sense. Like, I want to engage with the system. Got your first unique. Nice, dude. That's sick. Stop being squirrely and running around. It's like, I'm playing DDO with the archers. I just, like, don't ever want to stand still. Extra lightning damage and exposure. Well, that's a problem. I'm not fighting this. I think it's like 80 million hit points. I'm just going to ignore that for now. My damage is uh, 63. Oh, God. I do not have a good solve for that problem. I basically just don't... I haven't taken any damage nodes yet, so... Yeah, it's always fun. I don't have any damage on my weapons. I probably should, like, at the very least, just try to, like, enchant my weapons with something. Um, just get like a wand and then try to like hit it with something, but yeah. Oh, this guy ran away. Come back. Come back. I need to kill you to open the box. Please. Not to level up. Although, an orb of regret. Feeling that. You guys feeling the regret? Back to PV, what happened to last epoch? So, um, there's a new league for Path of Exile. So it's new content, and Last Epoch Ignorance came out over a month ago and has no new content. So I'm playing the game with the new content. Like, that's how these games are designed. They come out with, like, a, a... They're, like, all in a cycle. Where, like, every few months they come out with something new, you play it, and then you enjoy it, and then you get however many hours out of it, and then you go play something else that's new. Increased damage while wielding a wand. So this should just give me 14% increased damage, and it did. Okay, cool. Um, So that's good. Uh, life and mana, and life per kill. I don't need this. Can I enchant something here? Yeah, I'm just going to enchant this. One to four fire dispels. Okay, enchant that. Complete garbage. Whatever, it's good enough. It, like, actually has no usable stats. Good. Alright, so now we follow around this way. So it's not like I dislike Last Epoch. It's that I don't need to play Last Epoch anymore, because uh, for now, until they come up with something new. 
I played through. I did all the content. I got, uh, you know, I beat the tier four Chronomancer Jewelra. I farmed out my uh, Nova build all the way through. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was good. But then I'm, I'm done. I'm taking a break. That's pretty much how most of the action RPGs are designed. So they have like a, and then at some point they'll do a new season where they'll have like new content, new bosses to fight, with new items to get, and other other things. And then when that happens, I'll go back and play some more Last Epoch, and then you know the cycle will continue again and again. The crab and the gauntlet is not going to be fun. Yeah, you just have to go back like when you're level thirty. Unless they had a thing where you had to like do the quests in order, uh, you just you just go back like ten levels over. Yeah, exactly. Last Epoch is a great product. It's really fun. However, um, it just doesn't have as much like stuff in it as other modern games. Like, there's just way more stuff in Path of Exile to play, um, which makes sense. Path of Exile has been developed, like, started development in like 2007, and finished like it did its initial launch in like 2012 or 2013, and has been in development for 11 years. And Last Epoch came out this year. So it's a, a different sense of scale, if that makes sense. Farewell. All right, so let me go here. We're gonna get Flame Dash, so I can move faster. Do I need, do I even need Flame Dash? Oh, I can't buy it anyway. Who cares? While we live, we are blessed. I'm gonna buy this thing. No, I'm not. Yes. That's Farewell. good. Uh, do I have another orb in here? Uh, really? I don't. Do I have another essence? I have one essence of greed, which sucks. All right. It is what it is. Back to work. Also, I don't think I can rearrange that in here. I didn't see anything on the door, so. I think this one is just defaulted. To, like, be this way always. So what is it? Hounds have 20% damage. These guys have more accuracy. All right, well, they don't matter if they have accuracy, so that's fine. Servant haunted. I don't know if them being servant haunted does anything in particular. I'm not, I'm just not sure. Maybe only the servant haunted ones have a chance to drop the corpse. And I kind of don't really know. And these guys have no mods, so I can ignore them. And I still need, even with clarity, I still need mana potions. I Elemental hit is a mana intensive skill, so I have a feeling I'm going to need clarity as well for that one. But I'll also have like mana leech, so maybe that won't be an issue. Mana and life leech. It will feel weird to play as a one character without using like extra spells, but I don't know how to use elemental hit with extra spells. Also, I'm going to be trying to scale like general elemental damage. Oh, defeat significant spirit. Um, do eat monsters and Acropolis modifiers. Nice. One down. One league challenge down. A hundred to go. I like that the monsters in here are hexproof, but I can't get hexes yet. Okay, that's a problem. Give me this. Give me that. Thank you. Die. I want to be able to get like arc. Arc will be a huge savior, but I don't have arc yet, so. Until I can finally get elemental hit. Pain snarl, fire, and ignite resistance. Wow, thanks, game. He'll die eventually. Or it won't. Oh, look at that health fly. Nice. All right, sapphire ring, power amulet, that, and uh, everything else is mid. Okay, so let's go up here, get the next shrine. Thank you. And more skills level up, more damage. Let's go. I love damage. We love to see it. A lot of monsters in here. Just so many monsters. Holy moly. Apparently, this small side area is no longer one level higher, which is interesting. Um, also, the boss is different than I thought. Is this. Oh, it's this guy. Maker of Floods. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna kill all the rare monsters on the side before going for the boss. Makes the most sense to me. That guy's level 27. So Havoc is a very, very skilled racer. I assume he's probably going to like win whatever races exist, like you know, like, like the race to level 100. I'm assuming he's going to win. He's very, very good at the game. I think uh, he's playing Lightning Arrow. I have Ball Double Strike. Yeah. All flame ember of rats. Huh. 
I guess, I guess it adds rats to the map. Damage while wielding one, damage while wielding one. So that increases my spell damage. So I can still take that node without feeling bad about it. Because that just increases all damage that I deal while I'm wielding a wand. Not just damage with wand attacks. That's alright. Okay, let's keep going. Clarity. Yeah, I definitely want to get Arc. I think Arc will be a little bit better, because I think that it just generally does more damage, um, and going more into Lightning will probably help me out a little bit better during the leveling process. I've never been that much of an Arc user, but, you know, we're going to give it our give it our all. I could, in theory, try using, like, Elemental Hit, but the problem is I don't have any, like, the special masteries that make it good, so I think I'm just going to have to level, like, Vanilla Arc. Also, I'm definitely going the wrong way again. Power Shield, stuff, a Wand... With spell damage on it, it'd be good. There's also a thing you can get for ones, which makes it so you get increased uh, attack damage equal to your spell damage, or like spell damage increases attack damage, which I might use. It's going to depend. I think the unique wand I want to use at the beginning is going to be like Pissicator's Vigil or something. Something just simple that has just good stats um, and gets the job done. Uh, nope, 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 no, 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 ship graveyard. Stop that. Oh, God, I got to kill all this stuff. Okay, ship graveyard. Uh, that gives tar zombies with more life. Remove one flask from killer's flask when slain. Oh, that's terrible. I hate that. All right. Oh, soldier haunted. Monsters haunted by more powerful spirits have a higher chance to have unresolved anguish and drop embers of the all flame. Slaying haunted monsters in the area increases chance for devoted modifiers on Lantern of Aramor for connected areas. Okay, so that makes sense. And it's the more you kill, the more uh, the more you get. Okay. All right. In general, plus one more, plus one spell saves more value protection for DDO. Uh, that depends on how much you have of each. What are your saving throws right now? And what level are you? And do you have spell resistance? And are you a Warforged or Undead? Or a Celestial? <laughs> The the sad the sad thing is I wish that I didn't have to you know ask that question like that but that is that is very directly how that works like there is not just like a oh in general like which one's better well spell saves saving throws are like have a diminishing return value of after a certain point they stop being valuable like if a monster has like a DC of fifteen then when you get to thirty five saves you can only fail on a one so anything beyond that doesn't matter so they're but until you get to there, it's pretty useful. Um, but magic resistance rating is always useful, unless you don't get hit by magic that often. Or if you have evasion. Or if you have a lot of elemental absorption. Or other associated factors. So there's always like mitigating factors on each. In general, if you don't know the answer, I like spell saves. Because spell saves gives you extra saves versus spells. And if you're playing like a fighter, or a barbarian, or somebody who's like saving throws kind of suck. Having those extra spell saves can be pretty nice. Um, but... It's going to be like assuming you're playing one of those characters that needs one of those things. Okay. Hinder spells. Strongest monster to pack. It's life. Fetid shamblers. And extra life on war elementals. Whatever. I guess the life. I can deal with life on war elementals. It's totally fine. Also, we have spell damage. Spell damage mana. Cool. It's like infinitely better than this. I have a two link on my chest. Thank you. Sell that later. I have another ring. Old ring. Biz damage to attacks. Let's re-roll it. Mana regen. Damn. This game really wants me to have mana regen. I like it. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't answer your question, I don't know what to tell you. Scepter of God. Man, these guys are on, like, almost done Act 3 in the first 50 minutes. And I'm, like, working my way through Act 1. I'm okay. Lots of questions there. I, I, and again, that's the hardest part about DDO is making those types of evaluations. 21, we'll save 41. Less for the others. Mainly trying to figure out what stuff to take in the Tiefling Tree to get fire. Resistance stripping with Ash. Uh, so I would go with spell saves for sure. 
because if you don't know whether you're going to make the save or not, you'd rather know. Because 2 MRR is a amount of damage that is pretty much negligible. Like, you might never notice it. But you will notice when you roll a low number against, like, a symbol of stunning and instantly get stunned for 10 seconds and you can't move. And you're like, well, I guess I'm stunned for 10 seconds. Like, cool. Oh, it puts you at Fairgraves now. Frey stuck fast in my oh. old flame. Cool. It actually just straight up puts you at Fairgraves. That's kind of cool. Nice. I like that. I did absolutely did not expect that. Drop me off right at Fairgraves. Hey, what's up, Fairgraves? A bunch of crap I don't need. And that's how you die properly, sailor boy. No half measures, thank you. That's right. I also like that everybody else, all the other characters, are like Fairgraves. You're a brave man. Uh, you know, in a bad circumstance, I you know I don't know what I would have done in your position. And they all like talk about how Fairgraves is like a great guy and he's a good captain and all this. And the witch is like, no half measures. You're dead. That's how you die. No coming back to life. It's fantastic. Yeah, so my answer to that question is generally spell saves. And you'll notice that in the build, I honestly prioritize spell saves a lot. Because again, you're rolling a 1 to something and then dying to it. Like, every time you roll a 1 to sound burst, or not rolling a 1, but like you, you fail a sound burst, you know... No, Kevin! Fuck! Shit! God. Every time. I'm going to do this every time. You know, I don't even care. I don't even care. It probably doesn't matter. <sighs> Whatever. Extra treasures? I didn't find any treasure while I was doing it. It might only have, like, a chance to spawn. Or maybe I just didn't go to the right spot. I didn't see any Welcome. treasure. Uh, gold. Oh, try res That's kind of cool. Helmet? No, it's not really that good. Okay, sell this. Sell this. Stay sharp out there. That's yeah, so give me. If you must. Behind fair graves? Oh, like, on the boat? Oh, I didn't think to check on the boat. Oh, I should probably check on the boat, then, if that's the case. Okay, just bank some stuff. Behind the boat, there was a small cove. Okay, let me go check that out. I didn't, I di I didn't see that, personally, but maybe it's there, yeah. In the boat, there's a small cove, eh? Carving here. Boat. Find the boat. Chest here. I don't see. Is was it was it like near him or was it pretty far away? Like how far away do I have to go to find the cove? I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's back here. No, it's not here. Pretty near. All right. I think it. Maybe it's just a random chance to spawn. It probably just is like a random chance to spawn. That's fine. It means that like two people will play the same thing and have a different experience, which I think is actually kind of cool. Like one person will be like, yo, I, did you get this big treasure? And it's like, no, did you get this thing? And it's like, no, I didn't. Did you get this thing? Is that an instant bleed flask during the leveling process? Nice. Arc is so much cleaner. I just love how it's just like ba -ba -ba -ba. it just bounces between all the targets. Get him, team! Blast this guy! Extra crits! Get out of here! Stop killing me, please! Oh, is my large flask an instant? Oh, that sucks. I should not be killing this thing. But it's servant haunted. Maybe it's gonna have something good. I think when I get to Act 2, I'll try to go to the Necropolis and see if I can craft something. See if there's something in there. Um, yeah, it's instant. Fuck, that sucks. <laughs> be way better if it wasn't instant. Because uh, it reduces the amount of heal, and healing over, like, in, in this stage of the game, you don't ever die instantly to anything. So, having heal over time is, like, in almost all cases better. Damn. Unlucky. 
I barely recognize myself. Ooh, heavy belt. Actually pretty good, because I will need some strength. So I'm going to put that on, I think. Ooh, treasure chest. Let's see if they change this boss. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's the same. It has no lightning resist, so we're just going to blast them. Nice. Okay. I wonder if, like, killing stuff causes Mervale to, like, be upset with you. And maybe have, like, lower stats because you killed their daughters or something. First character to reach level 30, and they're already in Act 4. Damn, these guys are fast. What gods. I bet I have more scrolls of wisdom. Probably not, honestly. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there we go. Cavern of Anger. Okay, so there's no buff for Mervale, which is interesting. So you can get 100% max life on the sea spawns. Honestly, seems good. There's a lot of them, and that'll really beef up their life. Um, and they're very easy to kill. So. High gate into Dried Lake. Just instantly, they gotta go zoom in, man. I also like that you can hear Mervale singing because she's like a siren in the distance. Like that's the actual music that's in here. And there's a lot of like really good stuff if you pay attention to what's going on. You can like read the, the skin, uh, like the etching on skin. You can read like the story from all the people that got eaten basically by Mervale. About, you know, how she used to live in Theopolis with uh, Doreso and, oh man. It's a good story. That's, again, it's one of the reasons why, like, the characters give you a little bit of it when you just walk around and, like, do the quest. Where, like, when you finish, um, some of the characters will, will act sympathetic towards Mervail. Some of them don't. That's because they know the story that you, the player, don't. Unless you read it. It's kind of funny. Okay. Go, Ark. Go. Get him. Ark him. I don't have enough arcing power. There's so many monsters. Can't get to the spawners. There's too many of them. It's too many. Ooh, another large mana flask. Actually pretty good. So I'm going to drop that in there. Get rid of this. Okay. There right, we go. Big boss time. I have, I think, yeah, I have... Uh, capped light cold res, so I shouldn't take that much damage. She's like all cold. You just hit her. All cold, all resistance. No, come back. Except I have the brutal shrine, so she gets knocked away out of my orb of storms, which is very annoying and silly. Uh, I probably shouldn't have picked that one up, but it's fine. Get out of here. Nice. I was like that I can check everybody's progress. Oh, look at the witches. <laughs> so many witches. Uh, got a bunch of witches. 18, 11, 5, 15, 3, or 13. So many people playing Path of Exile. Again, Path of Exile League Day is so good. It's the perfect, and especially because it's a Friday, it's like... You know, we haven't done Pizza Friday in a while, but if there was ever a day to, like, do a Pizza Friday to, like, order a pizza and stay in, man, Path of Exile League launch day, get yourself some Sodi Pop or a healthy drink. Get yourself a pizza or, like, a healthy smattering of uh, various fruits, grains, maybe some cheeses and stuff to snack on while you game, and just have a blast. Increased attacks, cast speed for each monster alive in pack. Oh, that's dangerous, but YOLO. Oh, and yeah, it's a day off, so a lot of people have it. If you're in North America, because it's a Good it's Friday. Nice I didn't even think about Good Friday. I think there will be pizza places open on Good Friday, but honestly, I don't know. I know the McDonald's is, because when I was there yesterday getting a coffee, um, there was, like, a dude there who was working, like, a nearby store who was like, hey, are you guys open tomorrow? And they're like, yeah, are you open tomorrow? And he's like, no, nah, we're closed, but we're, we're like, gonna we have people working because we got to do some work in the store, so they have, they're paying people, like, time and a half for that. Um, which like makes sense. 
Um, it's like pretty, that's pretty common for like on days where you have to be closed, like holidays, to just pay people time and have to get something done. Because it's like, you know, you're not working backwards, if that makes sense. It's dirty work, but someone's got to do it. That's right, buddy. You do it. Okay, so I want the wand damage. So we're going to have to get all of this. Is it this or this? Wand attacks deal increased damage. This is increased accuracy and attack speed. Honestly, I think the accurate attack speed is better than the damage. Although I might take the whole thing. We'll see. Okay, so... We come in here, and I don't need my blacksmith whetstones. So I'm just going to sell these out of the game for more scrolls. And then we're going to identify everything. Uh, boots that are bad. Boots that don't have movement speed. Boots that still that have more movement speed and cold res. But I need the three link. I don't know why I'm looking at boots. I'm stupid and dumb. Uh, bad wand. Bad wand. Bad necklace, and I'm not even identifying that one. All right. Easy answers all the way around. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's the guy who knows what he's going to do, because it's very obvious. Greater mana flask, put that away. Bank, 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 bank. All right. To the Necropolis. Do you have a Tabaxi Monk build? I don't think so. I haven't played Monk in a... Uh, do I? I might. Welcome to my little I would check my build repository. I can't recall offhand. Got a more I play, put out so many builds, I just kind of space on all of them. But if it gets full, we'll have to choose what we want. I do. While you're here, I'm learning something. Some Big holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, as far as I know. There you go. Spirits. I think you'll be mighty Okay. So what's this? You don't really want to know. A withered old man hanging out by himself in a graveyard, collecting corpses. I have to assume you're not actually asking. After all, none of the other exiles I work with have ever shown an interest. See, this is really funny because it's like, um, it's basically referencing the fact that like people don't click on these where he's basically sitting here and being like, yeah, I don't, I don't like any of this. I'm not up to anything nefarious or disgusting. I can promise you that. Best leave well enough alone. Oh, I can still click it. What's this obsession with the meaning behind our work? Aren't the baubles unearthed here enough to satiate you? Just kill things and stop asking questions. Okay. Yes. He does not like talking about it. Uh, interesting. Invite to hideout? Okay, so he's in the hideout now. So I can view the morgue. All right. So let me see if I can try crafting something. These are all out of defense stuff. Let's see if I can make a piece of armor. How does this work? So, I put this down. Armor can roll haunted modifiers. Okay. So bury a corpse. And this gives me increased chance of resistance modifiers. That's great. Increased chance of life modifiers. That's great. Mana modifiers are scarcer. I don't want mana modifiers. And element increased defense modifiers. So in theory, after burying all of this, remove corpses. Oh, to remove, yeah. So now I craft. Oh, so there we go. So these are all the modifiers. So I'm going to make armor. And I'm going to try to make some new body armor, I guess. Because it's got resistance defenses and all that. So we'll try this. So we'll make body armor. Body armor, rare, item level 13, four modifiers. May the great Emperor Chittis free you of your anguish and aid the soldiers that you may house their valiant soul. Exercise. May the shine of Solaris burn away your anguish and aid this soldier so that you may house their valiant soul. Hey, I got dex armor I can't use. Oh, right. Cool. When we bury our anguished friends, the pattern matters. Exorcisms are all about patterns. See. Hmm. Patterns of angst, patterns of pain. The pattern matters. Patterns of corruption. Does it? Choose our plots carefully. Okay. Exorcism. You can pilfer shiny things from a corpse, but you can pilfer glorious things from a soul. Oh, he did. Only source of plasm I've ever seen. Love this old ray class. Hmm. I do. Damned fool he was, that ball. Okay, plasm. Yeah, what's that? It's a white goo that comes off properly exorcised souls. Okay. I've got a colleague I correspond with. He calls them humors. 
but I don't see anything funny about it. The old humors, classic. Too, though I don't know what it is he's scheming. He's a strange one, that. Never mm. quite makes sense. Who is it? Who collects souls? Loves his plants, hates warlocks. Now what were we talking about? I can't quite Loves remember. his plants and hates warlocks. Back to work, I suppose. Aha. Uh -huh. So is that the implication that what? this guy is a warlock? I don't know. He also sells a coffin so I can store corpses. Pretty, Fun. Pretty bodies. Pretty bodies. Hmm. What he you know what seems like a nice swell guy. You know, just seems like he's got a he's got a lot on his mind. Good head on his shoulders. Hopefully he doesn't mind that I want to keep my head on my shoulders and everything seems to be going good. All right, old fields. We got a lot of monsters in here. Physical damage reduction 4% life regen. Uh let's put that on something with low health. What? Huh? Okay, hold on. Go down here, put that land can no longer be interacted with in this area. Transaction has already been done. Uh huh. I think I was holding it for too long. Business fire, physical damage reduction. This seems fine. Wacky. So I, th I think they've. Uh, I, I don't know if it's like a bug or what's going on, but that that definitely seemed buggy. That didn't seem like that was supposed to be happening exactly like that. I'm gonna be doing all the quests, um, just because. They changed up one of the side quests, which was really cool. So I think I want to check out the rest of the side quests to see how they've changed all of them. But uh, that's going to be the game plan here. Yeah, there's like this one. But there's a box. The fact that strong boxes now show up on the map is really nice because you can just rush over the strong boxes and start blowing stuff up. Die. Die. I didn't get anything useful, but I did get stuff. It's always fun. Okay. The den. Uh, chance to evade attacks and all damage can chill. Honestly, that's probably fine. I don't care about either of those outcomes. Because I don't attack. So monsters with evade chance doesn't matter to me. I cast spells. Good, it didn't freeze me. I was worried about the freeze. Die. 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 Shoot my lightning bolts. God, I love Ark, man. Ark is so cool. Oh, Chaos Orb. This early in the game? Holy moly, I'm rich. On a maps yet? Man, you fell off. Yeah, I fell hard. Sorry, dude. Uh, physical modifiers are scarcer? Honestly, amazing. Gonna be a good crafting modifier. Why is there a door here? Heal great white beast. No problem. There's not usually a door. Oh, is that the exit? Power shield. Oh, that's just exit to the old fields again. Okay, so that's just the exit. It's been such a long time since I've done this quest, I didn't even remember that there was an exit at the end. I actually don't know the last time I did the old field, or the uh, the beast. It's like never included as like a mandatory quest, as far as like the, uh, the progression goes. Oh, oh, what's that? All flame ember of rats. Pack size. Okay, pack monsters are rats. Necropolis locker decoration. So this lets me put rats into my map now. So now the the, the area will spawn with rats. Um, plus two to monster pack level. Chance to evade block spell block. I don't like that at all. We're gonna put that in the dirt scribblers. Put monster pack level on these guys. Evade hits. Put that on these guys. Give these guys extra life. Actually, give these guys life. Give these attack and cast speed. That's good. This league start recently. The league started one hour and eight minutes ago. So you're one hour and eight minutes into the league. There might still be a queue, I don't know, to get in. Usually there is the queue is pretty long over the first couple of days. So might be a lot, but yeah. Thugs grip, get him. Yeah, unfortunately not in maps yet. I, as I said before, not a racer, and I am okay with that. I'm a slower, man, I'm a slower. Like, the second playthrough of the League, I go pretty fast, but uh, the first one, not usually. Also, I think my loot filter is showing everything, which might be a problem. So, I might need to make some adjustments to my loot filter <laughs> at some point here. I'll, I can probably just do it on the fly and then have it update when, like, when I load to a new zone or something. But, yeah, we'll see. 
to download a lot. Yep. I mean, you got to download two things, though. You don't. You have to download both the game, which is a big part of it, and you have to also download stuff into your brain as well. No, 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 no. Fuck. It's so hard to do this mechanic. You have to stop at the door and click on the thing. And that is extremely difficult for me. Just stopping when I get to the door? Borderline impossible. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm updating my filter to see if it's going to change anything. Yeah, for me, I tell myself I'm not going to play the Path of Exile League every league. I go like, you know what? This time, I'm going to skip this next league. I don't need to play it. I'm going to skip this next league. I don't need to play it. I'm going to skip this next league. I don't need to play it. Guys, I'm never skipping any Path of Exile Leagues. I have to play them. It's going to be so devastating to my uh, mental health when Path of Exile 2 comes out. Because they're going to have asynchronous leagues where it's going to be a Path of Exile 1 league and then two uh, like a month and a half later, a Path of Exile 2 and then a month and a half later, a Path of Exile 1 and then a month and a half later, a Path of Exile 2. Holy moly, that's going to be hard for the old mental state. A lot, of, a lot of exiling, man. It's a lot of exiling. Although, if you're somebody who's ever wanted to get into content creation, the Path of Exile content creation sphere is very uh, difficult because there aren't a lot of like... I would say entertainment Path of Exile creators, like people who are like entertaining in the sense that they're out there just making stuff, um, you know, like your mom and pop content creators. Path of Exile, almost all of the people that are close to the top are like the really, really hardcore Path of Exile content creators. So people who are like very, very, very skilled at the game and make content that centers around them being very skilled at the game. Uh, these are lightning skeletons, cool. And video takes enough? Oh yeah, 100%. Like I said, for me, I was a huge Diablo 2 fan, and Path of Exile really scratches that Diablo 2 itch. Like, it really, really does. Um, it's very sad that a lot of the insane Diablo 2 mods, like Media and XL and stuff, isn't coming to um, D2R, because if they could uh, be able to get some of that stuff to work, that would be so cool um, to see uh, some like Media XL or, or Path of Diablo or whatever in Diablo 2 Resurrected with the new form factor, but some of the updated stuff, that would be amazing, but we just don't have that. So Path of Exile fills the uh, fills the Diablo 2 void. Someday, I, I I still have like copium, I'm still huffing it, that they'll uh, go back to Diablo 2 Resurrected and actually add like a patch where they like make a few changes to the game. I was really hoping they would continue to develop Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, they are not, uh, as far as I know, it is pretty much just like the game is done. Uh, it's not meant to be like a live service game or anything, but there is you know, a fine line between I had hope. And hesitation. Okay. I, I gotta get out of here. I, can, I don't want to fight that. Wisdom. Thanks. The latter is fear. Uh, okay, so I need. Do I even want to go for the wand damage stuff yet? Should I just go for life? I think for now, I'm just gonna go for like the life and call it a day. And then I'll get the wand damage stuff later. I can't swap to one until I get the skill, so. At which point I'm gonna like get the skill and be like, wow, this is so much worse than not using this. Whoops. Die. Mirage Archer support? What the hell is this? Oh, cool. It's like a gem lab. So at all the experimental tables, there's just gems on the ground. That's so cool. Okay, so a lot of you guys don't know, but in Path of Exile, part of the base storyline is that there's this guy, Doriani, uh, who did a ton of experiments on people with these things called virtue gems with an effort to actually try to get them to work. Um, basically, they found these gems in the ground called virtue gems that had great power, but they didn't know how to use them because, I don't know, figuring that shit's out it out as hard, I guess. And so uh, the ancient scientists who were trying to figure out how to do it, which they created the practice of thaumaturgy, which is basically magic that use, has a heavy influence from the uh, virtue gems, not knowing how to actually get it to work, uh, figured the best way to reach the power of the virtue gems in a person is to cut you open, put the gems in the body, and then sew, it, sew you closed, and then you can use the gems yourself. Um, that didn't work for anyone 
uh, pretty much everyone died. And if they didn't die, they became a gemling, a horrible, disfigured monster uh, who was had no control of their body. And a great example is like Fidelitis over here, who is just this mutated monster. Um, so Doriani and Malagaro and lots of other people were trying to do all these experiments. And all they did is make a bunch of monsters that uh, didn't do a whole lot, honestly, other than die painfully. <laughs> That's mostly what they did. Um, the reason why you can use the gems in Path of Exile is because you don't put them in your, like, arms and legs. You put them into your equipment. So you, uh, you know, grab the gem and you shove it into a socket in a piece of equipment, and then it allows you to channel the power, which I guess they just couldn't figure that out a thousand years ago. Um, but it is it is interesting. Um, and that's one of the reasons why what separates the Exile from everybody else. Also, a lot of people can't handle Virtue Gems either, even if they're in their equipment. A lot of, a lot of the people that exist really struggle having virtue gems on them, and so that is a, a part of it as well. This has literally nothing from it. I hate this. Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ash, Arctic Armor. I guess we use Herald of Thunder. I got nothing better. Not anything good here? Anything good? Ring of Chaos Res. I mean, it's better than nothing. And Life Per Hit. I can't use it, because I am selling. Uh, move Speed, one socket. I hate that. I want more socket. Socket shield I can't use. And this garbage makes me sad. Return if you must. Bank, bank, bank. Uh, delete. Uh, actually, I can just bank this in case I need it for later. I don't know what to do with these. I'll probably put rats somewhere. And ring on. And where's my shit tab? Shit tab. Here you go. Nice. Look at that armor. Beautiful. I can also put some like microtransactions on. I didn't buy anything. I usually don't buy. They have the supporter packs, so you can buy like the microtransactions and stuff. I usually don't buy them right away. I usually wait a little while to actually buy any of them. Um, just because. Yeah, I don't know. I just think the idea that because you know that the experiments were happening there, they decided to actually put the gems on the ground. To me, that is extremely cool. Like. It, it ties directly in with the lore. It makes sense that there should be a bunch of dead bodies and the gems on the ground that you can then take and use for yourself. Um, it's thematic. It fits. It... I don't know. It's just everything about that's cool. Except for, like, the whole, like, you know, lots of dead people and all that. Like, obviously, that, that's kind of bad. But, like, hey, man. This is the story. Path of Exile is a very dark game. People didn't make a lot of good decisions. Uh, they made a lot of bad decisions. Also, I'm doing it again where I'm just, like, going through... Okay, so let's reload the filter. Okay, 910. Right. I got stunned, so I didn't do anything. Die, jerk. Yeah, it just takes some time to like level through and get all the things. So I'm I'm in no particular rush here. Gonna having a good time. So somebody messaged me. Dark Song, Doom Scepter. Plus one to all lightning spell skill gems. Damn, dude, that's pretty sweet. I don't know what level you can start playing Detonate Dead. Sometimes I tire of this job. God, that voice actor did an amazing job. Public or private league? Public. Um, the problem with the private league is you kind of need to have a consistent, like, five to ten people constantly playing. If you don't have that group of people constantly playing, it feels like you're playing by yourself. And, uh, that's not as fun. Great. So, uh, I'm just doing the regular trade server. I've also figured out a way to manage my time playing Path of Exile. So I can trade League without as many consequences as I used, as I used to have. Not no consequences. I didn't say no consequences. I said not as many. Please understand. Get him. It's kind of disappointing also, I almost died there. I usually like rats. I Elemental Hits level 12, I think. So I should probably go get that and start leveling it up. I don't have any... Exist. I should honestly probably take this for the 20 Strength Index. And it's a bunch of Ellie Res. I'm going to do that. And I ignore stuns while casting. I'm just going to do that right now. 
Plus one explicit modifier. Oh, that's kind of cool. The shrine. Plague wasps regenerate life. Increase increased life granted to pack members on death. More damage for each alive monster in the pack. All of those are fine. When I get to an area I'm gonna like fully clear, I should probably add the rats or something in there. I don't just don't see myself fully clearing any areas. Maybe when I get to like um the thicket. Uh, maybe then we'll throw it in there and actually engage with the mechanic a little bit differently. Alright. Oh, I love I forgot the soul mourn. This angel thing is like so cool. I like that they just have this monster type that shows up in one map and here. And that's it. And they just don't use that monster anywhere else. Oh, no, uh, two maps. It's the the square map, and it is also in the um, oh, Pillars of Eren. And then also here, or Arun. I don't know how to pronounce it. I am uh, overleveled, so I'm going to just zoom a little bit. Zoom past a lot of this stuff. And I'm just having fun with Ark, dude. It's so fun to just blast things. Which... A lot of people going fast today. Chance to evade increased life on packs. That's probably fine. Um, so I can member embers of the all flame. I can take this. Oh, but that replaces the pack density too. Oh. Oh, so I can replace the skeletons with rats, and then it has a contains a pack leader. So now I have a bunch of rats spawning. And I can replace the spiders entirely with frogs. So now there's tons of frogs. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm just, this is, we're testing it. The level 10 monsters I don't really need, so uh, let's see how it goes. So now there should be no spiders in this map, and I should have rats and frogs instead. It's kind of weird. Oh god, look at the, look at the frogs. Kind of funny. The rats, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's big frogs in the other room. Get them. Get out of here, frogs. I don't know if they give more or less experience points. Each individual monster type gives a different amount of experience, so bigger, scarier monsters tend to give you more experience on average. But also volume is a kind of a big deal when it comes to it as well. Um I don't know how it works if you can, like, enter and then change it and then go back in. Maybe it, like, reloads the zone. I'm not sure. Oh, there's so many rats around this thing. That's right. Brutal shrine. Brutal shrine. And I have swarming rats added to the pool. Cool. That's kind of neat. This'll do. Look at the frogs. There's so many frogs. And it died so fast. Okay, so the frogs have, like, basically no hit points. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And then the rats, which also have basically no hit points. So it's great when you have a lot of AoE. Alrighty. It's kind of fun. Frog. I'll just go here, take practical application. And it's just so I can get... It's 20 um, strength and 20 dex, and also a bunch of resistances. Later in the future, I'll probably swap that out when I can get, like, 30 and 30 for two points, as opposed to 20 and 20 and two points. But for now, the resistances are just nice to have. Good Shine setup from the beginning. Boldly, so that all good. may find you when the night falls. I haven't really thought about, like, what additive damage effects I want to add on, because uh, the other problem, too, is elemental hit is base damage 100%, so having additive damage doesn't seem to be as impactful. Oh, should, should I from fully clear this place instead of the frogs? No, nah, I don't think I need to. I think it's fine. Oh, final pack spawns a nameless seer on death. Oh, shoot. Okay, I don't want that to be the spiders. So I get a nameless seer, which gives me one free unique? Cool! I get a free unique, dude. I just have to kill all of the skeletons in this map. And it's a choice. It's like the it's like a, vet, a shop that has like a whole bunch of uniques. But I have to kill every skeleton. So now you have just like this incentive to go find everything in the map. Die. 
which might be very time consuming. I hope it doesn't include like. No, no, it wouldn't. I was like, I was going to be like, I hope it doesn't include skeleton stuff that pop out of tombs and crypts. But I just realized that's I'm not playing Diablo 2 right now, so that's not a thing that happens. Oh, orb of fusing, I'm rich. Uh, reach level 41, the reliquary. These guys are like leveling up fast, man. They're leveling fast. Okay, so let's go down here. I gotta clear this area. I gotta full clear this bad boy. We're going for the full treasure, baby. I can't even think of a leveling unique I would even need. Who knows? Maybe I'll just get a free tabula rasa. That'd be sick. I would say I would say yes to a tabula rasa for free. Heck, half of the damaging ones would be pretty good. Uh, gold rim would be amazing. Wanderlust. I mean, I can't really say no to pretty much every single every single item that would be on a list, unless it's like a bunch of stupid two-handed melee weapons. Then, then I would say no to that. Isn't it based on level? Yeah, but those are all like low level items. You know, I'm talking like these are all like level one leveling uniques. Like there's so many good leveling uniques that I would totally take. What have you got for me today, Exile? Oh, spooky boy. This is exactly why I didn't want it to be on spiders, because the spider packs, they crawl out from like the ground, so you have to wait for them to spawn in, and then if like they all crawl out and then one of them goes a different direction, that'd be way too annoying. Put into Grethkol. Alright, we're still working it. We're not there yet. We're still working it. Boss room, I think. So you gotta do the side rooms of the boss room to make sure we're clearing it 100%. No monster left behind. Okay. Trials of Ascendancy here. Uh, let's go get more life. Hello. Hi, boss, ba boss boy. Archbishop, Archbishop Joffrey the Abashed. Golden hand, thank you. So they didn't change that at all. So Archbishop Joffrey is completely the same. So I guess because it's for a quest, they didn't change it, but they changed the other one for a quest. I don't know. I should also probably replace my uh, little summons at some point soon, because they're going to lose a lot of value since I don't have any um, minion stuff. I should probably replace them with just, like, damage. I mean, it's, like, plus 10 damage. You, like, crit. Or the thing that makes it so you can't crit, but you do 20% more damage. Which is probably also a good option. I think Ark has built-in shock chance. I think. It does not... It's not a built-in shock chance. Okay. As far as I know, every room is clear now. Oh. 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 Okay. Chaos Orb. Is there, like, one monster kicking around? I assume the Nameless Seer would be, like, on the map, maybe. Oh, God. What if it's bugged and the Nameless Seer doesn't spawn? <laughs> and I spent, like, 20 minutes just, like, meandering around and be like, I'm gonna find it, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. It means there's probably, like, one skeleton alive. Just chilling. Oh, oh, another pack. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's this one. It's this one. Not this one, okay. So there's more monsters poking about. I thought I cleared the whole map, but apparently not. Oh, 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 uh, uh. There it is, the Nameless Seer, okay. He sees you. Silver Branch, Cloak of Flame, or Doedri's Damning. All of those are very, very good items. In the... Silver Branch is great if you're playing a bow character. It's like the bow leveling bow. It's so good. I'm not playing bow. Uh, so I don't care too much about this, but this is pretty good. 
Cloak of Flame just makes it so 40% of Fizz is taken as fire. This is a maximum roll. And I could just use that to take so much less damage. It's just 40% less damage taken. And then Doedris, which is also pretty good. And it's a bad roll. So, uh, yeah, let's take a max roll Cloak I'm of Flame. Thanks, bub. I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with that. Not gonna lie, pretty happy. That was good. Corruption Altar? Why are you typing Corruption Altar in capital letters? And I have an Orb of Fusing, too. Check this out. Boom. Two Link. Arcane Surge. Frost Blink. Fire Res maxed. Done. So now my Fire Res is capped, and if I get hit, I have 40% of the damage I take goes into Fire Resistance. Oh! And I'm on fire? Dude, does Cloak of Flame just put you on fire? Or is that new? That's cool. I'm just on fire now. All right, well, I'm happy with that. Great job, great job, everybody, great job. Good work. See, this is exactly why you do everything. It always did? Okay, I never used the Cloak of Flames. So this is very cool to me. Yeah, 100%. This is why you slow play it. You slow play it, man. Gotta hand in my quest. All right, you good. No, who is it? Nina? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I killed the Great White Beast. Uh, I can get a strength belt that actually has an enchantment on it or a second move speed flask. Let's go with a second move speed flask. That's pretty good. I got respect points. Thank you. Oh, I have to do that anyway. Reduce charges used? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Reduce charges used? Oh. Regrettable quest. Do I have to do all the quests that give regrets? Oh, no, I don't. Nice. And that's just damage. Cool. Oh, my God. I'm feeling, like, pretty good about this. Yo, what's up, Mr. Einhar, man? I worry you. Got new monsters in the vault? Oh, yeah, dude. They've got a whole bunch of new stuff. Dead. Drop bears. Let's go. Yeah, the new monsters and changes they've added are, like, really cool. Tiger Prey and Tiger Prey? Hmm. Right. We will be that is a bow. Friends. Nice. We you. I already have greater life flasks. Portal scrolls. That guy's dead. He's bad. I don't know if they changed anything, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of three links. I'm feeling the three links, you know? Hasted leeches life. Well, that sucks for me, because I have a lot of minions. This guy's, like, health is not going down, because he's just wailing on my creatures. Um, Well, you know. I mean, I guess maybe Einhar will help me kill it. But a big monster with a lot of health that leeches life? Very annoying. We will be best friends, oh, and the boss is over here? Fine. <laughs> I need Mirage. It's probably fine. Dude, Path of Exile is so good right now. I'm just having a good time. This is so cool. The nice thing, too, is, like, Path of Exile generally small game. So if you like, oh, I gotta update the client. Okay, that take, like, ten minutes and update the client. Downside is it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not easy on the computer. That's the one downside I will say about Path of Exile that, you know, I wish they could do something about is that it's not easy on the computer. If you have, like, if you're running your or your PC is, as they say, a potato, uh, it doesn't do Path of Exile too good. Bewey? I do. Yeah. Ooh, Untainted Apes. Cool. I don't do anything with it, but I do technically have a guild. Back in the day, I made a guild for like me and my friends, and then all of them stopped playing. I'm the only person that still plays. So uh, I have a guild that has me in it and myself. Eastern European Mountain Connection. Yeah, but what if you uh, just connected yourself um, to uh, not Eastern European Mountain, you know? I think I'm going to take the plus two skill points because I, I usually like going with Alira for a lot of reasons, but I think Alira is the, not the way to go anymore. 
Because the mana regen I won't need. Because I'm gonna like life steal all of that, or mana steal all of it. And I don't need um the Ellie Res, because I'm gonna be a a witch. Uh or an elementalist. And the crit multi is nice, but I feel like you get more crit multi with two points. I caught move to Tokyo? Yeah, you probably could. Is Oak every time big boomer moment? Yeah, dude. Well, it's cause Oak used to give you physical damage reduction, like out the wazoo. That was crazy. What's up, ninth pawn? How you doing? I'm excited to see Wand Pawn again. Yep. Now it's like 1% life regen. <sighs> Whatever. You missed a valuable lesson, sister. Yeah, dude. I, did you do the Legion that was in Act 1? That was cool. Wait, why F Ruby Flask? Good. The shrine. Doing something. Crit. Oh! I am God now! Yes! I'm doing very good. I'm playing the new Path of Exile League, which is sweet. I'm excited for, uh, you know, to continue going along with the game and, you know, leveling up and doing all that. Right now, I'm just, I'm having an absolute blast with some of the new stuff that they've added so far. Um, I got myself a Cloak of Flame, which, you know what, will, does that contribute to it? Yeah, it does. I don't know when I can force it to be a four link, um, but it's going to be a three link for a very, very long time. So I'm going to have to use like four links on my uh, other pieces of equipment. But that'll take me a little bit. Now that'll indeed be a new wand pawn. I'm also going wander. It's exciting. I just need to get the gem. I want to use uh, the new um, elemental hit of the spectrum, but with a wand. Um, but elemental hit of the spectrum is a transfigured jewel. I can't get a transfigured jewel until I uh, complete act, uh, whatever you call it, uh, until I get to the labyrinth. So probably around like level 40, 45 ish, I'll go check it out. The problem is, in theory, I could just use elemental hit now, but the new elemental hit is like cooler and more interesting. So I kind of want to use that instead, um, as opposed to the current elemental hit. So I want to, I'm just going to use that. So until then, I'm going to be splitting all my points into like all the wand passives. So my character is not going to level fast, I tell you what, but that's okay. And then we're going to be doing that. And since the the new elemental hit has deal no non-elemental damage, or deal no physical damage, I think it's no non-elemental uh, built into it. You can't convert to chaos. You can't do um, all physical or anything like that. Since that's the case, uh, I think, again, Piscator's Vigil is going to be really, really good to get in like the first couple of days. Um, the price of Piscator's Vigil is usually, well, basically zero. Um... It's not called piss for no reason. Uh, so it's going to be uh, usually zero. I think that enough people will be playing around with some of the one stuff that it should be probably like 10 to 20 chaos for the first couple of weeks. I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, then that's amazing. Doing cold damage. If only we do cold damage. Go, my arc. Go, arc your way through the monsters. Arc. I don't even know where the boss is. There it is. Get him. Yeah, I'm going to grab control destruction very soon. By very soon, I mean right now. Free socket leather hood. I don't even know what colors I need. I don't know. I'm like figuring stuff out. A lot of pieces, a lot of moving pieces of this puzzle that I'm still working my way through. Okay, give me control destruction. Hell yeah. So that's going to go over top of the phantasms. So thank you, phantasms. You were very cool. Thank you. Yes. And do I have extra gems I could use? Uh, I have lots of gems. I could probably add extra cold with Herald Device because Herald Device is good. And um, brand recall, wave of conviction, summer skitterbots. I do like summon skitterbots as well. Skitterbots are good. Forbidden Right, Magic Field, Arcane Cloak, Skitterbot's good. I'm going to need Skitterbots in the future anyway, so I might as well get them and start leveling them now. Goodbye. The Skitterbots don't trigger mines for me. I'm not using them for that purpose. 
I am plus one to all physical spell skill gems. Well, that's going in the Void Sphere build. Uh, where's my gear? Do I have, did I make the gear stacker folder? I didn't. Okay, so I have to make a new folder. So new folder. This is gear stackers. And uh, oh, I don't want this this to be in here. I want this to go out here. Yeah, needs to get out of here. Oh, I have to put it in the folder. Okay, so this is where. So we do this. So we go new folder, gear stackers, and we take. We have this this folder. It goes in here. That goes in there. Uh, I can put that in there. So this is for the different characters. So this is, uh, uh, no, um, this is elemental hit of the spectrum. Perfect. And this is going to be void sphere of rending. And that is beautiful for void sphere of rending right away. God damn, dude. What do you want? What was that spooky noise? Was there somebody making spooky noises in town? I hate that. Uh, holy F, look at that ring that I linked. Okay, give me a minute. I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy not looking at the thing that you linked intentionally to bother you and get under your skin. Busy. So I hear my roommate going in and out, which makes me think that either there's a lot of stuff going on that's interesting. That's somebody's stupid pet that they have. I think it's probably one of the newer ones. Yes, I'm going to watch some... Titan fighting, Titan fighting. Uh, I don't have. There's no ring. Sorry, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a lot of monsters here. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. Sounds good. Nothing cool. There's a ring. Two stone ring. Try res with res with craftable uh, spot for life. Not gonna lie, pretty good. What's better? Probably skitter bots. Cause they make stuff shocked. So even though I shock stuff, it makes stuff it makes it things are always shocked, so I always have the um the blasty dealy going. Those things have a lot of hit points, oh my god. I'm going to be using Skitterbots very aggressively on this character because the plan is to have the Skitterbots apply uh, Shock and Chill to status effects I cannot apply myself uh, later on because my character will be using a gem called the Secrets of Suffering that makes it so you cannot Chill, chill Shock, or Ignite. But instead, when you crit, you apply Sap, Brittle, and... Um, sap, Brittle, and the other one. Uh, so it kind of like... Uh, uh, scorch. So it kind of changes up your elemental uh, effects. And that's important because with the elemental hit, the idea is that you get 15% more damage with the skill for every elemental ailment on the target. And the secondary elemental ailments count as, you guessed it, elemental ailments. So by having um, them linked together, it means that you can get five of them and 15 times 5 is 75, which is 75% more damage, which is a big number. That's the plan. The Skitterbots won't always be there for, like, packs of monsters, but they should be there for the single target, for the most part. How in the hell do I get into this room? Oh, it's this side. I see. I see. Hello, Oak. You must die today. I'm so sorry. Not that sorry. Also, there's like the thing where you can get automated, um, uh, what is it? Automated, uh, skills. You can get automated war cries. And my brain really wants to get an automated war cry. Also, Ruby Flask. No nice. Like Ruby Flask is so good with this character because, um, having the Ruby Flask means that I take 20%. I go from 75 fire res to 80% while it's active. So it reduces the damage I take from all fire by 20%, which conveniently, half of the physical I take is taken as fire. Um, increased monster movement speed on wall guards. Kind of funny, actually. Undead wall commanders. Oh, man. They use heavy strike. This looks really dangerous. Let's do it. It's like, oh, this looks terrifying. Go, 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 go. Click, 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 click. More Ellie res. 
We are zooming. Yeah, I don't know much about like um, how to properly arc, especially considering I didn't take any damage for this skill. But I'm assuming it'll be fine. I probably don't need that much actual damage. Oh, damn, he dropped gold. Yeah, so I, I spent a little bit of time. That's also one of the reasons why I'm playing Path of Exile is like, I think about if I'm like spending all my time thinking about it when I'm not doing other stuff, like when I'm playing other video games and doing other things, I'm like, I should be playing Path of Exile right now. Like, I, I shouldn't delete myself. I should just go whole hog, jump in. That's 47? God damn, dude. There's really zoom. Itchy. Uh, scratch. In theory, I could also just, like, use my respec points to, like, take all, like, the lightning nodes and then just go lightning and then respec it out. Um, which is an option. That's something I've thought about here. You know, I can actually just do that a tiny bit because I can get 20% spell damage, I think. Yeah, I can just take... Arcanist Dominion, it gives me 20 spell damage, so I might as well just take that now. It's a, it's one pointer. And that's a lot of spell damage. Sword's Wand, nice. Adds full damage to my attacks. Explicit modifiers, nice. Mirror Thunder, nice. It affects all my skills. Sometimes it happens. We're gonna be playing later. Remember to think about playing than it is playing. Oh, 100%, yeah. Oh, the Corruption Altar. Corruption item modifying it unpredictably. I really don't want to whip the um, the unique I got into that, because it's a terrible, terrible, bad idea. And it will make me very sad and very unhappy. But I am willing to put my movement, movement speed boots and see what happens. Here we go. It gave me a white socket. Cool. It's kind of neat. It's better than deleting it from the game, which is also one of the options that I could have had, was just delete an item from the game. Uh, because that's, it can do that. Uh, so. Thank you, video game, for not deleting my item. Yeah, it's, it's also one of the reasons why I don't, well, one of the many reasons I don't play League of Legends anymore. And the fact that that game, like, can trip heavily, I'm at three chaos so far? This is crazy. Um, other than the fact that that game heavily contributed to, like, my blood pressure rising. Isn't haunted. Just undo spikes. Why are you stressed? Uh, League of Legends. That and also for me, a big old boomer, it's just too hard to get back into. It's been too many years. Like, alright, cool, I'm gonna play jungle. How fascinating. Get the red buff. And somebody's like, oh, make sure in your jungle you control the the rift patroller or something, whatever, that little crab that goes in the river. And I'm like, the, the crab in the river? What are you talking about? The crab in what Ready, river? Excellent. Huh? I didn't do this. Uh, yep, no, that's all good. All is good here. This and do you much smoother ride? Yeah. I said, I'm, I'm okay with, uh, oh, yo. Einhar is with me when I do this ritual? Shit. Beware anonymous gifts? No, never. Accept anonymous gifts. You don't know who they're from. What if the person who's giving them to you is very, very nice? Is that the only ritual in the area? Two rituals remain. Cool. All right, time to go do some rituals. almost did but yeah i enjoy that's one of the reasons why i enjoy the mmorpg experience for the most part is that it's usually like super casual friendly so like an easy example is playing something like lord of the rings online 
there's like raiding and endgame in that game but for the most part it's just it's a really casual slow experience Ooh, loctonial caress that's a good one i don't know if it's good for detonate dead oh i'm out of mana I like, why can't i cast spells I forgot i have that problem Here we go. Jade Amulet. Oh, yeah. A Circlet. A Hood. Cool. Galvanic Field. I don't even know what that does. Um, yeah, so that's why I, play, I like to play Lord of the Rings Online. It's actually one of the reasons why I like those, like, kind of old... Not, like, pointless, but, like, the older MMOs that just don't really have, like, a lot of direct reason to go do anything in them. You know? Like, I used to play Ashron's Call and stuff back in the day. Is like, you just log in and you just kind of, like, go you know, kill monsters for, like, a couple hours. Go fight monsters. That's what you do. It's pretty good. Red Thicket. Okay. I hope I can come back here, but I don't know how long it's going to take to re for the reset. Skills fire two additional projectiles on the Spriggans. Um, I think I'm going to swap these boys. Increased XP for each monster pack in the live in the Blood Chieftain. That's probably fine. Just something where the game's not, like, overly complicated, which means you can very, very easily just, like, kind of passively play. You just have to, like, look at the screen every once in a while, and you're good. Stop saying that, witch lady. Did that hit me here where I'm standing? I don't think it will. But I do have to leave here to go get the monsters, if they aren't coming to me, which is very annoying. I gotta say, rituals while leveling is very cool. I remember they changed it because they didn't want players to like have too many like things they interacted with to get like overwhelmed when they first started. And I guess they're like, nah, screw it. So they just throw rituals and other stuff in here. Oh, wall side area. I'm never gonna hit finish leveling. <laughs> My build doesn't have a problem, but I'm like, oh god. Oh look, a distraction. Oh look, another distraction. A two stone ring. Like, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. This is good. This is very, very good. An absolute blast. <sighs> Monster lightning resistance. That's not a big deal. I can, I can deal with that. I do non-lightning damage, right? Nope. Well. You know what they say. She. Only 30%. It's not a big deal. I do lots of damage. See? No problem. It's so funny how, like, stuff like resistances can be, like, game warping. Or, like, all of a sudden, if monsters have, like, 30 or 40% extra resistance, and then your character just stops moving. It's especially bad when monsters, some monsters have different resistances. So, like, a lightning creature will have, like, lightning resistance built into it. And then, so they already have, like, 30, and then they go up to 60, and your damage goes down so much. Because the total percentage now is even lower, so you can barely see the health bar move. Not this guy, though. He died. Okay, Vol, Spectral Throw, Ground Slam, and Storm Call. Vol, Storm Call. Actually, very good. I don't have a four link, but I think I might go for, like, just gloves somewhere. Um, Orb of Storm. I'm going to put that here. Vol, Storm Call is awesome. I'm going to be using that for sure. Because it's just a good skill to slam. Oh, look. Physical damage. I love you, video game. Nothing. I mean, I guess it's more than what I have, which is still nothing, but... Any curses? Uh, no. Curses, uh, are in the next act. You don't get them till act three. Level 26 in act two. I don't think I've ever been this high level in act two. Great. Get them all out of here. Scale of... I haven't looked at the scale of... How much you currently recommend the League? Well, it's not just the League. They made a bunch of changes to the base games. They added a bunch of, like, not so much new content, but, like, I'm doing a ritual in Act 2. Because they're, like, they fresh up some stuff. They said they added secrets all over the place. And they did. They did add secrets all over the place. There's so many things in Ray Class. They added a big story bead. Um, I don't know how much you pay attention to the story in Path of Exile for Rio, but... Um, 
in Act Two when you're going through um, the the Hall of Sin or whatever. What are they called? Sin Sin, sin Halls, something. Whatever you know the you know the uh, Chamber of Sins. That's it. When you're going through there, uh, they have a mechanic where uh, or they have like these rooms where you can see all these like experiments that were taking place that the the Vol were doing on people with the Virtue Gems, and you can see it like the like the the bodies and stuff. But when you go in there now, the room is filled with Virtue Gems all over the floor from all the corpses, which like. Again, as somebody who pays attention to the lore, like that's just a, a neat little nod to add in. So if you need extra gems, there's gems there. And if you are just like playing the game the first time, you're like, oh wow, look at this. Like this is kind of crazy. It's like a room full of gems. And then maybe you're like reading the lore and paying attention to it and if and it fits. I'm so slow, dude. So that's all of my things. I have an omen refreshment. Will be cons omen of refreshment will be consumed when you reach twenty five percent life to refill all flasks. Cool. Chaos orb. Um, a bad item. An armor piece. I don't care much for. Well, that's a lot of life and resist. That's a great item for later. Like another build. The run through the game. Well, I'll probably have better than that. Um. I guess I can just defer the castle. Oh, you can't defer yet. Oh, I just can't get this. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just buy the orbs then, because I need I need orbs. It's good enough for me. Yeah, there's just like some neat stuff. I am excited, and I'm having fun. It's good. This is very different than when I was doing the Zizzerin League, where it was enjoyable. But I wouldn't necessarily call it fun. You know what I mean? Like, there were a lot of, like, frustrating elements where you had to be, like, really patient. Which is not a bad thing, but it was just, you know, something you had to pay attention to. You had to be really patient, go slow, fight monster packs with intention. Whereas here, I'm just like, ha ha ha, blasting, and there's new stuff to click on, and new, new tools and toys. And another Vol side area. Cool! <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh, man. They also mark strong boxes on the map, so you never miss them anymore, which is nice. It's not like like if there's like a strong box hiding somewhere in the corner, you'll you'll definitely find it now, which I appreciate because I like opening strong boxes. It's like, look, I got I didn't get anything. I got armor or scrap. That's cool. Blast away through all of this. here and then there's the new like war cry automation stuff so i want to have like a war cry automated if i can uh so i'm gonna try to automate Ooh, two socket eh yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to pay a lot more focus to um how many sockets items have soon this character is also gonna try to go golem so i'm gonna have the golem answer stuff and with all the golem stuff you really gotta like have um all the pieces Right. Go get eaten. Okay, everything's in the rituals. Let's get them. Which ritual is this? Oh, fire ritual. I see. Yes, go my Volstorm call blast. Volstorm call is this storm call was like the original like um, button you press to like really amp up your damage back in the day. Where if you're playing any lightning build, or even if it wasn't a lightning build, you just drop this symbol on the ground that just shocks all nearby targets, and the amount of damage that you deal is just, it's so good. Um, there is. You just kind of, like, shoot people with this crazy lightning blast. I'm going to want to get that as, like, a secondary four link. Even when I swap to wands, I think I want to have that, like, on a four link. So we'll have elemental hit, um... Uh, that my auras is probably going to be like skitterbots plus determination or skitterbots plus grace one of the two. Oh my blast Get my full storm call leveled up nice oh my god i'm having fun 
I don't know, it's just, it's just neat. I've been having a good time. Fighting Devourers, having a blast. Yeah, I think that is it. I think all the corpses are in. And now we go again. So can I recommend the League? I mean, I'm so early into it, I don't really know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm having fun, but that's as close as I can give you in terms of, like, a, just a total recommendation. Not to say, like, that it's, like, a, a bad thing or there's anything even partially negative about the fact that I'm having a good time. But it's more so that, like, the League mechanic I've kind of interacted with. I killed the monsters, I've crafted one item, and uh, they summoned, like, an omen guy that gave me a cool unique. So, like, that's always a good bonus. Getting a cool unique is cool. Moment of Death Hansing. We've consumed when you reach 25% of life to grant 75% chance to avoid damage from hits for 4 seconds. Cool. Oh, I can't get a Calm Sign. No, and I can't defer it either. That's such a good item to pick up. Damn. Uh, Convoking Wand. That sucks. I mean, it's actually a surprisingly good damage wand. Really bizarre. Um, so I might actually take the Convoking Wand for when I swap, because that's actually surprisingly good. Oh, that needs corpses. None of that for me. Oh, good. Am I ever going to finish the campaign? I don't know. The only thing I, I will say I don't like about this league is the fact that uh, you can customize the monster packs, which is cool, but I really don't like how they designed it, where... Um, the monster packs that you can customize you have to click it before you go in and I really don't like how they set it up where you, like it's a it's above the door so as you're walking towards it you click on the door and then like me you click you just click it and then you go oh wait 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 and then you have to go back out and do it again and I feel like there's a better solution to that problem Okay, okay, so I want to go here, get this, and I want to go here, and I want to go here. I got life, I got life. I think I have a good amount of life, so I'm going to start picking up some of the damage stuff. And I have to decide when I'm going to be farming for the, uh, the labyrinth. Do I want to do it right away and just farm for it, like, as soon as I can? Or do I want to, like, level 45? I want to start playing, like, the cool new spell and skill sooner rather than later, so... Might just, like, farm for it. Maybe not at, like, 30, but I'll probably wait till, like, level 40 or something, where I've got a ton of free damage and then just go in on it. Die. Die, bear. Fire and ignite resistance. Also, if you're like, wait a minute, uh, so like, Scrim Tom, you're not gonna take a lot. Like, you haven't taken a break in a while. You haven't gotten out of your chair to do anything. Yeah, that's that's a that's a Path of Exile thing. This game is good. I just wanna sit in the chair and play the game. You know what I mean? I wanna sit in the chair and play the game. Also, Essence of Woe. Give me that lightning damage, please. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Energy Shield. Oh, I can wand craft for spell damage? If I get a good wand, I can just throw it on there for a lot of extra spell damage. That'd be nice. My wands are bad. Deal with the bandit lords. I have to town. My wands are bad. Oh, I can probably buy a good base wand. Like a good carved, like a three socket or something, and then throw it in. Sweet. Nice and loaded. Oh, it's a quartz wand. It's an Though. I've there you I'm sure. Thank you? You did fare you well. Okay. Go here. Hello. I wish to sell this. Yeah. I wish to sell that. Do I wish to sell this? Yeah, I do. This? Yep, yep. All of that's garbage. This is garbage. I'm gonna keep that for utility. Purchase. Have a three socket. That's a two socket. Spiral. I mean, it's not that bad. The two socket's alright. Oh, it's a three socket spiral. It's just got more sockets. I'll just take that and it's a higher base. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we do this and bazinga. I got nothing useful except for the spell damage. It's 
mildly better than this wand, though. So I guess I will use it. Wow. All right, that's depressing. <laughs> I love that. Uh -huh. Can I... Um, I wonder if I can recolor this. I don't have anything to resocket, but I have some recoloring orbs. So let's get a chromatic in here. Boop, boop. There we go. And we put storm, Vol storm call in here. And then I put something else on this. Um, what goes with Vol storm call? I guess I'm not critting, so I can just take that. Friday at four when? Uh, I'm not watching Fridays at four. I'm sure Cordovan probably shared a bunch of like really cool stuff from like the event and and what was going on, and a lot of it is probably very cool. I just it's, it's not that I don't care. I'm just not gonna not gonna watch it. Remember I am busy. I'm doing other stuff. I'm in another world right now. I'm in Path of Exile land. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the folder is here. It's very conveniently right under this text box. Let's move that up here so it's not under the text box. Two more points. Um, I guess I start... I haven't even started Act 3. I think I'm just going to go up the Lightning Tree and just take all the Lightning Damage right now. Um, because I just need damage for leveling. And then I'll flip it later. Um, that makes the most sense to me. Primary Attack till Endgame? No, I'm not going to use Arc as my Primary Attack. I'm just doing it now um, because it's very effective. Um, and the So the way that they changed this, the game is they added these things called Transfigured Gems. And what Transfigured Gems are is they're like gems, but they're slightly different. So they're like attacks, but slightly different. So for example, um, there's like the uh, elemental hit. And what it does is it's a skill gem that when you attack a target, it's an attack spell, it randomly chooses either fire, cold, or lightning, and then adds damage to your attack of that type. And it's at random. So you, if you attack three times, you might get fire, fire, lightning. You get, might, might get, or sorry, fire, lightning, fire, or whatever. The only stipulation is it can't choose the same thing twice in a row. So uh, you can't have like fire, 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 but it would. You can get fire, lightning, fire. Um, based on you know just random odds. So that's cool. Um, but what matters is that the uh, why am I fighting this like lightning resistant monster? I don't know. I'm already doing it. Um, but the transfigured gems. Man, regen, please. Are cool because the one I want to use, Elemental Hit of the Spectrum, instead of choosing between fire, lightning, fire, or whatever, instead. What's this door to? Hold on, where does this door go? What's that? Oh, I gotta find this out. There's a, there's a door here. I don't know where it goes. I don't see a path to get there, though. There's, there's like a secret room somewhere. Um, but yeah, the Transfigure Gem is different in that it has a totally different function. However, to get it, you get it from the Labyrinth. So I both can't get it right now, and also, I even can't get it right away. I have to do like some farming for it. So as a result of me needing to go farm to get this gem so I can try out the skill, I'm just leveling with Arc in the interim, and then I'll be swapping once I actually get access to it as soon as I can. I just don't know when that's going to be. down here. Like, there might be, like, a door that teleports you up there. I don't know. It's just weird. There's, like, a door off the map. It's very bizarre. Relinked spiraled wand. Wow. Honestly, I can probably just roll that with alterations and make something that's better than my wand. Probably not even a bad idea to use. Die. Extra life trail of fire. Die. Oh, I got another unique. Sick. I got the trap boots that makes anything you suck into it a trap. Which is totally useless. Uh. One single element, just get different chances. So the other one, no, it's all three at the same time. It doesn't choose. It doesn't roll. However, because it gives you all three at the same time, um, it has a secondary mechanic where you can't... Yeah, look at that. There's like another recipe over here. Huh. Crafting recipe. Yeah, the game has no idea how to get over there. Crafting recipe? Did you guys find that secret crafting recipe in the wall? 
It's the boss room? No, it's not the boss room. The boss room's the pyramid. This is a different area. I'm in the caverns. I'm not in the pyramid yet. Mm. The only area I didn't check is down here. And I don't think it's there. But, yeah. Oh, does the boss room take you back to the caverns? Is that how it works? Because I haven't gone into the ancient pyramid yet. I'm not in the pyramid. That's weird. I don't remember the boss room taking you back to the ancient caverns. I really don't. I'm going to be honest. Or to the caverns. Probably map layout. Yeah, it could also, it could also be a bug. Um, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to try to find it. And I go in and see. I can't go into the door. It's through a wall. It's the side of a wall. I assume there might be like something on the ground you like go into like a hole that takes you there. Okay, it looks like it's just a bug. They probably like moved the cuz that's where you get movement speed previously, so they probably just moved that somewhere else. I don't know. Very bizarre. All right, well, I'm doing the searching. So that way, if you guys encounter the same bug, you now know it's not there. That's weird. There's just a there's an area you can't go. And unfortunately, you just can't get close enough to see the door. You can't. I can't see what the door is. Because it's also, it's in the darkness as well. Like, it's literally in pitch black. So there's no, there's no land there either. Which is weird. Crafting recipe. Yeah, apparently they move crafting later in the game. So you start getting crafting in, like, Act 3 and stuff. Which is, like, it's kind of cool. I can, I can see why people like that. Monsters grant more experience. Let's put that at the top. And that's the most common thing. Cool. Slowly smash my way through all this. Another Quicksilver Flask? Honestly, gonna use it. It's moved to Sarn? Yeah, I, I know they moved it to Sarn. I know. Guys, I, I'm not I'm not denying what you're all saying. I'm saying on my screen, there is a new area that I can't get to. I, I'm not saying that it's not... They didn't move it or that they didn't move the recipe or they didn't change that, which I also verbally said that they moved the recipes later in the game. I'm saying visibly, on my screen, there is a room I can't get to. And I don't know how to get to it. And you've got a lot of flat. I've, this, I've uh, only found one. The other two I got from doing the quest. I did the Great White, White Beat quest, Beast quest. Try harder? I mean, I'd like to try harder. But, uh, you know, it's just... Am I really going to be a try hard? The answer is no, probably not. Blood Aqueduct? Jesus Christ. We're in Act 9. And I'm in Act 2. Fuck. That's insanity. Very impressive, though, but god damn. I am going through the game very slowly. Like, I should literally just sprint past all of this nonsense, because I'm several levels over where I need to be. But, uh, I don't know. Killing monsters is fun. Yeah, because there's this recipe, obviously, that's here. But that's a, that was a different area. Kill the ball over soul. Also, I have, like, a weird rash on my wrist, which is strange. Weird. Alright. Spell damage, regular crit, and some mana. Don't slam me, bro. Oh, nice. He's not going anywhere. Sweet. 
They're just gonna teleport out of here. No. No. Stay. Stay with me. Damn it. I almost got him. First person to get 55 and they just made it to Blood Aqueduct? Dude, that's so aggressive. It's so low level. It's crazy. I love it. Slash ladder. Where are people at? Havoc at 54 on a Deadeye Lightning Era, which makes sense. I think we could have been friends. Top 10. 54 to 51. Damn, man. Although Havoc with like 50% more XP. Extremely impressive. Movement speed. Nice. There's two strong boxes here. Okay, Rogue Exile with a bunch of nothing. Cool. Cool. And so being honest, the end is not weird. Oh no, it's not weird. It's just like I'm always shocked by it. You know what I mean? Ready, exile. It is time to hunt. Yeah, you know, it's like when you go to um you go, to like watch like a uh, you know like if you sat in the sidelines of like the race cars or whatever or uh, what do you call them like like a uh, Formula One or something. Like, yeah, they're supposed to go really fast. But you still go like, damn, that's really fast. It's just, it just feels impressive. Again, it's probably because I'm just like, you know, not somebody who is uh, in tune with like the racing scene. But I just, I get impressed by people that, that are doing things really proficiently. If you're like in, in the middle of it all day, you probably like get either less impressed or you've just like seen it before. So it's like, yeah, whatever. Again. They went quick. Big deal. Get out of here. I should be able to buy a better wand when I get here because I have access to more equipment and I should be able to craft it. Because I don't need to do a lot to make a better wand than both of my wands. Because both of my wands are terrible trash. Especially since I can now craft spell damage. Also, I'm on fire. Which I find deeply entertaining. And I'm 28, so Hargan can sell four links now? I think. Nothing here is four sockets, so I don't. Maybe Bring not. Me back something nice, huh? What is it? The shadow with the big shield. It's like, yeah, man, gotta stay alive. Uh, okay, this is where we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh. It's got spell damage and what spell damage. That? What an amazing piece of equipment. It's like absolutely outstanding for my character. Absolutely outstanding. It's actually really good. Put that in the gear stackers folder. Put that in here. Nice. Nice. Respect in this game. Do you just pay an NPC? So the way that you do it is you get items called Orbs of Regret, which gives you passive skill points so you can respec, as well as doing quests give you refund points as well. So that's how you respec. I agree. The little like little guys that like make all that noise is very annoying. Oh, I got two points. I didn't talk to Bastel. So now I have Heart of Thunder, so that's good. So that'll carry me basically until I get my new skill, at which point I'm going to start working my way towards it. I think I want attack speed and accuracy more than anything else. But uh yeah. We'll do this for sure. The power charge stuff I don't I don't hundred percent know if I'm gonna take right away. That's good. So let's go this way. He goes one point, then you need like eight of them completely respec. Well, if you look at your ascendancy, ascendancies also cost uh, five per point, which is like your like specialization class, and you get eight ascendancy points. So that's like an extra forty in there on top of that. So yeah, it can be it can be pretty expensive. It can it can get pretty expensive to respec. It's a lot of people's biggest complaint about Path of Exile is that you feel like you can't like try different things because there's the feeling of like being punished for trying something new because when you want to try something new the game says oh wow you looked at this skill and you thought it would be good for you and it turns out it isn't actually good or it's not as good as you thought well sorry you're stuck with it which a lot of people don't like you can make some minor changes but yeah it's a philosophical thing they're also not going to change their stance a lot of people were talking about how uh, they appreciate how in least last epoch you can kind of just like respec out of a point if you think it's not working for you by just spending some gold and it's like not a big deal. It's not like this whole 
this whole thing. Um, but they like the idea of it being tied to the economy, and they think that you know the decision making should matter or should be more impactful. So like, I can't argue against the idea that the decision making should be impactful. But I do think that the um, the way that they go about it is not the way that I would do it if I was designing this video game. Let's say that. It depends. Some it can be if you have a lot of currency. So like, if the first character you make is like pretty good, then you don't have to worry about it as much. You're you're gonna make a good character, and you will, you'll have like tons of currency to buy whatever respect points you need. Um, it said if you're not making a good first character. That's one of the reasons why when people get started in Path of Exile, it's almost always a good idea to follow a guide so you can have like. A good baseline a good amount of currency you can trade you can do all this other stuff and you don't have to worry about like you know oh no what am i going to do if i don't have this or i don't have that because the guide kind of takes care of that for you in terms of information and you can learn a lot about the systems and how the game works it's a kind of the same thing like in ddo where if somebody's new they could follow one of my guides like how i wrote the original acid arrow because they fuck shit ah i wrote the acid arrow in such a way so that if somebody well, has no this. idea you make persecution about what life. they have like literally no clue about what's going on um they're like they've never played uh, any like dungeon and dragons online before they don't understand the systems or whatever uh the upside is that they get to go like oh i learned about how attacking works and how spell power works and how spell power works on attacks and some some attacks and sometimes spell power works on some on spells and um these different systems so it all kind of rolls into one so when somebody makes their second character they already have like a little bit of a baseline of knowledge for what they want to try um, I know a lot of people like to start it out by just like throwing their face into the wall and, and seeing if they can make a dent, uh, which is how I like to start playing my video games, where I don't really look up guides when I get started. I'd like to start playing right away, because I find that more pr more fun. Even if there might be some frustrating moments along the way, I like the growth and you know learning some of the details. I find that more entertaining, but you know, it's not for everybody. This is not me a, a not statement of me being like, oh, and if you like Just looking at guides, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, not at all. Okay, so now I have Storm Call, Controlled Destruction. Um, that is mildly better than this setting. Um. Wow. I can craft a better version of this. And I have an extra socket for my storm call. Very good. Okay. Oh, another recipe. Yeah. yeah. Defenses. Let's see if Rayclast has been good to you, witch. Harness your fear. I don't think I have any lightning resist. It's a problem, or maybe it's not a problem. I don't know. I haven't decided. <laughs> There's a lot of lightning. I say that much. ID does hit with lightning damage. Shoulder destruction. Honestly, do, I don't probably need to shock with Storm Call either. I can just get to Ellie Focus as well. I have the Skitter Bot, so I don't really need to shock anything with anything. Whee! Okay. God, that drone. Same kind of sound effect. You hear that in a surprising number of games. That, like... It played a lot in Diablo 4. It's meant to be unnerving because it's meant to just like slowly drone downwards and it's meant to make you feel like something something is happening that's wrong, but it's not it's not devastating, it's just something bad is currently happening. You may or may not have the tools to deal with Allow it. Oh, another the, the portal was on top of the order of regret. Of the past. Uh, am I gonna go back and get that? Yes, I am probably because I need to do that. Yeah, the gold drop sound effect should be familiar. I'm using a Diablo 2 sound pack, so all the sounds of different things in the game will sound like Diablo 2. So, like... Gets you right in the member berries. Yeah, then you're like, oh, ooh, ooh, like neurons are firing now. You're like, <gasps> Diablo 2, what's happening? Brings it all back. I got attack speed, got the accuracy. I got a lot of accuracy. More attack speed than accuracy. I'm gonna wanna get the elemental damage here and the Ellie pen. It's all good. Argan. Oh no, it's Maromoa. Hello. No, nanny, nanny, nanny. I guess I can take conductivity for now. 
General, I could use there that. Is nothing else. What's going on? Because I do all lightning damage. It makes sense. Oh, I leveled up, so he's got nothing. Nice. Don't do anything I would. Turn my notifications on your phone? That's a good idea. Also, I don't usually put on MTX on my characters for a while. I like to let them, like, kind of change and, You're like, look different as I go through. I personally prefer that. I find it more entertaining to, like, see my character actually visibly change uh, as I level up. Remember to live. So I don't usually throw on all my microtransactions, although some people do. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You pay the money for them, throw them on. I just like the progression of, like, I go from some nobody walking around who's on fire to actually having a visual Be careful. change. Oh, crafting. This wand. Okay, so attack speed, bad. Nope. And not bad. Nope. No. Cold damage. I mean, it's better than nothing. But I can do better than that. No. Stun duration enemies? No. I'm upset. Life is physical pain. I hate everything. I wish this video game didn't exist. I need to go outside. Damn it! Ah! Uh, there's so many modifiers I've gotten. Stay out I'm upset. Of the shadows. Stay by it. Okay, I'll get new. I'll get new items with new stats, new modifiers. I just wanted like a reasonable prefix and either or a suffix and no prefix, or spell damage, which is not that rare. Getting it's literally a one in four to get no prefix. And to be fair, I only used eight or, or nine orbs, so one in four at nine, like it's not guaranteed. So it's not like I, I should have had this great expectation that that was going to happen. Also, what's up, great swords? Holy moly! Game of some of the crafting last epoch. Mm, no, I think it's good that they're different. That was a hunt you will not soon forget. Because last epoch has like similar levels of frustration. You know what I mean? Like. When you're playing Last Epoch and you're trying to get a craft, like, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, sealing affixes, right? So you can seal an affix away or uh, so you can craft more stats on it or so you can remove something so you can craft the stats that you want. Um, in my entire time playing, I got, like, two sealings total. I didn't seal, like, anything. Everything was, everything got bricked. I managed to, like, go boom, 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 craft it all the way up, craft it to Tier 5, and it was stuck. Um, and so for me, I found that element very frustrating because it's like this big element of the crafting system that I basically didn't get to engage with. And talking to other people, like talking to friends who were like, oh, yeah, I um, like I, I, I was crafting with this thing and, you know, I did this and blah, blah, blah. It's like, OK, that's that's cool. But I, I didn't get to have that experience. So um, and I spent a lot of time. Like I said, I, I did all the content that is in the game. There's no content that I, I didn't do. Um, like, I, you know, all the bosses, all the dungeons, the tier fours. Uh, I guess the only content I didn't do is I didn't push to, like, thousands of corruptions. I stopped at hundreds of corruption because I just didn't want to. Um, I just felt bored. And so there's, like, frustrating elements in both crafting systems. Like, yeah, Path of Exile has, like, the, the less deterministic element of it. But, like, um, there were there's still a lot of items that I got, I got reasonably agitated by in Last Epoch as well. And the... Either crafting system still has its own level of RNG and frustration. We need to set up something that tells you to click the UI element every X minutes. No, because that wouldn't work, so I'm not reading chat that much either. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, no, um, I'm just stupid. I'm, I'll get it eventually. I will honestly probably finish this entire campaign without, um, like without learning it. If I had to guess. Like, and another problem I, I definitely do have with Last Epoch's, like, crafting system is that, like, because of the way the game is designed, uh, you can set up very specific loot filters to only really see the gear that you need. So having all the items I need on the ground... It's kind of cool because it does give you that option. That is a good thing. However, that is also kind of a bad thing because my loot filter was so specific. I'd run like literally 30 or 40 monoliths in a row without seeing a single item on my filter. Just 
literally nothing. Which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Um, and so, you know, not the not something you want to be uh, uh, an experience you always want to be having, where you're just playing the game with no items dropping. And you could be like, well, you know, it's because of the specifics of your loot filter. But because of the granular nature of Path of Exile, where it's like all the currency, like, it doesn't matter if I'm playing for a thousand hours. I see a Chaos Orb drop. I see a Chaos Orb drop. I go, ooh, Chaos. And I like go out of my way to make sure I click on it. But like all of the, the runes and the shards and the Aphic shards and all that, I like literally don't even look at it. It's just invisible to me. You just like, as you're playing, you just like click it. It vacuum cleans your inventory. You press the vacuum clean button. And like there's no there's like there's no I interaction there. Um, it sounds really dumb, but I have to agree with the Path of Exile people when they were ooh one percent chance to drop a Chaos Orb. Cool. Um, the weight of the currency in Path in Path of Exile does contribute to your enjoyment in a way that you don't get that out of um, Last Epoch. And how do you get it? That was one of the mods. Like with the, the league mechanic, where on the doorway, it said kill all the monsters of this type, and you get it. That is beefy as hell. Wand, no, it's bad roll. Just give me that chaos. Oh hell yeah! I wonder if somebody is already selling the gem for like a couple chaos, and I can just make some chaos orbs, up, or I can just spend my chaos. I don't imagine a lot of people would be selling the gem, but I should check. I should at the very least look. Also, you always kill Marseus the defaced. Fuck you, Marseus. Dead. Nope, nope. Bad game. Uh oh, I'm I should probably clear this area for the chaos orbs. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do multiple things at the same time. I'm gonna hit the trade website. Trade. And we're gonna go to the Necropolis League, and I'm gonna look up elemental hit of the spectrum hit search and there is somebody selling it for three chaos right now do i just buy it for three chaos so i can play my build right away do i have three chaos i do you know what i'm doing it then i don't have to farm it at all i just have it right away except holy fuck who did i message <laughs> uh God, does it shift click? Like if you want it, you gotta come to me, dude. Element of the spectrum. Nice. Alright, thank you, thank you. Alright, cool. Leave. Alright, I have it. So it looks like we're going elemental hit. Alright, so to do elemental hit, I have to figure out a couple things. One, I need um I have the weapon still stashed away, which is pretty cool. So I can I can use that already. So I have this, which has um attack speed, crit chance, and crit multi which is better than pretty much anything else that I've gotten so far, because these things attack slower. So I can definitely do that. We have that as an option, which is good. Um, I should probably have a shield, which I don't believe I have a shield. I have this, which gives plus to physical spell skill gems, but I don't, this is a physical spell. And I need a shit load of dexterity, and I have absolutely no way to do that, because if I go dexterity, um, Jeez Louise, is there, like, no dexterity on the tree? So I need to get, like, dexterity on gloves and dexterity on, like, four different pieces of gear, which is, like, a huge problem. But maybe it's not. 
I can probably get dex here. Just put like, yeah, dexterity on the gloves. So we're good. And I still can't use it. And then I get dexterity on like another item and dexterity on another item. I'm gonna go get an amulet and see if I can get dexterity on it and then maybe throw a craft on it. But then I can use my cool new skill, which is neato. Let's try it out. Watch yourself. Skill. Um, I need a dex amulet. That's 29. That's pretty good. Be careful. Also, Hargan, give me the thing. Thank you. Stay out of the Look. shadows. Bye bye. Okay, so. Um, I have an essence for this. Life regen and just straight up dexterity. I can guarantee dexterity on this. Honestly, not the worst. Dex and dex and no stats. Bro, what is this? Well, at least I can put life on it, I guess. I don't think I need strength. So I think I'm okay. I know it's like a stupid rearrange, but I want to play the skill. So if the skill sucks and it's not fun to level, it's not fun to level. Like, it is what it is. Um, I can't put anything else on this. All right. So we have that. So now I can use elemental hit. That's great. This has a white socket as well, which is fantastic. So no more arc. I can put elemental hit in here. Um, control destruction is spell damage, which is not ideal. Um... I kind of want other colors, and I don't have a fix for that either. So I think I'm going to go to Act 3 and see if I can buy an item. Oh my god. I kind of don't want just blue. Yeah, I did want the decks. I got 99 now. Also, I can now pick up this, which is one attacks fire and additional projectile, so it attacks twice. Nice. Good. Um, four sockets. Okay, there's a shield. Try color shield, which is pretty good. Um, what do I use on blue? Like, I want weapon elemental damage and, like, something else, maybe? Yeah, I don't have anything with good colors that I need, so this is gonna have to do for now. Stay out of the shadows. White sockets? That's what they do. White sockets have been in the game since the first update ever introduced into the game. So 2013-ish. So a white socket can take any color. You just put whatever color you want in it. Um, to get it, most of the time you get them by corrupting items. Whatever. All right. Elemental hit of the spectrum. I need weapon elemental damage and like a blue. I guess I get to put added lightning on here, which is not bad. Um, what's this? Storm call plus control destruction plus this is perfectly fine. I can still leave this. Conductivity. I don't really need conductivity anymore, but I'll, I'll keep Herald of Thunder because Herald of Thunder adds more lightning damage into my attacks. And I don't care too much for that. I probably get uh, elemental weakness. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Let's just say that it's been a very long time. So like I corrupted this, which gave this wow increased life reduced effective shock. That's actually a great jewel. I'll hold that in, in reserve for now. I know it looks like I'm not doing a whole lot, and I'm doing things kind of slowly, but look, 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 I got my cool item, okay? I have a call to arms, which I don't know what to do with, but that's neat. Oh, Elf Flame Ember of Meat Sacks? Monsters has greatly increased life. Hmm. Interesting. Um... Why did I come back here? Oh, I wanted to buy the gem. I don't have Lily yet. Um, what if I can't buy weapon elemental damage? That would be bad. I'd assume weapon elemental damage is one of those things that anybody can buy. But honestly, what if it's not? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh, it is. That's melee fizz. Shoot. Uh, uh, oh, I wanted the wisps. I don't know the wisps. Go, right, the right, right. Point. Wisps. Never mind. Hold on. Maybe I can use a different color. Hold hold the phone. I need the wisps. That's what I needed. That's why I want to do this in the whole in the first place, is the wisps. I thought you were a fool. Yeah, shut up. Uh Wisp. Nope. Is it Wisp? Nope. Uh page two. Locus mine. Oh, how do you get them? Is it is it late? Is it late game? You get the wisps? Uh-oh. 
Uh, I gotta look this up. Um, patch notes. F. Wisp. Okay, intelligence support gem. Sacred wisps. Sacred wisps. Oh, is it not just in the game? Int I thought you got it, like, right away. Oh, sharp and completing the quest sharp and cruel and can be purchased by Yina. Be well. Oh, it's Act Two is where you get Sacred Wisps. Okay, sharp and cruel. Ah, oh, Yina. Hello. Yes. There it is, Sacred Wisps support. I don't have an orb of alteration. No. Be kind. No. Be kind. Uh, can I sell this? For one orb of alteration. Well, this item sucks, so that's good. Return if you you are nice. Right. Sacred Wisps. Okay. So I don't need that shield then. So Hello. this shield is unimportant. I don't need the three colors because I can just use this, Return these colors. Um, yeah, so these are the wrong colors. Okay. Uh, let's go to Act 3. I'm, I'm losing my mind here. I just need something with sockets. I need more sockets. You're looking sharp. Uh, do you have a shield with three blue? I mean, they're not connected, but that's probably good enough. Great. So we'll get rid of that. We'll take that. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Should probably enchant this somehow. I put that there. And I put that there. So now I have sacred wisps in here. So in theory, the sacred wisps should work. I don't know if they will, but clearly they will. You do get elemental hit of the spectrum. Nice. Good job. I hope you can use it for something. Spell damage, spell damage. Actually, not that bad. Lightning resist. Cool. Okay. So, after all of that, I now have elemental hit of the spectrum. I have no idea how good this is. Oh, the wisps like shoot out extra little blasts. Also, it looks so cool, dude. Huh. I don't know if this is faster. Probably isn't, but it looks great. Quality up to 30? Oh, that's how you get extra quality stuff. Cool. So. Yeah, I don't have like chaining, but the wisps seem kind of neat. Look at them follow me around. Blast them, my wisps. Blast them. Don't use it. Uh, rip. You can sell it for three chaos right now. That's what I bought mine for. I'd buy yours off of you, but I don't need it because I already bought one. Cool. All right. Let's go up here. I'm clearing this zone because I got a thing where every monster I kill gives me uh, has a 1% chance to drop a Chaos Orb. And that's pretty good. And apparently the Wisps like fire every time when you fight uh, like a, a, a boss monster, which is kind of cool. So I'll have to actually see if that works. Oh, also I don't have anything turned on. Um, so I can turn on this. I can still turn on Skitterbots. How much does this cost mana-wise? 13? Good to me. I unfortunately did not get another Chaos Orb. I was hoping for more. More. Give me Chaos Orbs. Give me orbs. Give me more. Yeah, I got nothing. Still. That was good. That's it. Now I have my, my weapon. It's already done. Honestly, way faster than I thought I was going to get it. I thought it was going to take me hours and hours of farming. As it turns out, all I needed to do was get some Chaos and trade. Again, one of the reasons why I like Trade League is not because I love like sitting down and trading all day, but mostly because by trading with other players, um, it saves you on getting those like really easy to get items that you know just might never drop for you. Like if there's a very common unique and you really want it, there's just some uniques that you might never find, um, no matter how long you play, because uh, they're like world drops. So you just have to get lucky, and even with enough volume, it just might take hours and hours and hours. I 
going to put this like Die, bastards. Uh, I've been reading, or like, you know, hearing what people have been saying about Path of Exile 2, and everyone's saying like WASD movements, like blowing their minds, and it's the best thing since sliced bread. Which is interesting. I wonder how good it is going to be, like, end up being. That was pretty easy. Four Link Wild Leather. Good colors. Ball Spark. Woo! And there's no Vol Elemental hit, so I don't have to worry about trying to get Vol Elemental hit. I just go for 21, 23. And what does the quality do? More damage per ailment on an enemy? Oh, wow. For 20 quality, eh? It's 5%. Interesting. That means that her ailment. I wonder how powerful enhance is then. Red rolls to slice bread. Depend. I mean, it depends, right? It depends on what it is you're doing. Like generally, I think there's a good place for bread rolls, but like, uh, and like if you so if you get like one of the longer sandwich rolls, like something that's like baguette adjacent, you can definitely do some some good stuff with that. Um, but there's also value for sliced bread. A great example of where sliced bread is good is where you need to make something that's like either layered uh, or like heavily layered, or you need like a like French toast as an example. You kind of need those big slices, cinnamon toast or something like that. I guess you could do that with a roll. You just have to like break it open. And, yeah. Hope in the left hand, surety. So the way that the elemental hit works is it gives me 34% um, chance to freeze shock and ignite. So whenever I attack with the elemental hit. It's a 34% chance to freeze, 34% chance to shock, and 34% chance to ignite. Also, if I critically hit, I automatically apply all the status effects. And then it deals more damage for each one of those I have on the target. So if the target is burning and freezing, and which is counterintuitive, and shocked, then they take way more damage from my attacks. So the first attack might not do as much damage, but the follow-ups do, which is kind of cool. It's funny, in the future, I'm going to be turning off the skill's ability to do that, so it can't do any of that. I won't be able to freeze, shock, or ignite, but that will be a future thing. Future me will be taking care of that. Future me is also still stressing about how to get dexterity in the build, but I think it's just I need everything to have dex on it. Click. Move speed, fizzes fire. I mean, you know what? Sure, sounds good. And this uh, attack is basically like a spell where the damage comes pretty much exclusively from the attack itself. So I don't actually need to worry about how much damage my weapon does. Unlike a lot of um, weapon-based builds where the weapon is really important. For this, the weapon is less important for the damage and more for the secondary effects. I need like attack speed, critical, stuff like that. I don't need any actual like added damage into my attack. And if I get it, I'm not going to complain, but it's not like a necessary portion of the character. Unlike with some, some builds and some items. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, the amount of damage I deal when something is um, like, has multiple status effects. Very cool. Just put my sausage in a bread roll. Slice bread coming in crutch. Clutch. True. I mean, you could hollow it out, I guess. Just hollow with the roll. Slide the hot dog through. Just give me the old hot dog slide. like hella glare on my screen because it's apparently a very beautiful bright and sunny day the perfect day for staying inside and playing video games oh yeah this guy's a lot of elemental damage you know now that i think about it i feel like i don't need the skitter bots it's unnecessary since i freeze so often Are you going to use Returning Projectile with that, you know, for more status effects? Uh, no. It doesn't stack, like, the status effects. So each one is their own status effect. So if I put all three on a target, that's three effects. So Returning Projectiles is not going to help me with that. Uh, 
my goal is to get the one Pissicator's Vigil, which gives 100% increased elemental attack damage, and then it has high crit and high attack speed. And it's just like a baseline starter weapon to use, because it has no and it has no physical damage on its own, which is perfect. I can't deal physical damage. And use it as a good starter. Um, and then from there, move into using... Um, there's an item you can get called... I can't remember what it's called, but it's a cluster jewel that gives the effect Secrets of Suffering. And what Secrets of Suffering does is it makes it so that um, you can't apply Freeze, Shock, or Ignite, but instead you apply Sap, Brittle, and um, Scorch, which are alternate elemental ailments. And then by applying those, I can't Freeze, Shock, or Ignite at all, so that effect on my wand goes away. But they're still technically elemental ailments, so I do get the base damage. And then I use Skitterbots, which automatically apply those effects um, without me having to do anything for it. It's pretty sweet. Inflamatic Sulfite. I want that wand. Okay. Why is this so hard? It's not. But if the boot is good, it's four link. Could be good. Uh. I gotta empty my inventory. That's another thing I do pretty poorly during the leveling process is, dude, I'm so bad at emptying out of inventory. I'll just, like, Fill and fill and fill, and that's a really good item. But my chest piece is like too good. I'm not, I'm not replacing my chest through the entire leveling process. I don't even know why I identified that. That's a bad item. And I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna bank these two in just in case, because those are the old items I was using before. In case I didn't want to swap back. Okay. Bank everything. All spark is good. Controlled destruction. I mean, I don't know if I'm using that. Bank these just in case I have to go backwards. Four link is a four link. I'm about to go craft this. I gotta give that to Fairgraves and it's okay. Docks. So yeah, so getting extra status effects, it's not like if I had like, uh, you can't apply multiple chills. Like it only takes the highest chills. Same thing with like shock. You can't apply multiple shocks. It only takes the highest one. And Ignite's kind of the same thing. I don't know why I'm not igniting these guys. I don't know if you guys are looking at this. There's like no... I don't see the burn on them. Oh, it's because the Ignite doesn't have a visual display. They are ignited. Right. I'm stupid. I'm like, I don't understand. I don't see the Ignite under the name of the monster. Because that's not how that works. That's why you don't see it. The Ignite is visual. They're on fire. Yeah, the damage seems to be very, very powerful with this. That's cool. Hello, Fairgraves. Please take this item off my hands. Thank you. All right, back to work. So now that I have this, I can kind of go a little bit faster uh, through the leveling process because I can kind of just start working my way up towards the next thing. The bigger problem I'm going to have is that the dexterity requirements are not going down. They're only going to go up. And right now, we are at 73. So that is a problem. This person is lightning and shock resistant, and I do mostly lightning damage, so yeah. Gotta, still gotta figure this out. This character will have um, a lot of resistance penetration built into it. I just don't have that yet. I also want to get a mark on hit set up with Assassin's Mark, so I can be using Assassin's Mark all over the place, because this is going to be a very heavy crit character. And since they reduce the effectiveness of Sniper's Mark, it means I don't have to use Sniper's Mark. Which is nice. Damn it. All right, go back outside, then click the thing. Wow, all right. To see the <laughs> that was easy. Uh, so my, I think my plan is, after I get this, is to come down here and get some dexterity and then go for the attack speed plus the extra projectile. Um, and monsters cannot block attacks. So I can kind of get that here. I'm going to come down this way eventually anyway, uh, but I just, I, I really need the extra dexterity. And I think getting it in here will be good. So I'm just going to kind of beeline this after I pick up the use a lot here with the extra attack speed because the other problem too is accuracy my accuracy is uh, 95 right now which is not ideal I do not have a lot of it even with like a bunch of accuracy nids it's also heavily uh, hampering my damage also fun fact it's not calculating the damage properly it says I have 200 DPS and I have way more than 200 DPS so I have no idea what that thing is talking about Decks, will you get additional pierce? Uh, it's probably a good idea, honestly. Uh, does my attack just generally pierce? I don't know.
I do want to have three projectiles, and that way I don't have to use any extra projectile nodes, which will be nice for, like, clear. Because um, I could use, like, lesser multiple projectiles or something, but I'd rather not. If anything, I'd rather use, like, chain or pierce, as opposed to the project extra projectiles. And all damage can shock. Good. Get him. Not a lot of monsters in here anyway. Dark Pact. Okay. Boss? Hello. This counts as a lightning skill, so it actually activates. It's funny. Again, I'm going to be doing all the side areas, even though I'm saying, like, oh yeah, I'm going to start going faster. I'm still going to do the side areas, because I want to get a chance to see, like, what else is out there. This is one of the areas where uh, you get the advantage with the bow character, where the bow character gets access to Mirage Archer. So as you're running through, they'll just be randomly attacking stuff, which is nice. I don't have that. I have to manually click the button. Bold resist. Get out of here. Yo, so see how like how long actual bosses go? Obviously, I'm a little over leveled for stuff, but it's going to depend a lot on how long it takes to kill like a real boss. Like if Dominus takes a terribly long time or something, or Piety takes a huge time, that would be unfortunate. Thank you. That has nothing on it, but it could. That does not have dex, and I can't put dex on it. And it has fizz. You know? Life is pain, as they say. But yeah, getting piercing is uh, not a bad idea here. Because it really helps with clear speed. Do the old check. How's everybody else doing? Oh, I didn't check the area. Whoops. Well, I hope I didn't need to rearrange anything. Because I didn't look at it. What do you got? Chance to enter enemies. No problem. Also, this skill is an AoE, so you can see these, like, elemental bursts that are going out, which is very convenient because as an elementalist, which is my planned ascendancy, um, the extra little bits of AoE are going to be very, very useful for me. Uh, because I'm going to have this thing called Elemental Convergence, where basically when I'm not fighting bosses, I get 60% increased area of effect, which is insane for clear. And when I am fighting bosses, I get a huge amount of, or I get 60% uh, more elemental damage. And it alternates between the two. General Gravisius, get him out of here. I fought for God. Fought for God. He wanted me burned back in Orius Gravisius. I don't know what armor I would use. Shroud of the Lightless is kind of cool. Just get a bunch of like crit or elemental damage or something like that added on. Or honestly, just get a bunch of like life jewels and throw them everywhere into my gear set and then have all of those jewels give me extra stats. Oh, Fizz is cold. Global accuracy. Chance to evade. Monster movement speed. Honestly, all of these are all fine. I have no problem with any of this. I'll do this. I'll do this. The monster evade does kind of suck. Actually, now that I think about it, because I don't have accuracy. But, you know, I thought about that later. Oh, do this. Now you die. If you didn't know, you actually have to roll the. Con con oh, that's a four link right there, in a good socket. Very cool. Also, the sound effect that they added in for detonate dead is huge. You can't miss it. It's like this, and the huge visual. I like that. Detonate dead is extremely dangerous. So the fact that they uh, added a major sound effect for it is really nice, but. Huge crunch. Yeah. Jerk. Instantaneous death. I have a lot of spare points, so because I I'm gonna take the points out of like that lightning thing later, like the whole lightning tree, but I'll do that in the future. For now, the extra lightning damage is probably fine for me. I get sucks for FPS. It's probably all the people who are loading like MTX. Is annoying. A lot of the MTX is kind of cool, like the extra microtransactions and just, like the cool visuals you can get, but some of them just like tank your whole computer. They just put your computer underwater and it's not ideal. Oh, spirit shield, eh? Minions, eh? Yeah, you can't miss that sound effect. 
that detonate dead is so loud. Like, pushwing. Even when it's under there, you can see it because of the, the light beams coming out from the sound. But that's a reason why you want to play with your sound on, so you can hear the detonate dead coming to kill you. <laughs> uh, That's fine. Monster packs. Um, Pack leader, density low. Okay, we're going to swap that around. So we get monster levels. More, more gear, more items, more stats, more things. And now we go with intelligence added to accuracy rating. So my accuracy goes from 94 to 100. I'm going to be picking up a lot more intelligence. That is a very, very handy skill to have for once. Because again, you have to critically confirm in Path of Exile. So if, you're, if your accuracy is 95%, then you have to roll, you know, you have to not miss and then not miss. Which you think, like, with 95%, that means you have 95 and you have 100% chance to crit. That means you crit 100% of the time. But it actually means uh, you have to confirm your crit, so you have to hit a second time. So the 95% accuracy, you actually only get 92.5. Um, uh, with 100% crit chance and 100% ac or 95% accuracy, you have 92.5% crit chance. Which is just a wacky thought because of critical confirmation and how this game works. There's a time, actually, if for those that don't know, because this was based off of like a D&D style system, that the maximum or the accuracy cap used to be uh, 95%. They have since changed it. It's the, the Dark Ages. Yeah, that was, that was, those were dark times. Oh. Zoom. This way. Game is much better now. Not this way. Come on, wisps, hurry up. I'm gonna be honest, the sacred wisps, very cool. I love the visuals on sacred wisps. Kind of makes me wonder if I would how it would have been if I just played Elemental Hit the whole way up, but I I think that leveling with the Arc stuff was probably the right way to go. Right call. Game was three acts long. Yeah. Uh, when did they change it? I think they changed it with uh. Did they change it? Because the Vagan Sword mod with the old master system was the best mod you could get because it gave you your attacks are uh, cannot be evaded, which meant you didn't need accuracy at all because you had a hunt. It basically just gave you a hundred percent hit chance, uh, which was huge at the time, absolutely huge. And it gave you from 95 to 100. Like that was just absolutely massive. Um, so hits can no longer be evaded was a super thing. It's also one of the reasons why like Hosi day, which to nowadays is like a one chaos unique unironically used to be like multiple exalts or i guess in today's versions it would be like multiple divines like three or four divines for the like Hosida shield which is still in the game and is borderline useless um it's just kind of crazy to think about dude where am i missing where did i not go what is happening kind of crazy to think about how different the game is i'm an old man Come on, old... Come on, Papa Strim. Tell us more about how things used to be different back in the day. Did you have to get to Highgate uphill both ways? Well, you know, Jimmy, that's exactly how it was. Uphill both ways, climbing into the beast and climbing out of the beast. It was uphill in the beast and it was uphill out of the beast. That's right. What an amazing time to be alive. Hello. Of all the worlds you could have conquered, Yes. Such power wasted on a feeble imagination. Stop walking. Thank you. Wrecked. If I get a four link, putting the um, like honestly, that damage feels really Damn good. You. If I get a four link, I can put the uh, orb of storms in with the thing. I love. You. The beast had a butt on both ends back in my day. True. Okay. Added lightning, sacred wisps. What would be another blue I would add? Crit? Crit strikes? Crit damage? 
I'm not cold to fire. I have no idea what other blue I would add. Oh, this is corrupted and I could identify it. Cool. That was neato. I want a blue red. Like something like this. Uh, cast speed, strength, and int. Man, if I was a strength and int guy, huh? If I was a strength and int guy. Bring me back something. Nice. This is where the orbs of binding like really come in clutch. We just get some cool stats. Like, um, this. Okay, so this pair of boots sucks. Um, I can maybe craft it because I have an essence, which gives life. So I can get a life craft on here, and then maybe I can, if there's an open prefix, I can craft move speed. Dude, it went six mods? No, it went five mods with no open prefix. Fuck. God. God. Ugh. Ugh. Delete. It's not even worth looking at. Damn, dude. Still breathing, eh? Yeah, I'm still breathing. Surprisingly. My line breathing is fury. Yo, thanks, Grieger. Appreciate you. Uh, okay, so that's done. So, either go to get the crit, the crit, or we just start walking our ass all the way down here, which I think is the plan. Because I, I'm going down there anyway, so I might as well just go do it now. Um, oh. Lightning Conduit, Eye of Winter, Summon Reaper, Hex Blast, No, Stormbind, Soul Rend, Cremation, uh, Kinetic Blast. Kinetic Blast is like the skill. Crackling Lance is kind of cool. You have goodbye. Okay. Um, can I do anything with this? this? Sucks. I mean, this sucks too. But this also sucks. Life is pain. Alright. Um,. I'm distracted. There's something I'm trying to do, and I don't know what it is. My, my, the tires of my brain are just spinning. Did that? Uh, that would give you a virtual firm handshake for it. Oh yeah, right. I gotta bring a blue gem into the lab. True. I was definitely forgetting that I had to do that. Uh, yeah. I'll bring a blue gem in and see what I hit. Uh, that's a lot of stats. All right. That's a mirrored necklace? No. Wow! That's a crazy item. That's a crazy one. I like how I killed the boss before the rare. I love this video game. Oh, I should be running precision. Should definitely be running precision here. Over clarity. I can just get like the the mana leech. Or like I, I just have mana leech on my attacks and I can run precision over clarity. Why is my chest piece so shiny? Oh, uh, it's not, I'm on fire. More that I'm on I'm literally on fire. It's called the cloak of flame, and it shrouds me in flames. And it makes it so 40% of the physical damage I take is taken as fire damage. And the reason why that's good is because I have no protection against physical damage, but I have 75% protection against fire. So basically it reduces 40% of the phase that I take by 70 or by 75%. Or rather, it's just I eliminate about 30% of the physical damage. I eliminate 30% of the physical damage that I take. It goes to zero. Here, hello. Uh, nope. Get out of here, devourers. An emperor must know Jerks. precisely where, where he stands. stands. All right, I did say I was doing all the quests, so we're doing all the orkin quests. So we're gonna go. I'm not doing the stupid Chittis Plum. I might as well do the Chittis Plum. I'm already here. I don't know where it is. I have to go find it. And I go to the library. Um, where is the Chittis Plum? Where does it usually spawn? Does it spawn down here? I never do this quest. I hate it. 
I, I always find I click it and then it's in my inventory. Tartar sauce, so you can fish sticks works. Well, you can also make your own tartar. Isn't tartar sauce just like... Like mayo plus horseradish? Or something? Chili than hot? Yeah, probably. Just on a time crunch? No, okay. I mean, I don't have horseradish, so I don't know. I think it's horseradish. Is this something else? I don't know how you make a tartar sauce. I also don't know why tartar sauce is pretty much exclusively served with fish. Because, like, if you go get, like, fish anywhere here, you get, like, a big slab of haddock. You know, like, good fish and chips. They'll give you a big bin of tartar sauce. Mayo, pickle, dill, and caper. Yeah, that just sounds like a good sauce. I don't know why they serve it with fish, mostly. Somebody learned me something. Fish expert, Shrim Tom? Yeah. Look, I go to I go to places, and when you get a tartar sauce, it's served with fish. And it's not served with anything else. Okay. Now, this also could be the fact that I don't go to fish restaurants very often because I'm allergic to shellfish and I'm not a big fan of just the seafood in general. I'm a bad person and I hate the environment or something. So I gotta, I need more land-based meats to fill my satisfaction. Conquer worm. No, I put my big spell out. Don't disappear, you bastard. It is plum. All right, let's go to Fairgraves. Come on, Fairgraves. Malt vinegar for fried fish. Also a good option. Yep. I don't like a lot of malt vinegar, but just like a little bit. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like wisps of malt vinegar? Beautiful. Give me a life ring that's better than the ring that I have. Thank you. Bye-bye. He died. I can start taking Set these notes, too. Doomed to go wherever the winds blow him. Uh, I probably should just go take this because it's a lot of fucking damage. And attack speed. What's better? Five, 10 accuracy or 4 elemental penetration? I don't... Or not 10 accuracy. 10 attack speed or 4 elemental penetration? I don't know the answer. Helps cut through the fat and brighten the taste of fish. Hmm. I see. Is it to like shell based creatures like turtles? No, I haven't. I probably could go do that. I probably could go um, launch on some turtles. I'm, you know, there's probably places where you can get a good turtle soup. I don't know where that would be. I couldn't tell you anything about it. The closest I ever come to eating turtle is in uh, Elden Ring when uh, you kill some tortoises and then you can use tortoise necks for recipes. Why the necks specifically? I don't know. Maybe it's hard to eat, like, hard to pick up the rest of it on the fly. If I had to guess. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't have, like, the desire to eat a lot of animals, if that makes sense. Like, I don't need to eat all of them. I'm very okay with eating the animals that I eat. That's why I'm super stoked for the, um, the future of the I can't believe it's not meat. Please. God, this thing chases zero damage, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, in the future, you know, there'll be, uh, the synthetic meat. And it's gonna be fantastic. Because it will... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, like, I, I just, I don't need anything real. Yeah, I don't care about the U.S., who cares? I live in Canada. All I know is that there were already companies that were seeking approval to vendor the stuff in Ontario, so, yeah. It could also be, like, and especially when it comes to, like, banning... It can, like, there's a lot of factors that can be at play. So an easy example of why a country would ban some type of food is if it's, like, an exclusively an export. So, like, for example, if the government bans, you know, the uh, lab-grown meat because they're, or, like, Im they're importing it, sorry. Um, they, they might possibly ban, like, imported versions of the meat as opposed to, like, the real thing. Or not the real thing, but, like, homegrown to preserve jobs or something like that. You know, politics and all that. Yeah, I'm going to wait until I see what the play is in here. Good old Jolly Canadia, you know. Good old Jolly Canadia. That's us. It's me. Double health. God, these things do have to take a little bit of extra time with double health. Okay, elemental hit leveled up again. So it's level 6. 81 dexterity. 
Okay, so I can get another level, and then I'm going to need more dexterity. How do I deal with that? I am not sure yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Ah, oh. oh, fuck. Every time. I'm, like, never making it through this place without, well, clicking these. Uh, strongest monster in the pack gets 100% life or 20 all res. I mean, honestly... Oh, the Freezy Pulse Demons? I'm going to put all res on the skeletons. I don't want the Freezy Pulse Demons to have all res. That what happened in Raccoon City? Uh, not entirely... That's not entirely what happened in Raccoon City. That was something different. My thought process is like... I don't know, man. I don't think about the impact of... Uh... If there could be an impact from all of the signals that are around our bodies all the time, from your Wi-Fi router to your phone to all these other things. Maybe it has a terrible impact, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, the science is still working on it, but like... Cruelty-free meats? Hell yeah, sign me up. Unless it's like crazy expensive, then that would suck. But in theory it should be less expensive, so... Like, well, it's supposed to be. Problem is, I'm a young person, and in my lifetime, whenever a new product comes out, it's always more expensive than the previous product, and then people swap to it, where people stoop to their competitors and raise their prices. It's very, 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 very rare where somebody will come out with something that competes by lowering the price. You might be like, but, but Shrim Tom, yeah, of course there was. Don't you remember Uber? Yeah, I do. I remember when Uber was less expensive than a traditional taxi for a very short period of time because it was a huge loss leader, so they could make uh, a bunch of headway, and then they wanted to sell their service, so they Another absolutely day. stopped doing that. And now it's Another pretty much the same price day. as a regular cab. Nothing ever changes, man. Nothing ever changes. Maybe I'm just too jaded for this world. The last golden page, we're almost there. Again, I'm doing this quest specifically because they said there were, like, made changes and they hid stuff all over the world. And so far, the only changes that I've seen have been in Act 3, or Act 2, sorry, 1 and 2. I don't really see anything different in Act 3. So maybe they didn't actually change much of the acts. It's just Act 1 and 2, I don't know. The rest of it's all the same. All right, Siosa, here you go. All right, I get anything I want. Sacrifice, Impending Doom, Fire Pen, Cold Pen, Lightning Pen, Burning Damage, Blasphemy, Swift Affliction. Um... Uh, Honestly, Elemental Penetration would be a great skill gem. But I have no idea how to craft it. I think I need all three penetrations. Let's speak again soon. Yeah, Act 1 and 2 had a lot of stuff. I just didn't really notice anything in Act 3. Maybe I don't remember. Which is also fair. My memory bad. Some memory not good. Please. No, no, no! That muscle memory is so strong. God, I really hate this stupid goes up, organization. It's very frustrating. Ugh. We have to, like, click on the thing. I definitely don't like that. I hope they find a better way around that. This is very annoying. Um, I don't want to just go one, two, three, four, and refund these passives, and then go one, two, three, four, uh, leech. This, go this way. So technically it reduces the damage that I deal of just lightning, but then it increases the total at wand elemental damage that I deal, which in theory should give me about the same amount of damage overall. Uh, maybe even more damage. And it'll scale harder as I get further. Also, Spirit Pestilence strikes enemy. Totems. Oh, side areas don't have the league mechanic. I guess that makes sense. Like, you have, like, Wisps in here as well. Bring up uh, Affliction. Not like the old map within a map days, where you'd go into a map and then come out 45 minutes later after doing the second map. Like, what's that magic card? 
uh, that lets you play two games, like Shahrazard or something. Um, it'd be, it's just like that. You used to go into a map and then you'd find Xana and she'd be like, Hey, Exile, do you want to do another map? And you're like, oh, okay. So you go into Xana's map and then inside Xana's map you find an abyss. And so then you go and you do the whole abyss and then uh, it leads to abyssal depths. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. So you do abyssal depths and you go down and you fight the lich. And then you finish fighting the lich and then you leave and you in Xana's map. And you're like, oh, right, the map. So you start working on the map and you're doing it. And then uh, you finish Xana's map. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, cool. And then you take you portal out, and then when you click the portal, it takes you into a, the map you were in originally. You're like, oh right, another map. I forgot. And you just keep going and going and going. One of those Russian dolls where you just keep popping them open. Just never ends, man. It just never ends. Good old old school path of exile. What a wacky, wacky time, wacky, wacky video game to play. I'm back. Stop running. Quit your running. Okay, so I don't need mana potions anymore. I now have mana leech. It's gonna solve me a lot of problems, save me a lot of time. Quality. Ooh, okay. So I have two of those. So I think I can craft stuff with quality. I wonder if you can craft flasks. You get like 30 quality flasks in here. That'd be kind of giving it. Also, apparently you can corrupt flasks now to give them like increased quality. Quality increases the duration of the flask. So if you have a 30% quality flask, it has 30% more duration on it. So say if a flask, you drink it, and it's a potion that goes, hey, you have like capped fire res while you drink the potion. That's cool. And if you can make it last like a really long time, and obviously the effect is better because the longer it lasts, the less often you need to drink it. The less often you need to drink it, the more effective it is. Effect. Oh no. I even get like mad about it. It's so hard. It's so hard. Man, guys, you don't understand. My life is really hard. I have to like sit here and click on stuff sometimes, and then sometimes I click on the wrong thing. Ugh. Like, dude, you don't even understand. It's crazy. What I gotta go through right now. Dealing with. Smash. That and the gem that I want, which is weapon elemental damage, or yeah, we yeah weapon elemental damage, is not available right now. Should be sweet. I only deal elemental damage. Yeah, it's deal no non-elemental damage, right? Deal no non-elemental damage. So I can't do chaos and I can't do physical. So weapon elemental attack is really good. I'm level 36. I should just be going. I want to kill the monsters. I just have fun killing all the monsters. There's the hard thing I encounter in like any style of video games. Although not in Diablo 2. I think in Diablo 2 I'm pretty good at just like pushing, 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 going ahead. Um, but I think it's just because I've spent so many years in that game experiencing stuff. And also, admittedly, it doesn't change too much. Where you want to get to like the later part where you're now playing like a different type of build. Um, so it's a little bit different in terms of that regard, uh, the Diablo uh, leveling experience. Where it's like, yeah, play Sorceress, and then you go here, 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 and then done. This is like a question that maybe a lot of you can't answer, but I do have a question. Um, so I saw a YouTube video, and the YouTube video was titled, it was like, Beating Diablo Without Any Weapons or something. And I was like, oh! Or like, uh, yeah, without any, or is it without any weapons or no items equipped? And I was like, damn, beating Diablo with, or Diablo 2 with no items equipped? What a crazy feat. Like, do you know how hard that would be? Insane. I gotta watch this YouTube video. So I clicked on it, and the person did finish the campaign on normal. And then they're like, yep, and that's it. I beat Diablo 2 without any equipment. And I'm like, but you didn't do Nightmare. 
for hell. And it's like, it's just like the regular campaign. Which, especially when you compare it to the, how the rest of the game is, it's not very challenging by any stretch of the imagination. Which doesn't mean that person shouldn't be proud of themselves and their accomplishment. But my brain is like, you really beat Diablo 2? It played like basically effectively what is what turns into be like a, a, a relatively short tutorial compared to that much time you spend with the rest of the video game. And I don't know how to feel about that. It's more of like I guess what's the answer? Like, you know, is it does it really matter uh whether somebody uh thinks of like the base game or completing it is like finishing the whole Have game. Have you ever seen the true face of God exiled? Beat DD on hard, does that not count? I mean, of kind of. So, that's actually a great question. It'd be like saying, like, you know, you go into, um, like, a raid, for example. I mean, I guess it does count. It, it all counts, I guess. Uh, I guess just before I watched the video, it would have been nice to know that the guy was going to stop on normal difficulty. But you're right. I think that I think it is probably a fine way to think about it when you put it in the context of DDO. Because I'm like, well, if somebody beat Sharn on normal, are they really beating Sharn? The answer is yeah. If they did all the content, I guess they did. Even if you compare it to like just too hot to handle, it's like oh well, they did just too hot to handle on hard. I mean, too hot to handle is not an easy piece of content by any stretch of the imagination. So if somebody says, oh yeah, we beat, I beat two out to handle and they did it on normal, I mean, that's still like a reasonable accomplishment, so maybe I'm the one who needs to evaluate my thought process on this one. I mean, I always thought it was the one I need to evaluate, but yeah. Die, Dominus. I have no way to heal myself. I technically have, like, a very, very small amount of leech, but I'm dead. Uh... Do I not? Yeah, I still don't have the thing. Don't eat the pizza bread. Can't read the messages in the chat because the messages in the chat are hiding behind emotes. Why? No one I guess I'll just spam it. Dominus. There we go. If you don't eat the pizza bread, do you eat the pizza slice? Yeah, like the dough or like the crust. Also, a good question. I guess it really it's up to you. You can eat whatever you want. You technically did beat it. Yeah, bye bye. That's, a, that's a good way to think about it. It's all about it's all about what what the claim is, yeah. Both of your projectiles hit the boss, just one. They pretty much got rid of shotgunning in Path of Exile a very long time ago. Shotgunning, which is to say, like you get in melee range and shoot a bunch of projectiles, and because you're right next to a boss, all the projectiles hit at the same time. They didn't like that form of behavior because it basically meant that range characters needed to be in melee range to be the most effective, which is completely counterintuitive to the whole concept of being a ranged character. This guy's leeching a lot of health. It sucks to be mean, I guess. And lightning and shock resistant. Love that. How much chill do I put on these targets when I attack them? No. This is a lot of lightning. Yeah, it's all about how you want to break down that and think about it. Okay, this so I shock and ignite or shock and chill way more than skitter, what the skitter bots do. So I don't actually want the skitter bots right now. It means I have a lot of extra stuff. So I could, I could have another aura or something else running at the same time. I could run haste if I wanted. I could just go get grace or determination, which would give me a huge amount of defense. Both are probably fine, to be honest. Here's the boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing more shock than the skitter bots are doing. The skitter bots over, right? Okay, so I don't want the skitter bots now. I want them later. Uh, wand. Cold damage. Attack speed. Uh, it's got less crit and slightly more attack speed. It's got cast speed, but is it better? Not really. It's got two red sockets. Wow. Aeroplane is the first character to reach level 69. Nice. I mean, heck, maybe I just run like. Um, precision and some other stuff. Grass uh, spear shield. Spear shield's alright. Maybe tells me things are talking in the right term. Yeah, the returning projectiles can all come back and hit, yeah. 
But yeah, I also agree. I don't think that's the right term because it's like kind of a different effect. You jerk. Am I out of backpack space? No. I don't need this. This item is bad. I just need some orbs of binding. That's what I need. Four links would be amazing. Four chain would be good. Increased AoE is a good idea. Doing my lab is a good idea. Probably go do the lab. Probably go do a lab. Labyrinth. Go do the labyrinth. Yeah, I should probably go do that. Uh, what am I bringing in? A blue gem? We, I have seen. Yeah, because I want Void Sphere of Rending. And there's other people who want other skills. So, yeah, I'll bring a blue gem and see what we get. Uh, strength, life, life, mana. I mean, that's pretty good. It's a lot of life. Um, more strength, some life, but I can't do anything with this. All res, three link, fire damage. Which is better than this, but marginally. It's a lot less lighting resistance, and the stats are... It's got block and stun recovery, which makes me very sad. But it is a three link, so I could connect this stuff together, and I can change the color on that, so it's not too bad. I can probably May do that. Fear guide you. Okay, so let's just get this going here. No, yep. For this, for this, for this. Do -do 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 -do. Delete this one. Actually, I'm going to put that with here. Here, in case I, again, still decide to go back, which I am not planning on doing, but, you know, in my brain, it, like, hits the floor or something. Oh, that's actually less. This, that's a bad item. Uh, this is cool. Does that have a suffix? It doesn't. Well, we can craft weapon elemental damage with attacks or something. I gotta sell some crap. What is it, exile? Yes. Sell, 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 sell. Sell. I'm watching you. I don't know what to do with this meat sack. What is Weird. it, exile? Is there a four link here? There's like a five. There's a five socket. There's another five socket. Imagine if you just check the vendor and there's just a five link staring you right down the face. That'd be sweet. I'm watching you. Oh shit. What are we shitting for? What's happening? Uh, okay, gems. There's my gem tab. Uh, I have a blue gem. I have conductivity. I don't need this. So let's go whip it into the labyrinth. Did I miss league start? You miss league start um, by three and a half hours, but that's okay because you still have time to play. You can just log in, get some items, get some stats, get some um, things put on the table. It's all good, dude. You stand stream streaming? before the True. gates of the Lord's Labyrinth. Within these walls, the Lady of Justice doth present justice okay. will prevail. Yeah, I need, and I'm going to have to organize my auras and stuff. I really need sockets. Snoozer zero. I mean, the guy's working on a weekday, you know? I'm not going to blame somebody for working on a weekday and then missing out on the Path of Exile League at the beginning of it. And then being like, I'm just going to play it when I get home from work. That's a, it's a pretty understandable thing. You know. Like, I remember the days when I used to be a casual, too, and, like... Yeah, man. It's, just a, it's the way a lot of people live their lives. People queue and servers allowed to play? True. Yeah, if you didn't, if you weren't in queue, are you even really playing the game if you didn't see the server log in queue? Wow, another Quicksilver Flask. That is a lot of Quicksilver Flasks. easy meta build oh, i mean the is, is man which i don't know if he's still on here yeah he is of the path. ea sports pga tour is currently running uh the explosive Emperor arrow Beckons which is kind of like the, the thing attempts. we have don't ask about the thesis the witch i don't know who that could be it could be anybody and we got big cock damage dealer could also be anybody Strike really with fidelity I have a lot of direct damage to this guy.
You were born for this. Yeah, I think I need more precision. I think I need precision. This empire I think remains is help me filled out. with emperors in waiting. Mm, we need precision, eh? Yeah, she. We need precision. Oh, there's no league mechanic in here, which is nice. Bannable offense. That's a good thing that you don't have control over who gets banned and who doesn't. Now, isn't it? Oh, four link. Nice. I'm going to ban you after I'm done. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody's going to start bowing down. Shock and lightning resistant. All three elemental resistant. At least this thing doesn't have life leech. That's fine. It takes a little while, but it's it's good. I'm gonna have to run a lot of delirium because I need to get a good jewel with corrosive elements. Although I don't know if it's better to run the deliriums myself or to just buy it with currency and trade for it. Uh, I'm excited. I'm still on the fence about so many different things. Colors, boots, four link. Okay. Good colors. Four link, good colors. Okay. Exciting. Is standard character to create a lead character now? Uh, if you if you are out of character slots, yes. If you're not out of character slots, no. You can have only like twenty characters or something by default. So when you if you're out of character slots, then you've got to delete a character. But yeah. Okay, I think I'm getting the golem stuff, so we're gonna go over this way. I forgot I could do that. Hey, I didn't open this box. Hello, buddy. Or before crat. How I feel on a daily basis. An item that matches my life. Oh. Oh. That's a much bigger explosion than some AV. When the time comes to strike, the an coil. emperor strikes without hesitation. Ah, the old when mortal coil. Energy is to one defiles the emperor. Next condo in your actors will be disabled permanently. Mm. I don't have like any health. Give it's not no a good quarter. idea. Even my character may not have a lot of damage. We'll see. Those who stand I'll cross this bridge later. Outnumber those who kneel. But uh, I'm getting worried. I have the feeling I don't have a lot of a lot of damage here to kind of keep myself going. Because I'll tell you what, this is definitely worse and slower than Ark for sure. Which is what I was running before. Again, it's it's a lot of synergy pieces, especially with like all elements kind of running at the same time. Um, you know, as opposed to just focusing in on one, that makes it a little bit harder to kind of uh, nail down exactly where I'm going with that. Also, I have apparently no life regen, which is a hilarious problem, and what I did not realize I had. Yeah, we'll sort it out in a bit, um, and then I'll get my things. I need more sockets. I basically need three sockets for golems. And then I need three sockets. And then I need to get... Oh, I need to swap out clarity for precision. Yeah, switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, dark shrine. Dark shrine. Dark shrine. A potent little gift. No trap damage. Pass. Let's go. Love that. In theory, I could, like, farm out the Dark Shrines, but meh. Uh, Mansion Auditorium. That is the right way. Nice. Almost done. And I think uh, I will be due for a, how you say, water break. I get some water and put it into my system. It'd be a good time. Every once in a while, you gotta get some water, man. You gotta drink. I probably should have like gotten new water before I like started the Path of Exile because I'm very good at 
just playing the Path of Exile and not getting the water into the internal organs, but yeah, you know. That's gaming for you. That's what we do, gaming on the weekend. Man, the new Dragonlord build I was playing was really fun. This character is um it's gonna it's gonna be coming together soon. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of damage from uh this ascendancy passive. And also when I get the golems. And also when I get the sockets for the golems. Thing. Goodbye, Oleander. An Goodbye, Oleander. Can afford to be Am I in hardcore? No. I don't play Path of Exile Leagues day one in hardcore. And the main reason I don't do that is because Path of Exile Leagues usually have some bullshit mechanic that's broken, and then they patch it, like, the first week. But when it releases, there's just some bullshit mechanic that, like, one-shots you. Uh, and that's been pretty much true of every Path of Exile League. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't do hardcore in the first week. It's a terrible idea. I did hardcore last season. Um, I, I, I played a hardcore character and I got to... I died to Uber Searing Exarch, which was unfortunate. But it was pretty cool. I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Find your determination. My damage is so slow. Die, you jerks. Is more dangerous than the journey, Ascendant. Die, 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 die. Nice. Look at these items. An item, an item, two keys, nothing with sockets that I want. Let's go. All right. Before your key, emperor, key. you are worthy. Before the goddess of justice, All right. you Here we go. are worthy. We have divine Receive font. We can transfigure blessing. one skill gem. Embrace one transfigure gem turns into rise, body swap of sacrifice, galvanic field of intensity, and raise zombie of slamming. Fortunately, all of these are not useful. SSF? No, I'm just playing on regular trade. All of these are bad. Well. I guess we'll take Body Swap of Sacrifice? I don't know. I have no idea how useful it is. I'll just toss it away for a few chaos. Now we take Elementalist. Now the benefit of Elementalist is I can go here, go Mastermind of Discord, and then get the Heart of Destruction. So I get the extra area of effect while I don't have Convergence problem with this is that I uh, don't have a way to inflict exposure at the moment. My plan is to get Corrosive Elements, which gives me exposure whenever I attack, and it just it just freely applies it. Uh, but until then, I have no way to do that. Also, I can't do these because my plan is to also get rid of the ability to ignite Chill or Shock. So instead, we're going Golems and Golems, and then I will probably just run Bastion of Elements so I can do all the Reflect maps that I want. And then eventually swap into Mastermind of Discord plus Hard of Destruction. But that'll be a later problem. But to, for now, we're just going to do Golems. For now I can have two Golems. Okay, so now I, I'm in the dire need of sockets. I have Still to replace my helmet and my gloves. So we have to get something with more sockets. And that's the thing of these here has more sockets. I'm upset. I have a feeling I'm going to be uh, socket starved for a very, very, very long time. Something I'm worried about? Yeah, you do. What's that was the problem want? that I ran into when I was doing the, um, the like, event, is I was just socket starved the whole time. I had no sockets on any of my gear. It was very, not, I wouldn't say upsetting, but it got on my nerves quite a bit. I'm just like, I just need any sockets, please, game. Okay, so. I'm watching you. Uh, can I put an extra socket here? No. One. No. One. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so things I don't need. So skitter bots, I do want. I don't need clarity anymore, so I can remove that entirely. Skitter bots, I want, so I'll just put that up here. Herald of Thunder is good. Um. I don't need any of that. Arcane Surge and Frostblink is fine. I don't need the Arcane Surge on Frostblink, so I can probably just put Frostblink in here. I don't need Arcane Surge either. So I have some extra socket colors. Um, I want Precision. And this is not an amazing piece of equipment, but I'm not replacing it anytime soon, so we're just going to get one extra socket, which is good enough. Uh, and I kind of want to see if I can... I can get one extra socket on this helmet as well. So we'll just get at least one. And I did get one, which is very nice. Thank you, game. Um, and then I can use this. I need a green here. 
pink or red. No, I want a green. Green. Thank you. I don't even need Orb of Storms, if I'm being honest. I think that's kind of unnecessary at this point. Uh, and I want a green socket. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to go kill Vol right now. I'm going to take care of that. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to make some socket adjustments. And then put everything together. Yeah, you got to download PoE, dude. You got to get that Path of Exile downloaded in the old Path of Brain. The damage will go up, don't you worry. Oh, baby, the damage is going to go up. I don't want to get, like, Blood Rage or something to increase my attack speed, but I don't think I have the regen for that. Considering I don't even have potions, it's a huge problem. Oh, well. It is, it is what it is. Oh, get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Clear. Clear. This is where we get all the golds. Uh, I have a thing that gives me increased golem effect, and also another thing that gives me increased golem effect for every golem I have summoned. But basically the idea is the more golems I get, the more effect they have, and the more they stats they give me. So I'm going to be using all of the elemental golems. I've had so many four link chest pieces. Chests. I could in theory replace my chest piece, but I really don't want to. Life regen. Why? Ball pyramid. Nice. These guys are mapping, dude. Sick. Oh. I didn't want to actually get hit by that. I wanted to dodge that. I did get hit by it, though. Funny how that happens. Ow. Yeah, usually he just, like, does something, but not today. He's just standing there attacking me. All right, cool. Beautiful. This guy's done. And I also need, um... I need more... I need elemental weakness as well. So I need... I think elemental weakness is going to be better than, uh, elemental hit... Oh, not elemental hit. Than, uh, Orb of Storms, for sure. So I'm going to take out Orb of Storms. I want elemental weakness. And I kind of want Assassin's Mark as well, but I think it's a later problem. Oh, I got to use the thing. I'm learning, dude. Zoomancer build? Yeah. Look at that. There's a lot of cool summons in this game. I just... The last time I did summons, it was summon skeletons. And it was very cool. And I was, it was definitely like something that I, I, I wanted. Like, I was having a lot of fun with it. But it was also, like... Um, just not one to like sit down and actually play through the whole summoner experience. Although I, I do understand why people uh, people like it. Okay, so we whip the alchemy into this. We pray we get either movement speed or an open prefix. We did get movement speed. We do have uh, an open prefix. We have an open suffix as well. So I can actually craft dexterity onto this, which is massive. And it has 10 movement speed, which is not ideal, but it's better than nothing. And it has lightning res on it, which I need. So, cool. And now I have a four link. Fun. You are so I'm up to 70 minions? Dude, that's crazy. That's a really big number. And we have flame golem as well. I can't summon the flame Be golem careful. yet, but I will. I will summon the flame golem. And then we go here. We go act three. Um, and I need to buy more gems. Or I must have more element. Elemental weakness is the gem that I want. Okay. Uh, Oh, we are going to go flame golem, lightning golem. The one downside is you have all these like golems and they take up all these extra slots on the back half of your, your tree here. It's kind of annoying to just have around. So I have the golems. I need flat uh, accuracy, which I get from precision, which I actually don't know if I can buy as a witch. Yes. 
I can. Cool. So I have precision as well, which is nice. That's huge. So I have precision, I have Herald of Thunder, and what else would be a good thing I could reserve mana with? I have to put things on. So we have that. We have Herald of Thunder, which isn't necessarily the best. Um, we have Golems. So yeah, I can use like Grace or Determination or Haste if I wanted. Um, let me put Ellie Weakness here. So I have extra attack speed. I have extra accuracy, which is nice. And then I get just flat damage soon. My actual hit chance is full. And then uh, I get, yeah, so I have more attack speed from that. And then I get uh, increased buff effect from golems. So I have uh, more effect. I never need to resummon them either. So they just always summon themselves. Uh, and then this gives me increased effect of buffs granted by your golems per golem. And your golems are immune to elemental damage and an extra plus one golem. So then I can go here and pick up this for plus one golem and increase golem buff effect. So they get even more buffs. And then I get the extra golem here. Do the library anyway? Yeah, I did. Um, and also, what blue gem do I want? Crit? Uh, I kind of want green and red, but there's no way I'm going to be able to craft one green, one red. So I just have to deal with the fact that it's blue. And I don't know how we're going to do that. Dexterity. Beautiful, thank you. 17 dex is good. The hit of the spectrum, sacred wisps, added lightning. Added lightning also not that great. I don't want elemental focus. Control destruction is not good. Maybe I just go with like crit strikes. Keeps dropping almost 20% gems. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, faster casting. I need blues. Conk effect. Hmm. Ellie focus is very bad for me. I guess because I don't have anything better, I just go with crit strikes for now. Goodbye. So I think that's the play. It's not ideal, but I think critical strikes is probably the, the move. Ooh, 20% summon skeletons. What little help Don't you need a 20% summon skeletons um, to be able to get the summon skeleton gem? I guess I go with crit strikes. I don't know what my crit strike that chance is. But it's not amazing. Mmm. Uh, okay. So now I need like a blue aura or something. So all I have is a blue socket left. So what's an aura I can use is blue. Uh, let's reserve. I can do a spell slinger setup. Can't do energy blade. Uh, I could have something automated. Discipline, purity of elements. Honestly, purity of elements is not the worst. Just immunity to all elemental elements for leveling. Watch yourself. Seems kind of good. Seems alright. Music in Lion Eyes Watch. Is there new music? Seems like it was the same music as always. A ni 19 quality Herald of Agony. Nice. If you're planning on playing Herald of Agony, it's a pretty good, pretty good bonus. This gives you extra virulence. Virulence. I didn't do the league mechanic. Because I'm good at the game. League mechanic. Uh, sure, that's fine. Oh, that is um, a microtransaction. It's a very annoying microtransaction. I very much dislike it. It's a it's a band that you can summon. Yes, little mountain. I'm pleased to see you too. I very much dislike that microtransaction. Where the, these little guys went like. <laughs> Very stupid. I don't like it at all. Okay, so with increased crit strikes, my critical strike chance with my wand and the attack is 
I mean, it is better than nothing. Got to make new filters. No, you just load your old filter. You literally just take your filter and load it into filter blade and then hit save. Done. It's so freeing. Yeah. Filter blade's automatic. So if you load an old filter that's out of date, it auto updates it to the new like paradigm, like the new stats. Yeah, as long as you as long as you're subscribed to it. So like if you're not subscribed, if you if you don't uh, add your Path of Exile account and you instead hard download the filters every time and then go and put them in the folder and you have to go into the folder to clear out your filters and all that other stuff. You know, like a cave person, then yeah, you'll you'll run into an issue, but assuming you don't uh do that, then you should be fine. It likes me. Matin, probably. Where are we going? This way? This way looks pretty good. Ice Nova? I don't care. I don't know why you're complaining. That seems sick. Time to play Smite, dude. But I have a filter with bald men yelling at me, and I have a separate sound pack. You just load the filter that has that, and then that's it. Like, I'll show you. So, where is it? So here's my filter, right? So if I go to my filters, these are the ones that I've saved. So as long as it's saved here, so for example, here's like Diablo 2 Sanctum. I haven't loaded this since 2022. If I load it, Filter updated. Your filter has been updated. It is now from version 8.9.1 to new 8.14. Filter updated. Done. Then I go to my overview. It's now set up to the stable. It's gone strict. No problem. And bada bing, bada boom, it's done. That's all you have to do. That's the total amount of work. If you had a really, really deeply customized filter with a bunch of stuff and you need to rechange all of that, then yeah, you have to do it by hand. But like, just don't do that. Don't customize your loot filter. Huge mistake. Just download your, download, uh, sorry, like just use the default one. Just set it to like semi-strict or whatever and use one of the presets that's on there. Or just subscribe to somebody else's loot filter and let them update it for you. Then you just log in and the filter's always, always right. Hell, you could subscribe to mine. You just didn't need to have the Diablo 2 sound files. Like, I always just use the Diablo 2 loot filter, although I do have a couple special sounds in this loot filter in case I get any primo drops. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm running through this mine, going nowhere. Ow, the burning damage, the burning ground, it hurts. Oh, I have all fires from cool. Yeah, it's so much more convenient than back in the day where you have to do like a hundred steps. Make sure to unsquimble your gwimble. I don't even know what that means, help. Oh. And I said updated by logging in. Look at that, dude. Yeah, back in the day, there was slightly more work involved. Not like a lot more work, but like slightly more work. Uh, minus 18. Everything is good. So I just need more damage so I can actually regenerate more mana. Because I don't spend... My skills don't cost that much mana. I just don't do any damage, so my mana leech is not good enough to sustain it. It's a, it's a bad problem to have. Much for the alternative problem, which is that I don't have that problem. 
Anathema. Holy moly. That's a ring. Three curses today. You could probably sell that for a lot on day one. Anathema is a very cool ring. What it does is it gives you... Um, your curse limit is equal to the number of power charges you can have. So, like, for example, if I wore that, I can have three. My character will probably end up having six power charges. And so, it'll be a lot, man. Because eventually I'll get I'll get the crit stuff later. Right now I'm just going non-crit so I can get more damage, but... Flat damage, but yeah. Well, I guess I'm not really going non-crit, but I'm not, like, hyper-focusing on the crit. The strongest monster in pack gets 400% rarity. Oh, shit. Dude, kick W or Keck L. Oh, that's that's tough. Keck W or Keck L. Um, is it is today a Keck W day or is it today a Keck L day? Because whichever one it isn't, that's when you the one you gotta delete. Oh oh oh. Oh, dude, I, like, don't regenerate enough mana to be able to do this. My mana regen's so fucking bad. Uh, My damage is so low. It's really funny. Private League? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie. Check W kind of day? Yeah, me too. Can't you hear my guffawing and my laughter? <laughs> Me, it's me laughing. That's what it sounds like, by the way. If you've never heard it before, I uh, I definitely do have a, a good hearty laugh. Wow, the Jimmy Carr. Damn. I don't think I laugh as bad as that guy. I definitely don't laugh as often as I think other people do. Some people are a lot more prone to laughing than I am. Maybe it's because I'm dead on in on the inside and the outside. Or maybe. Because there's nothing to laugh about at all. Nothing funny going on. No funny business here. No, no, no. I gotta go. These guys are blue. They're like a... Harbinger around here? What the heck's going on? So now we get the crafting recipe, we town, go get the skill point. And uh, I keep saying, man, I'm going to go faster. I'm going to really amp my speed up, and I'm just not. I'm just going at the same place. In case. I'm just plodding along. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I do have four slots. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Well, you could use it from that menu. That'd be cool. Boom! Golem Commander. So now we can have an extra golem. And I can sell. And the extra golem's fantastic because it allows me to... Uh, no boost speed. Nice. The extra golem is the fire golem, which is a fairly high amount of damage. Is that better than this? I mean, this basically has more stats than this on its own and it has nothing on it yet. Uh, so we're going to test it to see what this is. It's a bad item. If I play a second character, I'll have a better item. That's another bad item. My items are yes. my rings are very bad. Oh no, it was just upsetting. I just saw them for a second. I just I, just, I made eye contact. It was not good. Oh no. Okay. Got this. Uh, do I have an essence to shove into here? Essence of fire res. Essence of weapon armor gives evasion. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I guess we just alchem. Life, life regen, fire res, cold res, a bunch of like really bad numbers on the stats. Interesting. Interesting. Probably shouldn't recolor this anymore. I got four reds, the opposite of what I wanted. I'm just gonna dump this in here. It's actually a reasonable item. It's just the opposite of what I wanted. Complete reverse stance. Okay, so now I can summon the Fire Golem as well. You know, and with the Fire Golem, that gives me 16% increased damage, but it's actually 
uh, 20, 80 percent plus I think 100 percent. So it's plus 180 percent effect. So it's not it's not 16 percent. It's borderline 45 percent damage. 30 all res. I don't want it on the these things. So in theory, that damage should give me enough uh, life or mana leech. I think it's very tanky. I believe. Level 40. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Let me go down here. I also like don't have any life, so my life total is really low right now. <laughs> I'm currently just trying to ignore that and pretending it's not there. The current uh, current strategy. I think it will work quite well, but you know. Oh, heroic shot. Nice. I think the fact that my low life total is or my life total is low is kind of heavily mitigated by the fact that I take 30% less physical damage no matter what. Yeah man, I don't have any life. Fact. You heard me say it here on camera, folks. It means it's true. It's true. I used to be kind of nervous or terrified about the idea of getting taken out of context. Like, I say something really stupid. Like, I don't have any life. And then somebody puts that and it's like, wow, Strim must be really depressed. He's got, like, no life. And it's like, no, I am really depressed, but, like, a totally different reason. It's not, it's not because I have no life in the video game. It's about it's talking about the, you know, the video game numbers. And so... I think that uh, I, I used to be really worried about that. I don't know. As it actually happened to me, and I got like crazy taken out of context. I realized that it's it's basically like I don't know. I don't really have enough of a need for a, a healthy public image in the terms of like I'm not a politician. I'm just some guy on the computer, and I'm some very small unknown person. So in general, um, if I had a negative reputation about myself, it wouldn't escape like anywhere to be relevant like if somebody like imagine on stream i was like the biggest asshole in the universe it doesn't matter because if somebody finds the youtube videos they're gonna find you know they're probably not gonna check out the live stream and they said just gonna be like oh cool like build guide like you know is what it is they built the the brand as it were on uh the character builds and other stuff the more informative content so it's kind of a, a blessing in that that regard i mean i you know be a jerk to people? No, but I could. I don't know the point. I could if I wanted to. No, no. Ah, uh, Calm Stronghold. I'm so sorry. I meant to click this button, but I didn't. 40% chance to suppress spell damage. I don't do that. They're doing clips to the clips channel? True. Yeah, the Clips channel would be the, the place to go for all your out-of-context clips. Socket links. Two to four sockets. Cool. I don't think I got just general sockets two to four, so I don't know what's up with that. It chokes my machine out. Oh, it's the, uh, the global illumination. Turn off global illumination. You're welcome. I don't know how, like, what space age computer you need to have to run global illumination, but yeah, that's just madness. Heals allies and suppresses foe recovery. Joke's on you. I don't have recovery, suckers. Very convenient. Uh-oh. 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 Hello. Kind of funny. I almost always play characters with like some amount of life recovery, but not this one. I don't know how the reason. Oh, what the hell? A thief's torment? Mm. 
Okay, well, that solves a lot of my problems for leveling. Uh, I'd show you what the ring does, but I'm just under siege. Um, so Thief's Torment gives... Uh, can't use other rings, but it gives a bunch of resistances. So a huge amount of resistances. And then reduce effective curses on you. Increased item quantity and a bunch of life and mana on each hit. Uh, and I'm out of strength. Shoot. Can I craft strength? No suffixes. Suffix. I can craft strength on my helmet. Because I need strength for apparently these gloves. Cool. Can't complain. Elimination on, but setting my other qualities back down to where I had it helped. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, where is this? Um, no, no, yes, no, uh, brain, 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 brain. There we go. Oh, I always forget what I'm doing. I get distracted so easily. Surprised I can ever get anything done. Um, strength. Oh, here we go. I have strength. Summon, summon, summon. I'm out of mana. And what was the other thing in here? Ice golem, Ellie weakness. Okay, cool. All as well. Ring to the escape because I just couldn't find better while leveling. Yeah. Another one that's really good is the highwayman. If you use leech, where the highwayman doubles your leech rate, so it makes you super tanky. Um, very, very good unique ring to just, like, whip on if you ever need it. Work. You know, I get loud. Yeah. we. I mean, we all get loud sometimes. When you're yelling, hooting and hollering at the television. So the benefit of this is as long as I'm attacking... I basically can't run out of mana now, which is convenient. I'll probably stop using Thieves Thief Torment eventually, but it's really good for now. You. Oh, you didn't know? Oh man, you shoulda. I love how, like, the rares take a while to kill, and then King Kaum is just, like, just disappearing. Poor guy. Yeah. See you later. Oh, and he dropped a unique amulet. Nice. An amulet that doesn't have any stats on it. I mean, the, the base stats it has are pretty good. It, just, it doesn't have any, like, uh, main stat. Which is exactly what I need. We're almost at dexterity, baby. Oh, dex, dex, dex. And I can grab the attack speed and the multi-shot. And then the clear speed is going to be so fast. Ah. Dress's dream. Uh, 20 all res. I actually don't mind these things. Cockerel. Cockerel archer, pitbull, zombie, and flame hellion. Are they called cockerel? I didn't even know that. I am Bereso, the sword king. It was here in the pits of Theopolis that I made my name, killing rabid dogs and wild boars before I could even be considered a man. In this... So glorious Smash everything out. I, I still gotta get water. Dude, that's that's a bad habit. I gotta go get some water. Orb of Binding! Oh, 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 shit. Orb of Binding, very good. Okay, we're cooking, dude. We're cooking. This is nice. Orb of Binding, very good. Orb of Binding gives you an automatic four link, which is very convenient when you're like me and you are not uh, having good luck with them. Do I want to replace my helmet? I just haven't yet, because I don't have a good four link to replace it with. So I just have to find a good helmet base and then just throw it in. What base? I don't know. Yeah. I love how those things just insta die like it was nothing. It just disappeared. Ah! Ah! I don't have a way to stop bleeding currently, which is a, like definitely an issue, and I'll have to solve that eventually. Also, I definitely went the wrong way. 
Uh, I was absolutely supposed to go the other direction. That's yeah, fine. Death does stop bleeding, yeah, true. Don't worry about bleeding. If you're dead, ain't got no life anymore, ain't no worry about no bleeding. Okay, so it's this way is where I gotta go. Yeah, cool skill. It's kinda neat. Enjoying it so far. Oh, that's my inspiration. Inspiration's the move. That's the gamer, gamer plan. Keep reading with the inspiration skill gem. I should probably go and actually craft some stuff. I might even be able to make some cool things. Hello, Mr. Undertaker man. Rolling magma makes me sleep. So then just don't play, go play with um the lightning pulse one. What do you call it? It's a skill that used to be super good back in the day before they made it a channeling skill. Oh, another unique. That's crazy. That's a lot of uniques all in one go. I do not know what's up with that. Uh, lightning conduit? No, lightning tendrils. Yeah, go play lightning tendrils for leveling. If you need to get somewhere, just go start with lightning tendrils. It's fun. Yo. Let us see how you fare in the ground arena. Yes. All right. I will be right back. I gotta do something. Also, 400% rarity. Oh, my God. That's great. I'm clicking that. All right, we're back. I had to skew up the classic rock, drink a white Russian, and roll your way to victory. Welcome to the <sighs> yeah, the could do that. It is here that I first laid eyes upon my two there it is, socket numbers. Cool. I was wondering where I got that recipe. It is dire death worthy of applause, gladiator. Freezes you and activated. Ha! Huh. Suckers. I am freezed by nothing. Unique or regular, right? 
Aren't you opening chests and other items? Because the odds you get something from an actual treasure chest are really low, and I have to stop to open up the treasure chest, whereas I could just kill a monster. Like right now, enemies that I fight have 400% increased rarity chance, so it's almost always better to just fight a monster anyway, as opposed to opening up a treasure chest. And then the monsters then also have 400% increased item rarity on top of that. So it's now like many hundreds of percents better. Um, chests are really weird in this game, where they're pretty much never worth it to open ever. Um, you'll have somebody who'll be like, yeah, but I opened a chest and I got X once. Um, but statistically, it's not a good idea. The way that most people do their chest opening is automatically. There's a skill you can get as a caster that makes it so when you cast a spell, you have a 25% chance to have a chest spawn, um, which is very cool, uh, actually. The fact that there's a 25% chance for, or chest spawns, right, to open a chest, open all nearby chests, which is actually a great idea. Um, and so I have used that in the past on very fast casting character builds, uh, but in general, I, uh, I don't use that effect very often. Yeah, like, it's pretty much almost always better to just, like, actually fight stuff instead of open up treasure chests. Not that opening a treasure chest can't be fun, but counterintuitively, it's not very good for, um, getting good loot. And then it makes you wonder, like, okay, well, what's the point of even having them? Uh, it's a good question. Um, there's also, like, the level of precision as well. So, like, if you have, uh, a requirement to, like, open up all the treasure chests, that means you need to be stopping and clicking on every single treasure chest. It requires you to precisely, you know, identify and stop at each one. Versus a game like this, where I'm kind of, like, attacking the monsters, and I'm aiming my skills at the pack. I'm not directly attacking the monsters by holding my mouse over them. Versus the trunk, I have to stop and, like, press the button. It's, like, a minor thing, but after, like, 20 hours, you're, you know, you feel it in the fingers, you feel it in, in the hands. Um, yeah, it's a complicated bit. Okay. Points available. Level up. Boom! More intelligence. Wow. More accuracy. Wow. What is my accuracy? Accuracy is main hit accuracy. 2,000. Double my hit points. Eight hundred percent strong on strongest monster in the pack. Nice. I haven't seen that yet. I got the Omen guy really early, or like the guy that uh, sells the uniques. But but it. Yeah, you feel the bones. That's right. The bones get sore. The bones, the muscles, they feel soreness. Right, attack my useless minions. It's interesting that it doesn't show me the health bar of all the minions. Die. I love phased bosses. Die, Doreso, die, Resso. Is that physical damage or damage? Attack damage leeches life and leeches mana. I think I'm probably going to end up dropping that to take the Leech Mastery here. Which is, oh, it's 1%, so it's a lot higher. And I got a ring. Nice. No love for Diala. Seamus's Gift. Lightning Resist. Chance to avoid being stunned. Damage per intelligence. I mean, it's kind of neat. I don't think it's very good, but it's kind of neat. If you have a thousand intelligence, it's a hundred percent lightning damage. I talk myself out of it. Now? I talk myself out of it being good. Whoa! That's a lot of cast speed and damage to attacks. That's pretty good. I'm talking myself out of a lot of things. Uh, okay, I don't want this. I'm gonna hold on to that. Go that's pretty good. Unique flask. So I kind of want to just burn this Orb of Binding, like, right now and see if I can make something better. My helmet can definitely improve, and so can my gloves. I just need to make sure I get Strength or Dex on one of them. So I think I'm going to buy, What's because I now? can use it, um, some blue-red gloves. Uh, so, like, these. 
And then the trick is we uh, we orbit binding them and hope we get something good. So scour and then this. And then we orbit binding and we hope we hit something good. And Ray, I got a lot of life. And so it's life and hybrid life. It is a four link. Um, so I can put a bunch of my items in here, which is not bad. And I can put decks on it. It doesn't really have as many stats as I as I kind of want. It does give me lightning damage on hit, which is not the worst. It has suffixes. Life gain per hit. So it's not the worst item, but it's very far from the best. So it's 19. I gotta hope I get something good. 16. Is that gonna kill me? Uh-oh. 94. Okay, we're good. What does this need? That's 69. All right, perfect. So now I can put the flame golem, and I can put the lightning golem, and I can put the ice golem. And replace this entirely and now because i did that i can also get a gem called uh she's not here um elemental army which is in act one i think an elemental army gives them more elemental resistance but it also causes the each golem to cause exposure which reduces the enemy's uh resistance against uh yes. the element of ch be, uh, choice so we go for army army that's oh, not here shoot where do you get elemental army um, PUE Elemental Army. Elemental Army comes from, uh, Siosa. Crap. While we live, we are blessed. How much do I buy this for? Be bought from NPC vendors for how much? Vendor. Doesn't tell me. Good. Um, fuck. Alright. I guess I have to go figure that out later. Is that not really not on the wiki? Nope. It's not. Hello, buddy. Okay, so it is Elemental Army Support takes one Orb of Chance. Cool. With care, friend. So we get an Orb of Chance. And come back. Alright. <sighs> Video games. In we go. <laughs> so close. So close. Beast. Viprogen, that's fine. All res. Neosome Ophidians? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's the corpse thingies. No, we'll get we'll get these. Yeah, we'll get these. Yeah, so I need an orb of chance now. It's not also, I need to summon my golems. Summon nightmare. the golems. Yeah, that was interesting. Well, you know. I got, like, a minor upgrade on some of my gear. Which, I mean, minor upgrades and upgrades, so I, I'm not going to complain that much. Um... How long I actually want to try to use Thief's Torment for? I probably might replace that sooner rather than later. Explodes. Gives an extra ball gem. Cool. Conversion trap. Yeah, I'm gonna complain a little bit. Man, we're we're zooming. By zooming, I mean I'm slowly attacking Scarlet Prowler, the Storm Eye. Yeah, it's these things. Brutal Chew. That's what I didn't want to be enchanted. Although apparently it is soldier haunted, somehow. It's not supposed to be enchanted, but it is. It is lightning and shock resistant, which I guess is fine. New Shield Aura, lightning damage and exposure, lightning and shock resistant. Anyway, reducing monsters' resistances into the negatives increases the amount of damage that they take. Um, so that's why I want to make sure I'm doing that. Fire Night resistant jerk. So the character is like pretty tanky, and I don't think I can really die. I'm definitely not going as fast as I possibly might like to be. You know what? I should maybe go see if I can craft a helmet. Something that's just like 
life and resist maybe using the guy okay strongest monster of the pack 25 percent weapons have a chance to be converted to an orb of regret okay easy solve let's put these up here that's great there's so many monsters in this next area but that's fantastic the most common monsters are gonna drop me orbs of regret i have so many regrets oh look at that beautiful Ugh. And it's funny, I'm not actually scaling the golem damage, but the golems will deal just a fair number uh, by virtue of the fact that I reduce enemy elemental resistances and they deal elemental damage. Kind of funny. Bow knife, blood singer. Spooky. Let's get out of here. I don't know what the best base is for a wand. So let's figure that out. Okay, we got a Lunara Circular. I'm just checking all the helmets because I don't really need the sockets in my helmet right now. I'm in kind of like a very peaceful zone. Starting to do my sockets on the helmet. I don't know what my next golem is going to be, because I do get one more um, in Act 7. And I don't know which one I want to run. I have a lot of different options when it comes to running another golem. Stone golem gives more re uh, regeneration, which is nice. Chaos golem just gives straight up more flat uh, damage reduction, which is also pretty nice. Um, think it over. I don't know which one's better. Plus, like an extra 100% golem effect as well. Be happy for me, sister. Maybe it's, it's the chaos golem. We get to erase I'll have a lot of regen. <laughs> really hoping we'd uh, dash through that. Also, I like that my golems get, like, straight up murdered by all this stuff, but it's okay because Heidi, um, just, or they, they resummon themselves. I don't really care about that. I'm not attacking Heidi. Apparently, I'm not attacking Heidi. Our mistakes can be our greatest achievements. That's Thank you. It. Yeah, any more damage. Stone's better. I am more early. Chaos better later. Yeah. The other problem, too, is... The benefit of Chaos is it's intelligence-based exclusively. And intelligence is also kind of good. It seems I've underestimated part Because I don't really have a lot of the other good. stats. Like, I probably will get strength later. Um, maybe. I just go into crit. The other problem, too, is actually getting defenses. I don't... I, I might go armor. I might go evasion. I might just run grace. And then get something like... The chest piece that I have reduces fizz by 40 and just, just go grace with this cloak of flame. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I'm just currently using the cloak of flame because I have it. It's not necessarily like the be all end all, but just on my mind. Breaking news. Oh, yeah. Hold on to your horses. Yeah. Costco officially rolling out major rotisserie chicken change gorgeous. and shoppers are Slice divided. Away, now I can't tell which one is biggest by seeing which bird touches the top of the container, a shopper commented. This, is this actually a problem? Is this, is this a thing? Serious question. I don't buy rotisserie chicken at Costco because I don't shop at Costco. Not because I don't like Costco. But I don't have a Costco membership, and it's also pretty far away. I'm glad I, won't be seeing any more I don't know if that's a serious problem that people have. Dexterity. Oh my god. It's in bags? They don't put it in the container? Why don't they put it in a container? You just buy it in like a bag? Where do the juices go? Do they just go in the bag? Is it just soaking? I don't know. When I imagine a bag, I imagine that like a, like a bag you buy a fish in. Like a big bag full of water. And like that's where the chicken goes. Free juice bag. I mean, I guess, yeah, you just cut a hole in the corner and just, like, slurp it down. The ritual is really nice. Yeah, it was cool. It was just cool to see earlier. We 
weird. There's any pictures out there of that. Oh, do we witches have to have some the meat that would sell you packages like shredded chicken. So handy for the salad or wrap. Oh yeah, man, make yeah, that makes total sense. Like just taking the chicken and sell it as like a shredded chicken container as like its own thing. That makes perfect and total sense to me. Shotgun the chicken juice bag. Oh god, please don't shotgun the chicken juice bag. Actually, I don't think you can shotgun the bag, but whatever. I guess you can shotgun anything. My imagination's too small. Make gravy with the dri drippings? Yeah, or you shotgun them. Which we were just discussing. The validity of. chicken juice bags in the parking lot oh my god it's the chaser to the cheap hot dogs honestly not a bad idea gravy I don't know dude I'd do both I haven't bought a rotisserie chicken in quite a long time Apparently the last time I did it it's just not something I do very often it's a great idea. But yeah, you eat the chicken and then you use your I leftovers. You can make like wraps or whatever. My girlfriend does that all the time. I just, I don't. Together. Will you go to bed now, little girl? Or do I need to tuck you in? After dinner dessert? No, is to shotgun the Costco chicken? I'm learning so much. Don't hit me with your attack, jerk. I don't know if he actually kills my guys. But what? There is always the Costco churros. Mm, yeah, we don't have Costco churros here, unfortunately. Eh, there's no Costco churros. I could go for a churro, though. See within minutes. Mm -hmm. now, hey, see if you truly understand excuse me, sir. We appreciate that you purchased our uh, chicken, our rotisserie chickens. But can you please not slurp the juices so loudly in the line in front of the children? Accept the gift of immortality. Just out there, freaking, just like drinking it to be like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the stuff that hits the spot. Mm, chicken juice. Accept the gift of immortality. Yep. Loud, loudly belching, absolutely. That's how you know. That's how you know compliments the chef, you know. Every chef knows that if you have a loud belch after a meal, that just means you really liked it, so... Well, it is. It's a sign of respect, okay? A lot of people wouldn't know respect, especially a lot of young people nowadays. You young people in the chat, you don't understand respect if it smacked you right in that chicken juice. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. It's just all respect. These are gloves. These are gloves. And we're done. Let's go. Rude chicken drippings gargling. Take that to Sam's Club. Yeah, we don't have that. We only have uh, we only have Costco. I'm not familiar oh, with the no, Sam's Club. You were so frightened of death. Uh, that has decks on it and life. I wish I could use it. Rip. Goodbye. Not good. Oh well. Too bad. You tried. You wish. Oh. oh no. You will be remembered. You will be remembered. Walmart doing their own Costco. And why is it called Sam's Club? Oh, shoot. I got a thing. Um, Orb of Chance. This with a thick Boston accent. Sam Walton. Walmart was founded by Sam. Dude, I don't know who founded Walmart. That's not important real information. How does that have to do with the fact that there's everyday low prices? Guy's resurrecting himself from the grave to come lower the prices? I don't think so. My knowledge. 
Remember, life is precious. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I, 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 I made the connection. It's not something that's really relevant to me. I, our hopes you sell. Are with you. No, go away. Get out of the way, tigers. What do you sell? Um, uh, yeah. Bone chill? I mean, bone chill's kind of good. I don't need any of these. That's fine. Live. Yeah, like I said, we don't we don't have a Sam's Club here. It's just Costco. Costco's good enough. You don't really need more than that. Time to return to Oriath with a vengeance. Time to return to Oriath with a vengeance. Hell yeah. I don't know if there was a thing on the door. I didn't look at it. It's getting more devastating. Thirty to all resistances. Oh good. The like time where I need to. Swap to physical damage. Pure fizz. It's the reason why the like the wander explosion build is so good. Is because bleeding is like non-resistible. Monsters take full damage from bleeding all the time, and they take extra if they're moving. You just run around and bleed everything, and it's so powerful. It's insane. Salami emote. I don't know. Man, you're the emote uh, arbiter. Got control of the emotes. Get them. No BJs. I don't know what BJ is. That like a, that like a reference, like Benedict something. I was gonna say Benedict Arnold. That doesn't seem right. Remove one flask when slain. All right, slaves. Sorry, dude. You guys are getting slain. Mind they took it down? Was it... Did they take it down because it broke their rules? Because if they took it down because it broke the rules, we can keep that out of the chat. I don't need anything that's like borderline rule-breaking rule here. All right. What have you got? I think I'm like probably running full on some of this stuff. Oh, somebody went into Acton's Nightmare. That's a cool, cool place. Something I would upload? Got it. And in emotes, Cruiser's a name you can trust. So if you wouldn't upload it, neither would I. I think that's good. I think we're all set. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to sprint through the rest of this like entire area because I'm just zooming now. Brain's kind of a little bit on autopilot. It's working well. Oh, that was a new voice line. It was a completely different voice. Like literally a different voice actor. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know why that happened. One-shotting? I don't know. Are you over-leveled for the areas? Also, I thought you were playing summons. So shouldn't you have, like, summon raging spirits? Should just be summon raging spirits on people? Or zombies or something? Did I look at this? I don't remember. Nope, I didn't. I, like, don't even see it. It's invisible. I just click on the doors, man. They're, they got zombos. They're just way weaker than I remember. Um, maybe. If you played on, like, the Gauntlet League, the Gauntlet was insane and was super hard. So for me, going to it, I was like, oh my god, it's so much easier compared to the Gauntlet. So that was, like, the last big Path of Exile thing that I did. Although I don't know if you played the gauntlet. I think you skipped it. Something something about it being like unfun. Which like fair. Fair call. Fair assessment. It was not very fun. Um like it was fun on some level, because there was like a level of challenge to it. 
But God, dying and thinking about how much further I'd have to go just to get back? Ugh. Ugh. Is that the same voice actress? I feel like that's a different person. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do have the McRib. True. That's a good emote. That's a classic emote right there. That's a old school Shrim Tom emote. The McRib. You guys remember when the McRib was a product you could buy for money for some reason? What a time to be alive. An emote for tumbling. I mean, it does kind of work. Arnold wand. Ooh, that might add damage. Perfect for my collection. I think it's just because they use a better like encoder or something, so it just sounds cleaner. Like it just sounds a lot better. The microphone was better for the recording. Gotcha. Get out of here, Crusader helmet. Give me your helmet. Ooh, another level up. Gem levels. That's a damage upgrade. Every gem level is so impactful for this build. Uh, strongest monster in pack gets 800 rarity, and this gets 400 rarity? Oh my god. That's so much rarity. Okay, I gotta kill all of these guys. Oh, look at the rarity. Alright, and I'm gonna get nothing. But I'm gonna go kill all of them. I'm just gonna full clear this whole zone. Uh, These that'll be good. Have no idea their time is almost up. Uh, lightning damage to attacks, lightning damage, enemy hit, enemy killed, no bonuses. Cool. I don't know at what point my lack of health is gonna cause a problem for me, but so far it hasn't been too bad. A lot of hit points, but it seems to be doing okay. Probably gonna become an issue later, but I don't know when. Lightning storm, die. Maybe I get stunned by one of these guys and I get like instantly killed, probably. Apparently there's a thing where like if you come if you uh kill a lot of monsters, then it rolls over to the next area. So um, this effect where it's like beneficial for me, it's if I kill all the monsters, it'll roll over the next one, so I'll still have another beneficial effect when I go there. That's 100% true, but. What they said, have you got for me today? What Exile. have you got for me? Here we go. Creep. I'm gonna clear this whole area as I can. God, I cannot wait until I get the your attacks cannot be blocked stuff. These stupid assholes blocking every single attack is so frustrating. Uh, any guys with shields that can block you, and some of the monsters have insane block chance, so just getting that node, in my opinion, on any attacking character is just like, it's so valuable, man. Nintendo, you told me that it's true? True. You gotta feel for the kid whose uncle did work at Nintendo. I was like, no, dude, my uncle works at Nintendo. And like, ah, this guy thinks his uncle works at Nintendo. Let's make fun of him. Lamau, what a loser. He's like crying alone in the bathroom. Like, no, oh, my dad, my uncle does work at Nintendo. Although, as much as I would like to think about that being a possibility. Uh, it's not that would never actually be the case as somebody who uh, was a child myself if somebody said their uncle worked in nintendo i was like whoa that's cool so yeah i don't think they would get bullied for having their uncle working at nintendo oh man i took the hundred thousand hours that it took to beat um super smash bros the first super smash bros game using luigi because he was like the worst character in smash one on the very hard with one stock beat the campaign or whatever, like the story thing. And I remember doing that because if you do that, you unlock Charizard. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. I can't wait to unlock Charizard, dude. 
Yeah, man, I can't wait to unlock Charizard. I'm gonna share with you guys a little secret. I did not unlock Charizard. It's sad, I know, but as it turns out, Charizard wasn't even in the game. I was very upset about that fact. In the truck with the Mew? True. Yeah. I beat it and there was just nothing. I just had like the thousands of resets behind me to stare at me in the face after how many times I played over and over Super Smash. The Raging Spirit, good game again? Hell yeah. Probably didn't unlock it right. Honestly, true. I should go back and try again. See what you got? No. You got a five link. Ooh, in a heist. And I always keep my promises. Okay, so I, I have a flame thing. So I can just dump this over here. Oh, it's too low level, so I can't use it anymore. Pax word greatly increased experience. This is untainted. Okay, so it's an untainted devourer. So temple adjudicators are annoying. So I can replace these, these assholes with... Uh, oh, no, I can put this here. Oh, these guys are the proximity shield guys. So I just do this. No more proximity shields. Cool. It's done. It's sick, dude. Good luck. Hopefully you pull it out. I have devourers. I don't know where they are, but apparently they give huge XP. Huge. Honestly, just the fact that I can get rid of monsters with proximity shields is amazing. I hate proximity shields. It's so annoying. Right, as a ranged character, I have to be in melee. This guy has blocks attacks? Ugh. 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 Using the lead mechanic? I know, I'm so proud of me. There they are. Get them. Get them. Give me the XP. Yeah. You're muttering essence of sorrow, suckers. They did Oriath so good. The music is great here. He's eventually gonna die. I don't know where he is, but he's gonna die eventually. There we go. Give me your essences, jerk. Hey, do thing. When does it actually do the thing, or is the thing that we just get stronger minions? I don't know what you mean by do the thing, but have you noticed? Did you talk? Did you, like, meet the NPC the first time and get the lantern on the beach? Freezer? If you didn't get the lantern on the beach, then you can't do the lead mechanic. Yeah, so then when you get to a door, every door you go to will have a thing on it where you can rearrange the effects. Um... And if you kill enough monsters of an effect, it basically upgrades and then goes to the next one. So you do a tier one by killing enough monsters, it turns into a tier two on the next zone. And if you do the tier two, it turns into a tier three. And you basically upgrade them to get the positive effects. So they like last into your, your newer maps. So for example, I was doing the lead mechanic in clearing areas, and then I got the option for a nameless seer. I killed the nameless seer. Um, and he gave me the cloak of flame. Which is an insane leveling unique. Yeah, the Roman numerals, correct. They count. Count up. So like here, for example, I have three all res, so I have to kill the Templar Justiciers, uh, or no, Justicars, and I've got um, these stupid assholes and this guy. And so these are just regular guys, so I just kill them and I get it. Something's here. Something different. Jungle Valley. It's from Jungle Valley already. More damage. Go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Great helmet. Good helmet. I don't have any chaos res. This is something I'm going to have to solve in the future. I 
Yeah, my monsters are hexproof. I can still hit them, which is nice. Just don't get hit. Hmm. Yeah, I've tried that before. It does not work well for me. I'm more of a get hit sort of guy. Ooh, nice. Level up. Which means attack speed. We're working our way towards an extra projectile. When I get three projectiles, it's going to just really help me to clear. I'm going to be going, like, literally increasing my, my clear speed through big packs of monsters by 50%. Especially because the explosions can shotgun. So if I hit three different monsters and then all the explosions happen next to each other, that'll be really nice. Stop healing, jerks. Yes, yeah, so this character will be cool when I actually get all the pieces. This is also going to be the second league in a row where I've started with a one character, which is a such a big red flag. I don't even understand. I don't know why I do this to myself. I inflict so much direct pain straight to my frontal lobe. Uh, what is this? I gotta check some stuff. I'm uh, doing some things tomorrow, and I want to make sure our, all the meeting plans and everything else is all going well. Because um, if I don't do that, then what happens is I show up to somewhere, and uh, no one's there. And I go, what happened? And I didn't read any emails. About Balatro? In your dad arc? Is that a dad thing to do, is to buy Balatro? Shit, man. And I guess I know a lot of people in their dad arc. If that's like the thing to do. But it's not poker. Are you sure? I feel like that's like the gen D way to experience poker. Because they didn't have poker nights. Because they don't have any strong social connections or bonds. They never did poker nights. What's the difference between a rogue light and a rogue light? Like a rogue light and a rogue light. I actually don't know the difference, and I'm too, too too afraid to ask. Die, everybody! Die. I shall attend to the Honestly, probably that's probably the case. Oh boy, it's time time. Oh my god, what's up, Mr. Lich? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the resub of 29 months. Uh, how are you doing on this good Friday in the old city of Chicago? Everything's going well for you. Hopefully you're having a good day. I've been, you know, keeping up with the, the storyline that you've been posting. Um, what you should do after all this is done is... Not all this is done, but, you know... Uh, make sure to keep all these photos so you can throw them not so much into like a book, like a scrapbook or something, but like a real book. You should go write a story about your adventures and, uh, and then just, you know, self-titled and you're all set. Doing good? Nice. With Rogue, but that's changed, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. Really, I generally have permadeath when they would say Rogue lights are less strict. Okay, interesting. Because like I said, at PAX East, literally every single game was a action roguelike. It's like literally described every game. It was like, oh, what's this game? Well, it's like an action roguelike and it does something. I heard about a bunch about it. Well, you just seem really passionate, you know? And sharing your thoughts and opinions is a good idea. Or maybe a blog. spam the answer that's the magic of twitch right is you get but everybody's answer is not necessarily exactly the same it says rogue like is anything like rogue anymore yeah it's probably true as well this guy out of range of my thing 
What a jerk. Yeah, it's a good idea. Stop spamming his Discord? I didn't say that. I mean, it is funny. As I said, the original point of the Stream Picks channel was for when I went on vacation for me to post pictures in places, because I just don't really use Instagram or anything. Because, I don't know, I'm bad at being a millennial, I guess. I just never, I've never really found an affinity for that. And so, uh, having... Then it turned into people posting their own pictures. Now it's just a place where people post pictures. It's whatever. It's matter to me. You thir need 30 less cool versions of Hades? Unironically, that's what I did when I was at PAX on mul to multiple people. I was like, okay, so your game is like, how else is your game is like, where's Hades? Okay, like, what, what's going on? Um, which, like, you feel kind of bad about, but also, like, look, man, don't bring your game to, to a big expansion or, uh, you know, the big expo if you don't want people to be critical and ask questions of it, especially if your game sucks ass. Like, Oh, but no, but it's just a prototype. It's an alpha. Look, man, when I played Cat Dark Souls, which is called Crystalla, which I will be getting beta keys for, so I'll be able to give them away to you guys if you want to try it out, because I'm going to be getting a beta key myself, and I'll be able to stream it. Uh, Crystalla, Cat Dark Souls, very cool video game. Um, you knew it right away. You like, you pick it up and you play it, and you're like, oh, this is like Dark Souls, but it's it clearly does its own thing. Like, the fact that you can, like, wall climb and jump and all this stuff, it's got, like, you know, you're kind of Assassin's Creed-esque mechanics, but with, like, real combat system. It's like, oh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right away, it hits the brain stem, and you're like, oh, I got this. But there were so many games where, like, okay, it just looks like worse Hades. <laughs> kind of funny. You got related games, first, offended by the current games market? I mean, yeah, why not? That's what you gotta do, man. I said, I just played Path of Exile and call it a day. Uh, I don't need fire, so cold and lightning sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I had to put that there, eh? Um, yeah, crit flask you is probably pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'll take a Viridian Jewel. Sell some garbage, dude. Okay, what's this? This is trash. Shite. Garbage. Feces. Awful. Garbage. 90% increased fizz. Like, fizz, fizz attack speed? Bro, oh my god, if I was playing a physical wander, what is happening? This makes me upset how good this item is for leveling. It's, like, upsetting. But I can't use it because my stupid, dumb attack can't use any of those stats because of the way it's designed. Which I thought would be a good thing because I've never found good physical wander stuff. Anyway, it's fine. All right. Um, what are you buying? There we go. Put that there. This is going to be a public tab for stuff. Exact price. Give me like two chaos. I don't want to stop to trade anybody for anything other than two chaos. Problem solved. Maybe somebody will want to buy that. You know, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, this is garbage. Gain a chance to get a flash charge when you deal a critical strike. It's kind of cool. Dark Souls clone. And then complain about being called a Dark Souls clone? I mean, basically, yeah. That's that's the the way to think about it. It's like if you're gonna make something derivative, be aware you're playing something you're making something derivative. What in damnation have you done? Alright. Damage, hinder, strongest punch in the pack. Uh it's all fine. Gibson is the bottle in Dr. Mario. Someone's redecorated. I like it. It's what keeps us on the ground, man. Someone dropping pills. Look, man, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm killing bastards. Insurance company? No, we don't need an insurance company. Get out of here. Why would you even want to play that? Why, like, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to play pretend. We're going to play house. And someone's like, okay, I'm going to play like mom. Okay, I'm going to play dad. Someone's like, okay, I'm going to play the auditor. What the fuck is that about? And you know, there were those kids. 
Oh yeah, it's like I'll, you know, I'll play the door-to-door -door person who wants to sell you a vacuum or sell you a knife kit, or the or the or the the water purifiers or like fucking whatever shit people would do. Like why? I mean, yeah, true. Excuse me, we did a notary here right now. Thank you very much. Why is this guy in the corner? What are you doing, buddy? Am I healing through this? Yeah, I am. Nice. Smash, smash, smash. He's dead. Chaos Orb! Whoa, dude! Rich. Uh -huh. Whoa. Yeah, there's always kids, some kid like that who would uh, be the boring one. Kind of like, I think the adult version of that kind of is when like, you're like sitting at a table and somebody wants to play like devil's advocate for like a circumstance. Like you know, there's like those people that are always like the devil's advocate people where they're like, well, you know, devil's advocate here. And they like always want to play, like, play the other side because I guess maybe they find it interesting or they'd want to be a contrarian. But like not in situations where it can be warranted where like either there's a one-sided discussion or clearly everybody shares the same viewpoint or something. But when it's like, you know, something that's either like super obvious or like very, very black and white. And you're like, just shut up. You're not interesting. You're not intellectual. Go away. Go home. No one wants to talk to you. I don't even know why we invited you. You go cook dinner. I have spreadsheets to build. 200% increased quantity of items. Bro, let's go. That's sick. I'll take triple items. Huge fan. I'm almost there. One more level. We're almost there. 47 and 44, because I'm doing all the activities. Let's go! Cool. Oh god, they buffed up soul leaders. I forgot. He's dead. Nice. They buffed up soul... They're, they changed how soul leaders work, but they also give them a maximum stack size of the number of souls, and their souls cool down as well. Um, so, if you have a soul eater, if you leave it for like a minute, all the souls that are inside of it go away, which is so convenient. Um, that was such a huge problem back in the day. By back in the day, I mean literally before today. Oh, it's a oh right stop! One. Damn it! Ah. Also, very. No, go away. No, no. I could raise an endless legion from these bones. Pity. Uh, global accuracy and fizz is gold. Whatever. Huge headhunter nerf? Yeah, it's fine. Now you can get the scarab where every monster is magical, so you just use replica headhunter, which is way cheaper. And it's even better. I don't know how expensive. Those are the horned scarabs, which are like the uber scarabs. How do you get the uber scarabs? I don't I don't know. I didn't like watch a thing. I'm pretty sure it was like in the Ziz interview that he did, but I didn't. I don't. I don't know how you get the Uber Scarabs. I was paying zero attention. I kind of had it on the background a little bit while I was doing some like other video editing and stuff. I definitely do want to get to level cap and start screwing around with some of the cool Scarabs. The new toys for. Atlas progression. I also haven't really looked at the Atlas at all, like the um, skill tree. I'm very curious to see how it is. I'm gonna have to run a lot of acid caverns. The more I want it. Wait, my character wants divinity now? Interesting. She wants to be like a god of death. I mean, you can't blame somebody for wanting or for lusting after insane power. I mean, you gotta think about it. When you're fighting in the realm of the gods already, where you're tearing the gods asunder, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want a little bit of that, you know? Just a, just a small taste. Man, just a small taste. Oh, my wisps. I'm honestly not sure if the wisps are even very good. Maybe they are. I don't know. Unlimited power! 
Yeah, I, my character definitely has limited power. I mean, to be fair, like, especially the power level of a Path of Exile character, the speed at which you go through and murder stuff, man, does it feel powerful. When you go back to, like, an earlier area of the game and you're just decimating stuff in seconds, the world just falls beneath your... falls uh, apart beneath your feet. Probably could have picked it up, but I did not. Reliquary, what do we got? Overwhelm physical and fizz as cold. Uh, that's both fine. I like that they show you the monsters, like ghosts, constructs, charges aggressively towards targets. It's kind of cool. Where you can actually see, like, the stats that the monsters have. I also really like those pictures. Like, where they have, like, the model zoomed in. That it's very stylized. I hope that uh, the wiki grabs all of these things and like puts a proper bestiary together. Um, that's that's cool. I mean, it'd be neat if we just had a bestiary in game. I mean, there literally is a place called the bestiary that does not give you that information. Einhard's bestiary, which is very funny actually. Now that I think about it. Almost there. Nice. And go in and done. Nice. Attacks fire additional projectile. Three projectiles, baby. Look at the attacks. Look at the projectiles. Oh. It does make me wish I had uh, the assassin's mark on hit, or mark on hit with assassin's mark, but we'll get there. Which means it's easier for me to hit, so it's like harder to miss when I'm just like firing my attack randomly in a direction, which is convenient, but also... Um, it's uh, the pack clearing, because I can just whip this into a pack of monsters, and the AOE is really nice. Grab this. I also love when you aim close to yourself and the, the projectiles just go, like, random directions. It's always funny to me. Okay, 143 decks. This is 106, so we're okay. Leveled up my skills, so it's more damages. By Death Skull. Yeah, I really gotta go craft some stuff. Maybe I will craft a one. I want, like, no physical modifiers, basically. No one. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I got the... Uh, oh, no, never mind. That's actually a new one. Uh, gold worm or whatever. 10% quantity boots. Something to think about leveling with. It's not a bad option. Move speed on here? And move speed. On the Rhine King map? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I think you can for, like, the other act bosses. Maybe it's because of the way you go... Th I think it's because you, you can't do it because you have to talk to what's-his-name to get there. There's no way to get the UI because you don't you don't have to, like, click on a door. You click on um, the guy next to it. Also, I don't know what's causing my game to lag out, but something's not working. Hello, Valico's jaw. Good. I guess I, I'm pretty close. I can get an extra curse if I really want to. Oh, there's a delirium mirror the whole time. Whoops. Didn't see that. Whoops. Usually the delirium mirror is like right outside. Oh, maybe it's because they expect people to go down here and then clear the other way around. But yeah, I don't, I don't do that. Okay, and now we get can't, attacks can't be blocked, and I'll be so happy. Oh, and then I'm going to start picking up life everywhere because I have none. <laughs> My health is so low. Hey, what's up, bud? Give me this. Okay, attacks cannot be blocked. And then I'm going to go uh, life, life, life. And then I'm going to come over here and grab life, strength, and life. And that'll be really, really, really nice. Um... <laughs> I do like the idea of getting dex and then grabbing this stuff, but I don't need the fizz or the chaos. I just want the dexterity, man. Or else I'm getting dexterity. Does this give strength? No, does this give anything? Uh, where's dexterity? It's here, trickery, and here. This is really good. This is a good area to be in, but I just don't need any of this. That's the main problem. Unless I like did come down here for this. So I like came down, uh, came into here, cold-hearted calculation, came over here, grab the crit, grab this, go down through here. 
God, I hope that... <laughs> I Or I hate that I have to listen to that all the time. Very annoying. Clear speed. Beautiful clear speed. Can't block me. Full damage, everybody. Suck it. Nerds. And then also when the wisps are going off, you get like just the waves of attacks. I don't think it charges you when the wisps attack. No, it doesn't. The wisps attack for free. Cool. 20 all res. Alright. Probably fine. And I have one, two, three, six mana. So close to one, two, three, four. I don't know how to or health. I don't know how to drop two health. Because losing one point is probably too many. Because of the how many increased percentage health I have. Which I don't really have a lot of percentage health. Maybe it's not that bad. Gotta say, big fan of the extra clear speed now. That one extra projectile is actually crazy how impactful it was. One of the reasons why I generally like wand characters, I don't have to get like a skill gem for projectiles. Uh, you just get the extra projectiles already. Obviously, if you're doing like crazy clear, where you want to be ever having any chaining, that's where you want to go like a, a dead eye or something. But here, it's not too bad. I should have enough defenses that I'll, I'll need some cold res, but everything else is good. Let me devour your heart. Aggressive lady. Holy moly. Don't slam me, bro. Oh, oh. I have to mention the best, the boss fights in the majority of Path of Exile 2 are going to be very, very, very cool. Because, like, these bo this boss fight's not even that bad. Like, this is a pretty cool boss fight in general. So I have to imagine, like, the, the different boss fights they end up coming up with for Path of Exile 2 are probably going to be pretty good. Especially since they have, like, the new dodge roll or whatever. Die, champion of the feast. Get out of here. Okay. Quickly, shit this week sucked. Yeah, I can imagine. Especially if you just finished with work at 8 o'clock on a Friday. Time to order yourself some pizza Friday and stay up all night playing video games that you kind of enjoy playing sometimes, but not all the time. Dun, 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 dun. That happens to me. There's definitely games I enjoy playing a lot of the time, but not all of the time. Sometimes you gotta be in the right mood for it, you know? A whip. Lumber at me, jerk. It's over. Kitava's dead. We've won. This time. But he'll be back. Get ready for Kitava 2. In like... Five hours. Ugh. How's the ladder going? Number one the is not Havoc. Is Havoc is number four. Interesting. Who, who is number one? Deadeye, then Guardian. Interesting. Shocked that a Guardian is number two. I've never had to pay the price for my ambitions. An occultist and then a but bunch of Deadeyes. I can't believe all these people didn't start Wand. 
Wanda is so depressing. It's just worse than pretty much every other style. Every time I always want to play a Wander, I have to wrestle with the fact that Wand is just a worse playstyle than just all the other playstyles. All the other playstyles just end up being better. There are some scenarios where Wand can be pretty good, and that's where you're using Wand as a factor to do something that isn't Wand related. Like the whole corrupting fever thing. I was so arrogant when I first awoke here. I had so much to learn. That's right, you did have a lot to learn. You did. You learned many things. Nico, hello. Probably do some of the mine, considering how good this character should be at it, but we'll see. I don't want to run any of the heralds. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I won't run any of the heralds. So I'm currently running some of them, but I'm, I'm just getting the sneaky feeling that it's not a good idea. But to be able to buy every gem in the game, though, which is a level of convenience unmatched by anything I've ever done in my life. I just run like Tempest Shield or something for defense. Spell block. I'm trying to think of things that give me like easy free damage, but I'm kind of blank in here. I need to get that, uh, the necklace, Hyeres or whatever, that gives like 100 dexterity um, and also precision level 30. That's what I need. Oh god, gray spun. Why is there a red beast here? It's kind of bizarre. Oh well. Hey, what's up, find another? Yeah, he just like shows up. He's like, there's no more beasts. Yeah, no, there was one guy. Killed it together. Uh, three monsters remain. Hello, Nico. Three monsters remain. Okay. Is this a monster? Two monsters remain. I down here. I didn't check. If I was two zombies, where would I be shambling about? Probably in this area that I didn't clear. Hey, yowza. Now, I can buy any gem in the game, which is very convenient because I can start to actually customize my experience heavily and really start to just be like, oh, I think I need this and then grab it. While you be While you've been skulking about. Alright, so now I can do anything I want. So if I had more colors, like if I had um plus one of minion gems, actually not even that bad. I just and the cold res is actually not even that bad. Um if I can put like life on this, the prefix, and strength, which I can't get life and strength. I hate video games, I hate everything. I really need to get rid of this. I think that the um, the Thief's Torment is something I can't, I just can't afford to use because I need too many extra stats. I need like base stats. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get some new rings to replace the Thief's Torment. Just, I don't even need Fire Res, which is the best part. Uh, Fire Res is completely irrelevant here. So I can replace this and then just get like cold and lightning resistance to replace it. So get like two dual rings and then some other stuff and the life and man on hit. I mean, it's nice, but I can get around with it without it. Um, that's like a later problem. Got a gold rim. Gold rim? No, I don't have gold rim. I got a gold worm. I can't use it, but I have it. I need sockets. God, there's. Is there a way to turn that off? I turn that shit off. Sound. Hopefully, I can learn from my mistakes nope. this time. Well. Damn it. I don't want this spooky heist monster in my ear. And if I wanted that ASMR, I'd have, I'd have paid for it on Twitch. Gold Wyrm? Yeah, yeah, I have, I, I have Gold Wyrm. Do you want it? I don't want it. It's useless to me. I'm like way over capped on fire resistance, as is. I have no, it, it has no purpose. 
Okay, so I don't think they've added anything in any of the later acts, but just in case, I'm gonna go check Tidal Island and see what we've got. Because I don't think they added anything, but um, it was only like Act 1 and 2 where they had anything that was even mildly different. And I gotta go this way, because the Delirium Mirror is on this side. I have to do something. Um, I'm gonna do this. This. No, one of these. No, one of these. Feel compelled to stride beneath the waves? Perhaps you should. I don't feel compelled to stride beneath the waves. Under the sea. Is this guy telling me to do something very, un very bad? Is he saying, go drown myself? Jeez, dude, that's rude. You can't say that on Twitch. I mean, the, ho the whole point is it's like a hallucinogenic monster that's trying to get at you and get under your skin. So, you know, makes sense, but... I wish Breath of Exile had hot swapping. I would definitely play this game on controller more if it had hot swapping. Hot swapping, for those that don't know, what I'm talking about is when you can, like, use a control, like, swap between controller and, um, mouse and keyboard on the fly. You can't do that yet in Path of Exile. I hope they do add that in. One of the reasons why I'd want a feature like that is because in the game, uh, one of the things that's kind of annoying is that, um, or, like, the controller play feels really good, but Path of Exile's inventory is, like, a lot, a lot to deal with, and so being able to swap whenever you want to would be nice. Oh, he's saying boo round, not dr not dr round. I gotcha. They're saying boo earns, boo earns. Uh, did I get anything good? Earns a jewel with nothing. Nice, dude. What flats? Two hundred percent crit. What a deal. You. Monsters in here generally hit pretty hard. So you gotta be careful about this one. Try to only add like a few attacks and then start keep moving, but when they've got life regen, you kinda gotta like cook them the whole way down, unfortunately. Jeweler's Orb, though. Thank you. Another benefit of um, Herald of Thunder is that it just randomly breaks barrels and stuff, and you get a couple extra pieces of gear, which I appreciate. Uh, life. Oh, I can't go there. Like glow the mini the mini feels? Yeah. It does. It does kind of feel like that. Uh the old mini glow. Minstrels are so strong, I love it. They're like the best DPS class, and so you have like two or three in every raid group. And it's bed the best if you have like dwarves and you hear like all the shouting and stuff all the time. Weird time to be alive. Minstrel best DPS class. You know, it's just weird. And the card of curse cleansing. Another? How many have you pulled? I have a shocking quantity, but I've never pulled one. That's crazy. There's a lot of people out there that probably want their items cleansed. Another unique war staff. That's good. What did I get? Oh, it's this thing. The uh, realm shaper. Socketed fire and cold gems and cold to fire and all the extra damage. I don't know what to do with that. Regular elemental hit? With avatar of fire? Nope. That's not what I wanted. My hand slipped, I, I doubled cursed all my gear. Oopsies. Yeah, basically. 
Percent chance to freeze. Cool. All damage can freeze. No problem. I don't have to worry about that. One of the many things I love about being freeze immune. Yeah, there was there was a method, uh, or like rather, it is possible that somebody might have had uh, a second curse on their piece of equipment that I know of, that I can believe. Um, but it still involves, like, at the end of the day, it still involved taking an item that had a curse on it and cursing it. So like. Again, you just have to be like that guy in the forums who was like, well, you know, a friend of mine implied that it was actually, like, intended by the developers. Like, bro, we need that type of leap in logic here. It's all good. You can just you can just say, I really wanted to do it, and I got excited, and I got carried away. Can you please fix my items? Just gotta ask. Just gotta beg. You know, just be like, can you please fix it? Please. Also, I, I also find it funny that people who are like, uh, dude, it's like they'll, you know, they'll leave this horrible bug in the game for months, but then they'll find this one thing and they'll fix it in the next patch. And it's like, yeah, because the horrible bugs, they don't know how they work because it'll be like, oh, somebody's like a thing happened and they have to like chase it down, try to figure out exactly how to do it. Whereas these things where it's like, oh, we're like adding extra curse to the items. There's like a step-by-step -step guide on a website on exactly how to do it. So they just follow the steps and find all the problems. Six. Pack spawns a meteor on death. Noble haunted. Okay. That's kind of cool. 30 fizz. Dirt scribblers. Let's see how it goes. I have a tier six on this one. Will it matter? I don't know. I still have to go craft some crap. There's the meteor. Go away, meteors. Ah, oh, meteors. Come down. What? What spawns the meteors anyway? Oh, it's the those guys. Little tail flippy dippy flippies. Ooh, the sulfur flask. Honestly, that's a pretty good flask. I should probably use that. But yeah. I, uh, we're still looking at things to do. I need to give away these DDO posters as well. Um, I think I might just do like a raffle or something. I don't know. I don't know what the right way to do it is. Because I want to have, like, some unique idea for, like, we could do a contest or we could do a thing. But I don't know. Oh, unrelated. But some of you guys might care about this. I was talking to Dungeons & Dragons Online developer Tonquin while I was in um, the city of Boston. Because um, we got lunch. And uh, we, we got ramen. Dude, that shit was so good. Holy moly. Uh, we spent a surprisingly small amount of time talking about DDO. Um, but most importantly, the... Um, at the end of the day, it's kind of like, it's just like work for everybody, so yeah. Um, but he was like, like, how come we stopped doing like the thing, the podcast thing? And I was like, because you said you wanted to stop doing it? And he was like, oh. He's like, well, if you want to do that again, we probably could. And I was like, oh. Okay, maybe. So we might do that. I must have jinxed myself. Here we go again. Here we go again. Are you any more free than the birds trapped down here? Or are you caught? Is it in recent times? Yeah, it's not like a guarantee. It's just, you know, it's like, we'll, we'll talk about it. I was like, I'll have my people call your people. And then we, you know, in our separate ways. I've been rebranded. Uh, no, it's one of those things where I, I don't really care to know the answer, so I didn't ask.
It could be something as simple as just wanting to change your name. Like I used to be Gotwald six one three back in the day, and now I'm Strim Tom. Why? I don't. I don't know. I just started changing it, and then it happened. I literally don't have anything more than that. That's just what it is. If you go back far enough, you can find the old videos. Actually, you can't. They're all private. Ho <laughs> ho They're all gone. Um, all my old videos from when I was like a teenager. I don't know what's in them, and I don't want to re go rewatch them. And I'm sure most of them are probably fine and harmless, because for the most part, I'm very much a like. Um, light-footed fellow. I'm, I'm not the type of person to, like, say a bunch of wacky shit on, on camera. Um, and things of, you know, I'm you know, not thinking about, like, getting cancelled, but, you know, just saying saying stuff that we used to say in between the years of 2007 and, like, 2012 on the internet without thinking about it as much. And I don't know if I did any of that. I just know that's a thing that happened. And I'm like, I don't want to watch all this video because I used to upload a video every day. So I just blanket privated all those videos. It's just way easier. No one's watching it. It's all, it's just gone. Increase your zero for almost two decades? Yeah. I mean, so what happened with me is I just saw the name and I thought it was interesting, so I just changed it. That's all it is. If you don't want to be Cruiser Zero and you think, and you can think of a better name, do it. That's the reason why people might dislike their name, but most people don't change their name, because coming up with a name is really fucking hard, and it's basically impossible. Can't move. Guess go fuck. I have zero life regen? That's an interesting problem. Lightning and shock resistant. Get out of here, Havoc Guardian. Get him. I'll be rebrand whenever Junior is sentenced on a username. Never? Yeah, true. Uh, what you could probably do is... Uh, you know, is the have uh, Junior take up the, the cruiser world. mantle, and then you retire and leave it to him. Who am I getting? He should probably like come up with his own name. Let's go write a passage. Also, honestly, I will say this. Um, you should probably hope that when your kid starts getting on the internet and talking to people, that they end up talking to people like Nerosoth, as opposed to the way worse people that exist on the internet. Nearsoth's real mild compared to what you can just find on the internet with very little at work. You spent a lot of time on the internet. I have no idea. I also have no idea. Yeah, it's really hard, right? Because you used to be Mr. Dorank, and then you became Nyx Dorank, and on. Discord, you're just Dorak, and honestly, I don't even know who you are anymore. You're like a totally different person. Your name just keeps changing from one thing to the next. Completely unrelated every single time. Every name change is like I'm talking to somebody new every day. It's crazy. I mean, that was me being, uh, that was me being facetious, but still. Yeah, it's a, uh, it is something that is difficult to think about all the time. Chance to suppress spell damage. Hilarious. Yep. Man, Chain would be so sick with this. Oh god. Or just better AoE, which would be nice. I think I'm gonna go for the, just get the AoE. Just be patient. Be patient. You'll do the Uber Lab eventually. Uh, it wasn't Jason. It was a different name. What was the name of the guys that they did the big fight? They all showed up. Was it Josh? It was something like that. It wasn't Jason. That sounds that sounds wrong. It just doesn't sound right. 
But there's all the guy. There's one guy who added everybody with the same name on Facebook, and then just literally added every single person with exactly the same name. And then they all met up in a big field and they all fought over who won. And it was some little kid who won. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, coming up with names is really hard. That's why most people don't do that. It's also one of the reasons why it's basically impossible to come up with names um, for D&D. &D. Uh, because you have to come up with names. So it's like, oh, hey, there's an NPC in this town. Cool. And now there's like, you know that the town is going to be filled with like 10, 15, 20 NPCs. So you have to name them all. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. It's, it's a difficult task. Name them all? Ooh. Ooh. Name them? All? Yeah, jeez. Why am I fighting this piece of fucking garbage? Guard one, merchant one, no. Extra life, too? God damn it. Dirt knock, blood singer. Oh, what's her name? Oh, they tell you their name. Yeah, that wouldn't work for my players. Several of my players have like the the shit disturber playstyle, but they just they're gonna keep asking me until I give them an answer. Oh, that reminds me, I need to automate uh, enduring cry. This thing gives me insane mana costs. Uh, I don't know how much mana that costs. It's not too much. Be Yeah, so I can't get away with just being like, oh, well, they told you their name. It was this. Or like, they told you their name. You now know their name. Call out to the guard by name. Oh, man, I should name one of my one of my random characters name. What's your name? Name? Like, yeah, your name. That That's it. Name. Your name is name. Mm -hmm. That's what you get for asking questions. Much like the Gravekeeper here, uh, don't ask questions. The things you don't want to actually know the answer to. Huge lesson you learn at some point. Or you never learn that lesson, and you keep asking questions to things you don't want to know the answer to. And your life just gets progressively worse. Zoom, 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 zoom. My life and my work, I shall not suffer this humiliation again. Happy chilled. Dash, please. Thank you. Like, where's the swamp? Where's the swamp? Where's the beef? Oh my god, when she had the fucking machine gun with Chevron, that shit was so crazy on the Why are you so thing ugly? on the league. That was awesome. So why am I ugly? I don't know. Shovel to the face, probably something like that. Phase. Phase transition. Phase. He's gonna hook. Let me follow him around. Let me get me melees. Be a Brutus. And you're dead. You now PTSD. Like yeah, it's coming back. Mistakes are doomed to repeat them. <laughs> pronounce it Name? <laughs> What's your name? Name? What's your name? Name? Okay, what do we got? Hellions is double quantity. It's pretty good. Um, And there's a fair number of Hellions, so I think we're going to leave that. I think Hellions double quantity is pretty rad. Although I am going to change out Gemling Pack Leader drops an additional quality gem, and it gives me Gemling Packs. You kill almost every monster in this zone. So we're gonna get rid of the grab. No, uh, we'll get rid of the the goatman stompers, so that it's nothing jumping on me. And I've got the frigid attendants now. They drop quality gems, which is nice. I gotta use that before I lose it, because um, you can't use uh, items that are too over leveled. So there, we're gonna get it done. Hey, it's a gemling guy. He's actually here, gemling frost mage. That's kind of cool. Sixteen purifying flame. Cool. That's neato.
Uh, what's the what's the button? Page down. No, he didn't drop anything. Okay. Thought they dropped quality gems, and he just like straight up just didn't drop a quality gem. That's bizarre. Maybe it's only the first one you kill that drops a quality gem. I have no idea. Maybe I should have given them the 200% rarity. Considering the guy's already a, like a, a boss pack. I should have thought about that. I didn't. Hey, buddy. Get killed by me. Uh, ailment effect. How do I get ailment effect? What are you doing? God drag you to damnation if you're gonna stand. Ailment effect does seem kind of good since I'm gonna have special ailments. I'll have sap, scorch. Scorch is gonna be good because that'll reduce enemies. Say, uh, I was, keep saying saving throws. Enemies' uh, resistances. Oh, sorry, bud. I'm too fast. I don't have to do these as I go, but I like having the extra skill points. Especially since I'm currently putting all my skill points in life right now. Life is good. Gained a lot of life recently. I don't have a whole lot, but I've gained a lot from where I had before, so... I'll take it. Anything is an improvement, right? Not being on fire and getting a bunch of defensive stats for free. Oh, damn. Yep. yep. Cloth belt. Wow. Don't want that at all. Okay. I'm not, like, full clearing all these maps, but I definitely want to try to Clear them a little bit more. I have a feeling that full clearing maps could be really, really good. Take care, Sukai. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Man, it's only like 846. That's crazy. I'm just zooming. Again, I, I'm I'm pretty good at um, devoting nearly all of my focus and attention into one thing when it's Path of Exile. So, you know, good luck me. Now it's five o'clock. My backpack entirely full again. Oh no, I've been I've been to town in so long. All right. I have a lot of quests to do. Old man, you're very tired soon. Old man, what the heck? You're telling me that the fastest DDO player in the West is getting old? Damn. Oh, you're making me feel old. What the hell? Chaos res mana. Belt sucks. And this is Claw and Dagger. Time and Tide, wait for no man. Time and Tide, wait for no man. Uh, it's a lot of life, but there's no strength on this, which makes me sad. All of this makes me sad. Uh, do this and Alchemy Orb. Fucking sucks. All right. the stats I'm tied, wait for no man. Diamond tied, wait for no man. Alchemy Orb. It has fire res, which I don't want, but I like the rest of the stats. Gee, it's a pistol. Thanks. Oh, oh, for returning his thing, he gives me a belt. Okay, so I have the life belt. I need the strength. So I'm going to grab a strength belt, which I think can roll up to 35, so that's fine. And it might have strength and life on it. It has strength and strength. It's got a spot for life. It's got cold res, which I actually want. Flash charges gained. I can craft life. God tier. Good work. Holy moly. I get a helmet. Um, I want armor, energy shield. I need red sockets. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good sockets. It's got strength, which I needed. It's the same amount. It's got mana. It does not have life or a spot for life, but it has a suffix. I don't need fire res, but it has a suffix. I can put decks on this. That will be helpful for the old socket boy. Plus, it's got good colors. In fact, it's got great colors. Um, this actually works for my Sacred Wisps really well. Because with two red sockets, it means I can get Inspiration. So I can go Crit, Inspiration, um, 
LE damage and LE hit of spectrum, which is really good. Because I'm currently using um, just added lightning, which is very bad. <laughs> so we can get inspiration, which is great. Elemental damage with attacks support, which is also great. Put that into here, put that into here. I can get elemental hit of the spectrum. I can get critical strikes, which is great. God, I hate that sound. Um, actually, I'm going to take this off because I got to go craft and I got to do the thing. I got to do that. Da, da, da. Right at the 5 a.m. alarm. Forgot to turn it off. I hate that. Dude, that sucks. Like forgetting to turn your alarm off and then waking up in the, on the weekend and be like, <laughs> and then you see it. It just makes you angry. It makes me angry. So I, I assume it also makes everybody else angry. All right. Time and tide. Wait for no, for no mon. And I get life. 22 is good enough. And I'm losing a bunch, but whatever. I need the stats. Strength, dex, beautiful. Uh, life is good. I should probably get some more life. But like, honestly, do I need more life? Kind of want to get the clever thief here, so I get the leech, and then I can get the instant leech, and that would be very helpful for me for just for sustaining my stats. Sustaining the stats. I can also grab the damage here on the power charge. I'm trying to figure out, do I even need to go over here? Because I could get an extra power charge. I could get increased effect of non-damaging ailments, but that's pretty much it. Versus if I go over here, I think I can pick up more damage. Because I've got the wand node here, although this is fizz, and fizz is lightning. So I actually don't want that. But if I want direct damage, I've got like wand, 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 power charge on kill. So I can do like this stuff. I can get the crit multi, which is not a bad idea since I'm actually scaling crit now. Um... So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the crit strike chance and crit multi. Which is pretty good. Uh, I have to do that. And that. Wait for it. And that. So now my crit chance with my wand is 41.7%. And that's not including the charges that I can have. Which is pretty good. Alright. Feeling good. Feeling good. Legion thing, climb one. Oh, you got a Tears of Purity? Nice, dude. I love Tears of Purity. And I also found that Legion thing. That was It was really cool to see the first time. Yeah, I'm just one-shotting everything now. That's cool. Take it. Oh, this is where I put the portal. Oops. Oh, right, because I was full clearing this map because of the extra loot. Damage on the monsters. When I have full stacks, it's 44% crit chance, which is pretty good. Now we get some power charges. Power charge on crit. Cannot be stunned. Action speed cannot be slowed. So we'll put the five on there. Call it a day. Thrill Steel. Nice. Thrill Steel is great. It just gives you permanent onslaught, dude. That's a great one. You must be thrilled to get such a steal. I'll be here all week. And block me, jerks. Yeah, actually getting the socket colors. Oh my god, the speed. Okay. I'm gonna go try to craft a one, another I think. Day, another day. Oh, rarity. Everything is the same rarity. Um, Bandit Acolyte. Um, apes. Honestly, rarity? Put the rarity on the apes, because there's more apes than anything else. That makes the most sense. There way, they're infested things. The infested boss. Mm, I guess I would double down, maybe. I don't know. Why am I doing one for power charge? That's silly. I should not do that. I don't have power charge generation yet. I 
any damage, sacred wisps. I don't have sacred wisps. I forgot the sacred wisp support. Um, uh, well, I guess I'm not using sacred wisps for now. Maybe I'll come back to it in the future. So far, my damage seems to be pretty good. I completely forgot about sacred wisps. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. Axe spawns a meteor on death. Hi, hi, hi. All right, well, there's all this stuff here, so let's go. Hmm. Sacred Wisps. I do want to use it. The extra volume seems good, but honestly, I'm just getting just so much flat damage from this. I don't need the Sacred Wisps. I mean, maybe later, but just, like, not now. If there was, like, a Mana Forged equivalent for Wands, that, that would be way better than Sacred Wisps. If it was like Mana Forge projectiles or something, oh yeah, dude. That would be the cat's pajamas. Oh my god, my character is so stun locked. I need to find a way to get immune to stun. There, is, there are a couple of like interesting ways to get stun immunity. Um, one of the better ways to get stun immunity when given the opportunity is um, just well, the Brine King. Because Brine King makes it so you can't be stunned twice in a row. So if you get stunned, you can just move on to the next thing. So maybe that's the plan. Cutthroat script enrages his life lost. Dead. At some point, I'll need to refine the loot filter just a little bit. Because I have, like, just a few too many things dropping. And honestly, I don't think I need anything other than wands at all. Though, honestly, once I get Piscator's Vigil, I probably don't need anything. any Like, anything that isn't a wand at all. But, yeah. Or even wands. I wonder if anybody's selling Piscator's. It's a great question. Piscator's Vigil. Oh, dude, someone's selling one for an elk? I have an alchemy orb. This guy just wants to sell it. I'll buy him. This guy's selling it. Your Alk? I don't need that today. Which is funny, because you kind of need Alks for, like, Alkin maps and stuff, especially when you're trying to do things uh, quickly. So, I don't know. Weird. I don't think the price is necessarily going to go up, so I can wait till I get to 59 before I actually buy one. But it's such it's going to be such an insane damage increase. It's like, matter. The reason why the weapon is so good is it gives 100 and some percent increased elemental damage with attacks, which is all I do is elemental damage with attacks. And it's a wand with massive crit and attack speed as bases. So it's got lots of attack speed and lots of crit. And then it just doesn't do any damage on its own. It's meant to amplify your damage. And this attack is all about the damage added from the skill. And for this build, I'm probably going to want to get, like, an Ashes of Stars, because Ashes of Stars is a skill that grants, um, not skill, it's a necklace that gives plus to quality of all gems, as well as plus to the level. And for the more quality I get on my gem, the better, because it gives me more damage uh, per elemental ailment, 5% more per 20 quality. So if I get a 30 quality Ashes of the Stars, which I don't know how expensive it'll be, but it depends. But if I get a 30 quality then my character should, in theory, um, uh, get with five ailments, it's like 25% more damage, basically. Which is kind of cool. 
And apparently the ones are very cheap. So. Sometimes I tire of this job, he says. But not today, sucker. Back to work. Let's go here. Let's do some searching. Alright, so if I was to look up this wand here and I wanted to buy it, it's like attack speed, attack speed, local, and also critical strike. Critical. Oh god, critical strike. Not global, increased critical strike chance. And I don't care about the accuracy roll. And then the LE damage of the attack roll is not important that much. Yeah, that can get like 16, 25. I don't know how, much expensive, how expensive that is. Four chaos for this one, that's like nearly perfect. It's pretty good. I'll have to. I'll probably end up paying like an arm and leg for an actual perfect one, but something to consider. Because again, I don't know how many people are actually going to be playing uh, this. In the league. Also, don't for, don't forget the monkeys have four hundred percent rarity. One percent rarity is such a crazy number. God damn. So much loot. So having monsters be evasive and then not get hit by my attacks is very annoying. I don't know if it's because of the evasive thing or if there was like desync or I was just missing. I'm not sure. Chaos and shock resistance. Nope. Those characters start getting starter going. Yeah. I just don't know how many chaos I have. I'd have to actually, like, go investigate. And that is something I don't know the answer to, like, right now. Life regen. Chaos damage. Four link. That looks like a five link. I have four if you need them. You have four chaos? Damn. Pretty good for this, this early in the league. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Because that's also one of those things that's very, very easy to pay back. Because it's like, yeah, can I borrow 4 Chaos? And then you just pay it back in like an hour. You have 15. What the fuck is happening? Am I the only person that doesn't have a lot of Chaos Orbs? Hold on. Hold the phone. Let me see. Maybe I do have a lot and I didn't notice. Maybe I just don't don't pay attention. Oh, you did heist? Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't found the heist blocker, so I don't know where you get it. I have four chaos. You know, I can actually buy that. Let's see. See if that guy's still trading. There's two. Two chaos. It's got 100 accuracy, but it's got max attack speed. Pretty good crit. This one is 6% better with more accuracy. Damage Baby pin. Dark needs to teach you guys how to play Po. I'll just buy the thing. Oh, yeah, he does. Are you, is there lessons or like, how does that, how does that work? That's bad. It's also bad. It's also bad. It's also bad. It makes me, also, that's all it makes me sad. Will. Free me. Sell me your pieces of equipment. Sons of bitches. They sit in town and message people. You pull the mirrors? Mmm. Yeah. Oriath Docks. I can go to the hideout, though. I know. Oh, this is pretty! Wow! It's a cool-looking hideout. Oh, and it's a three-link already? Cool. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Curse Blasting Corpses. Look at this hideout. This is cool. Can't go that way, it's like closed down. That's kinda neat. This like little area here. I like it. Very pretty zone. Bright. It's bright, very bright. Alright, great. 
perfect. Uh, okay, cool. Um, ba -ba 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 I think we're just gonna get the energy shield and life here because this is more life and it's more life and life is life. There we go. I have this. I have the sword. It's not a great one, but it's pretty good for now, and I can just upgrade later. It ain't no hundred dollar turtle. It ain't no hundred dollar turtle. True. I probably do lab two after I get my uh, my upgrade. It's such a gigantic weapon up damage upgrade. My weapon is basically nothing. Um, I don't have any stats on the weapon. It's a minion wand, so it doesn't even give me spell damage on my spells that I actually cast. It's great. And then upgrading to basically a weapon I can use to clear well, most, if not all, the content with would be nice. It's going to be hard to get a weapon that uh, you know that beats what's on there, but it's not impossible. Created a whalebone rapier. Whalebone rapier. Whale. What have we got here? What are you linking me? Fire damage to spells. Wow. Crazy. Oh, there it is. Nice. Actually, I could do heist too. Maybe I could get 15 chaos. I'm actually kind of thirsty. I should probably drink some water. I'm just like focusing on the game, nothing else. Hey, that's good. That's a good thing. Actually, resist. Oh god. Crimson whale. That is a strong creature there. A lot of souls in it. Should die eventually. Somehow it's not killing my golems, which is interesting. I don't know how, but it, is, it currently isn't, so I'll take it. Cavern of Anger. Uh, 30% chance to evade? Oh, I hate that. Um, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get rid of the chance to evade. We'll put that down there. And then we'll keep the rest of the stiff. I yeah, still gotta get the automated endurance charge. The Grand King. His time has almost come. That I'm, one of the first things I'm gonna be getting is uh, reflect immunity, so I can run every map. So that way I don't have to worry about like trying to deal with elemental reflect or anything like that while I'm like just going through the process. If I manage to get a cluster jewel sooner that has corrosive elements on it, then yay. But if not, then we'll solve that problem later. I do know that uh, GGG said they don't really have any current plans to bring back that which was taken anytime soon. Um, oh, there was two of them with the same mod? Oh my god, I didn't realize both of them had the same mod. Wow. Okay, I'm a rube. I just immediately got stomped on. My head got exploded. I thought one guy had the purple crystals, but they were apparently like clones or something? I don't know. I was not paying attention. Uh, I was thinking about something else. Anyways, they said that they aren't currently planning to bring on that which was taken because of the way the unique is. It just, it rolls randomly every time and they don't like the nature of the fact that it rolls randomly as like a permanent staple of the game. Um, like it was fun for the event and they want to see how far they can push it, but after they had it in the game, they're like, yeah, we don't want this anymore. So they decided not to, not to do that, so. Sometimes I, tire of this job. I think maybe he's mad at me because I haven't gone to him in a while. I really should go back and craft something, but the game has given me no incentive to stop doing what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll come see you later, Jeeves. Uh, it's down there. It's like drinking the water that I have. I keep telling myself, like, yeah, I'm going to drink the water. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go do whatever. It's going to be awesome. Oh, nice! Loctonial Caress! Cool. 
Man, I'm just rolling in unique items. Unique items are crazy prevalent this league when you um, juice each map by doing the one before it, so you get extra rarity. Cool. You're gonna have like a full tab of uniques in no time. That's really crazy. Good for me though. Not uniques I can use, but they are pretty cool. Beacon. Monsters grant double XP. Yo, let's go. I do like double XP. Are they a good Loctonial Caress? They are pretty okay. Okay, let's go to creepy, crawly, necropolis man place. You again. Chittis could have led the Empire to greatness had he not been viciously betrayed. He was a visionary. My line has worked tirelessly for three centuries to enact this. Ha! Ah, you clever fox. You almost had me spilling my secrets. This solitude really must be getting to me. This old man will never talk. Damn it. It was going to tell me the secret. What's up with Chittis? But now he doesn't. Okay, so haunted by Lilius Novalius. Okay, so I have all these items. I have no idea if these are good. What am I crafting? I'm crafting something. Um, physical modifiers are scarcer, probably, so we can bury that. Um, armor roll can roll haunted modifiers. That's kind of cool. We'll bury that. Uh, what else do I want? An extra explicit? Sure. I'm going to use all the low-level ones and just see if I can make something. It's haunted. I don't know what that means. Um, elemental modifiers are scarcer. Um, I don't really want elemental modifiers are scarcer, so that seems bad. I'd rather get, like, lightning modifiers. I don't know if the location actually matters. So we have explicit. So now this is going to have six mods on it whenever I craft, which is pretty cool. Uh, cold modifiers are scarcer. Reforge socket numbers 30 times, keeping the greatest number of sockets. Sure, that seems kind of convenient. Uh, I have, like, physical scarcity. Increased chance of attribute modifiers. Absolutely fantastic. Huge fan of this. Um, because I can probably make some, like, sick gloves. Because my gloves are kind of bad. Lightning modifier tier. I have that. Quality. I don't really need to use the quality, but I guess I can. I don't know if the level of the thing really matters. If it gives me, like, the average. But yeah, I'll increase the, the tier here. Increased chance of life modifiers. Yeah, increased chance of resistance modifiers. Also good. Um, more quality. More quality. Just bank them in here. Cold modifiers. Fantastic. Increased attack. I don't really want increased attack. So I buried, like, a whole mess of corpses. Um, which seems fine. So now I craft. Nevalius. Uh, requires four different members of this family line to create a unique item. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Haunted by Nevalius. Okay. Remove. So I can remove the Lilius Nevalius. So I'm supposed to keep that for later when I get all of the family. So I remove that. Uh, I have... So wait, wait, wait. I, I put it in by accident because the game didn't tell me. And now I can't craft anything at all in the whole graveyard? Alright, well, that's stupid. I'll bury this. Okay. Um, so increased resistance and attribute modifiers. Increased chance of life, lightning and cold modifiers. Well, I did put armor on here in sockets, so I probably... Probably should have crafted, like, I don't know, a glove or something. This has dexterity on it, which is pretty important. So I could I could craft gloves. So maybe I'll craft gloves on this. So armor, and we'll go gloves. Okay, it's gonna create craft heavy gloves with six sockets. So, all right. well, I guess I'll try that. Yeah, heavy gloves with six sockets is probably fine. 
May the tides of Soagoth wash away your anguish and aid this soldier so that you may allow them to grip their destiny. Okay, so we have elemental modifiers, one resist with a bunch of extra resist and one life, and of haunting, global chance to blind enemies on hand. These are cool and useless. All right, so that was not ideal. Um... I think I just like. I think I just have to get rid of all this stuff. Like fire modifiers are scarce. Fire modifiers are scarce. Like these seem like very bad. Physical extra modifiers, cold modifiers are scarce. Like I need all of these mods. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't put those down. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, increased physical modifiers. Like I don't want that at all. Uh, so let's get rid of some of that. Uh, life modifiers are scarcer. I don't like, want that. That's kind of bad. Increased chance of attack modifiers. I mean, attack modifiers are fine, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. Make something, I guess. Uh, make a piece of jewelry, and we'll make um, a ring. Sure. May the shine of Solaris burn away your anguish and aid this soldier so that you may guide their hands to success. And that is a very bad piece of equipment, so that seems pretty good. Okay, so I'm glad I got rid of all that stuff. Okay, so if I do something like um, lightning modifier tier, lightning modifier tier, fire modifier tier, I don't want defense, increased chance of lightning modifiers, so I'm looking for like resistances, and I guess I can go like increase the chance for attack, because attack modifiers are generally prefixes. Biz modifiers are 300% scarcer, which is good. Um... And I want to get an extra explicit, which brings up to five explicits when I craft. And then I can increase the lighting modifier tier again. And you know what? We're just going to go attack. We're just going to dump all the low-level corpses in. I'm trying to make a ring. That's pretty good. And I might as well go with the explicits. It's going to have six six stats. And uh, hopefully it's pretty good. So we'll make a jewelry. We'll make a ring. And we'll see how it goes. Got six mods. It's going to be at level 49. Let's see what we got. And I don't know if there's like combos you can do. So you may guide their hands to success. I got a gold ring that has a lot of attack modifiers, like accuracy. It's got physical. Even though I had 300% less likelihood of physical, I still got a physical modifier on here. But it does have tier 1 attack speed, and it did have accuracy. So it's not the worst, but it is completely useless to me, unfortunately. Uh, but it is interesting. And up here, we have the Necropolis Locker, so I can attune to this. And there's the extra corpses that I had banked. Explicit and all that. Oh, and I can destroy it. Oh, so I can just destroy the... I can cremate the, the low-level corpses. Okay, cool. Because the item level being low is a problem. You don't want to have any low item level things, so that makes sense. Okay, what was I doing? The beacon? I got so distracted. Uh, XP. All right, good. I just started crafting away, and then who knows? It was the morning all of a sudden. Unfortunately, did not make anything interesting, but I did make things. Oh, what was that? That looks like my camera just shut down, and now it started up again. Did I kick it? I don't know. Also, my camera's on like this crazy angle uh, for some reason. I do not know why. Like literally sideways. Yeah, it should it should be back. It it reconnected on my screen. But let me see here. Oh no, it's gone. Hello. Hey buddy. How are you, camera? Oh yeah. I don't know why it's not doing that. Okay. That a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, excuse me while I de take care of these technical de difficulties. Can't you just let the dead rest? Uh, no. That is a terrible idea. How would you let the dead rest? Huh. I mean, that is kind of funny. Like, the face that I'm making is kind of great. So it fits well with what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. I 
I, I have no idea how to fix the camera as of right now. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna try to work on it. I'm just giving the camera some rest. Camera freeze? No, 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 that's my face. I'm practicing my ventriloquism. And um, I gotta say, I'm getting pretty fucking good, dude. Like, what do you think? What do you think, Cruiser? Is, is it good? Is my ventriloquism act going well or no? Not like the act itself. Like, I know I'm boring. But like the, like, can you, can you see my mouth moving? It's like what I kind of what I'm hoping is that my goal is that the kids see this and they go like, wow, and they start pogging out, you know, that's what I hope happens. I love starting a new league. It's so good. Yeah, let's see if we can't fix this camera thing, huh? Let's see if we can't fix it. I'm in the process of working on it. Activate camera. Oh. That camera is dead as a doornail. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to do what I did before, which is I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to let camera chill for a sec. I just unplugged it. So I'm just going to let the camera chill. Also, I died while I unplugged it. Good thing I'm not playing hardcore. Why am I even using Herald of Thunder? I have no idea. Boot up the stream now that this hack doesn't have a webcam. Are you calling me a hack? Because I'm letting my camera chill for a sec. Okay. Now we put the camera back in. This. Little hard reset. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Is this loading? Nice. Base cam. Is it working? Or is it not working? I honestly can't tell if it's working or not. That's a hard heart. I had no idea. Kidding, I was, I was holding my face. You had no idea. You had no idea. You were like, that's what Stream Tom sounds like. He sounds like that normally. Especially when he was like quieter than usual because his face wasn't facing the microphone. Which he does all the time. And then talks while trying to not move his lips. Classic Stream Tomism. Cruiser's now your favorite streamer? Damn it. That was fast. I didn't even stop streaming. You there. Local. Until next time. You there, local. Uh, yeah, they Try can crit me, whatever. As as you can with the Further, keep Eat going. me, bastards. Me. Uh, impale? Yo. All place. Shall we light it up? Yeah, light it up. I should also mention... This might you snooze, you lose. My camera broke. You can take him. What do you want me to do? Get not have my camera break during a broadcast? Are you expecting me to stream with some type of quality and integrity? You Honestly, that's kind of sus. Yo! It's a named corpse right there. More, fodder for the pile. More fuel for the machine. I wonder if Nico and this guy are related. This guy seems a little, he seems a little out there, you know? Automation. Oh. Likely excuse. I mean, yeah, it is, it's li that's literally what it is. I make, I'm making an excuse. I'm just making up stories, man. Can't I do that in peace? Oh, oh! Physical rating modifier tier. That corpse sucks. Oh, you know what I just realized? You can, like, hold on to corpses for other people, too. So, like... Say I got all these physical corpses, which are useless to me, but then I'm playing with somebody or I know somebody who wants physical corpses, I can just like give it to them. Because you can hand corpses to other people. So you just fill up your graveyard with like increased modifier tiers and stuff. That's interesting. And the, the corpse trading. So if you want to make like some good corpses, you could buy like plus 50 all physical modifier tiers and guaranteed mod physical modifiers and throw it on a weapon and get like two tier one mods on a weapon. And then you still you're still at the mercy of the base, but you know, 
Kind of a cool concept. Got enlightened in Act 10. Nice, that's good. Good way to start the league. The problem is with selling it, nobody has anything that's going to be worth anything. Like, you know, you can't sell it for like modern, like last league's prices because there's no one has the money yet. So it's one of those things you just hold on to and then sell eventually when you need the cash. Or you use it, which is also very good because it's one of the best support gems in the game. You know, there's options. I don't know if I've ever found an Enlightened. I don't think so. Oh, no, we did. Dorak and I did. We found an Enlightened. And we leveled it, and then we evolved it in an attempt to make it better. And uh, we bricked it. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You just go, hey, hey, can I borrow can I borrow the Enlightened for a couple hours? I got you know, I just want to do some, some stuff. Can I just borrow it? Just real quick. Real quick. Not for a long time. Just for just for like a couple hours, you know. Give me give me the enlightened. Okay. What language are those those characters? I am not familiar. I don't know who's the person who's in first right now. Well E seven. I have no idea what language that is. Waylon, I'm coming, Waylon. See ya. Don't take. All right. Mm -hmm. So, divinity doesn't just reshape the self; it changes the world around you too. I don't know if it's because the person's older, but the witch voice lines are very, they're very different um, in terms of like the, the way that they say some of the specific words. So I don't know if it's because the voice actor like got older or they've done a lot more voice work since they originally voiced the witch last time they did it. But uh, they say some things differently, especially the way they end sentences. It could also be just be the direction from the director, whoever is the voice director on it. But yeah. Korean maybe? Yeah, I don't know. That's nowhere. Honestly, for me, I'm at six and a half hours and about to finish Act 6. And because my pace is increasing, because I basically just have, like, some good items now. Once I get Pissicators on my character, uh, the speed is going to go up a lot. So it's not too many levels away. And then once I get the um, next upgrade, the... Uh, golems. That's a, another huge increase. It's a gigantic damage increase for me. A lot of attack speed and crit and all that. It'll be pretty pretty satisfying. One downside to golems is you do kind of have to have space for all of them, but it's not too bad. You have to have all like the skill gems. So courageous. Such a fine example okay. of womanhood. Um, two percent energy shield cast damage should be taken husband. while on full energy shield. You see, all His that Majesty could never be satiated on his wedding day by one bride alone. Thank you, my new sister. I shall always treasure your company. The uh, lady who got willfully eaten by a Brian King monster. Get wrecked, Brian King. Screw your resistances. You suck. Yeah, I also don't have, like, um, increased effectiveness of non-damaging auras or non-damaging uh, ailments, which honestly would be very good. So I'm not sure where I can get increased effectiveness of non-damaging ailments, just generally. It's like, kind of like a blanket thing, because that would be quite good for my character if I could get that. Um, but I'm not exactly sure what the best way to do that is, because I don't have any elemental ailment things. I'm not going anywhere elemental related. Um, but that would be kind of good, because I'm going to be applying Sap, Riddle, and Scorch, all of which are non-damaging ailments. Increasing the effectiveness just reduces the health thresholds I need, which would be really nice.
The thicket. Shit, thicket map. These guys are mapping, dude. It's funny because somebody's gonna kill Searing Exarch in like less than an hour. And that just fucking blows my mind. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing Act Six. I'm I'm closing in on one act an hour. Like, yeah, I'm closing in on the whole game in it per hour. Oh, I don't know where I'm going now. Uh, I'm gonna bank points for a while. I have no idea what I'm doing. Kind of didn't plan this out that far either, which is a bit of a problem. Maybe I should have thought about it a little bit more, but yeah, I didn't. Um... I have no idea. I just haven't really planned around it that much. Well, I like generally know what I want to do. I kind of want to go left side, but maybe I just stay right side and go crit and grab some of the life. Like come in here and pick up some of this. Like maybe I go, I don't know. Like I don't want to go this way. This is a bad way to go. Um, but there's like there's like a whole bunch of life here. There's ep elemental damage with attack skills, and el attack damage penetrates elemental resistances, which is good. Then I get elemental mastery, which will maybe be good. Reduced effective exposure, reduced reflected damage. No hits, treat elemental resistances is inverted. No, okay, all those are actually bad. But you know, it, it, I can still get the ten pen, which is not terrible. And then just get something from somewhere else. I love the way the skills, the skill looks though. Like the triple elemental thing looks fantastic. Um, they really did a good job with this. This is, I don't think this is how normal elemental hit looks with all three elements. If this is how elemental hit looks all the time, that'd be crazy. But like the new animation looks fantastic. Like this is just great. Crossroads. Monsters just grant XP. Life, physical, or whatever. Right, give me the XP. Ring, more of these, please. Yeah, I need to collect rings so I can replace my uh, Thief's Torment. Which is not very hard, but... This is something I need to do. I also kind of want to get, like, the power charge stuff going, because I think I'm going to try to go for power charges, but I'm honestly not 100% sure. I don't care about any of this. Wait, is that reflected damage? Reflected hexes. Non-damaging ailment reflection. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, I'm immune to those. Okay, good. Whew, I'm immune to elemental elements. I was like, oh no. Am I going to shock myself and blow myself up? And no. Why? This is why we don't try hard. We just use um, Spirit of Elements. Saves so much time. I was supposed to go do Heist. I forgot. Oh, God. Don't you hate it when you've got basically no ability to remember anything? That's my current problem. That is an existing problem and will probably never go away. <laughs> the inability to remember basically any element of anything I do. Uh, see something shiny? Chase it down. Chase down that new shiny thing. It's got to be important. I just thought of it. Uh, life cannot be leached. All right, good to know. What about mana? Getting a chain would be kind of cool. I don't think there's a way to get free chain other than like a snake pit where I can get like an extra fork or an extra chain. I remember when snake pit was like this crazy meta ring that you'd kill Hydra for and then snake pit made it so that you got one free chain. So everyone's using it as like it basically a free link. 500% increased chance of resistance modifiers? Oh yeah, I want to craft a ring with that. I'd love a big dual resistance. Ring. Or helmet, really. Both of them good. Uh, or chaos. Imagine if you had a bunch of chaos modifiers and resistance modifiers. Um, I have space, I have time, probably. Rank 3, get some more, some more currency. Did 
don't have time? I don't have time. Damn. I was really close on time. I just got distracted. Dang it. Oh, resistance modifier tier. Ooh. I wonder if plus 50 is like just in the waiting, so it rolls like the waiting out, and then if you get like a certain amount, it just rounds it up. Oh, jeweler's orbs on spiders. Okay, it's actually kind of good. I will take that. There's going to be a lot of spiders in here. You can never have enough jeweler's orbs. And I actually think I might just use this chest piece to solve all my physical damage problems. And then later on, maybe go for like a lightning coil or something. But use this for now. Which seems kind of good. I also don't have any spell suppression, which is another problem. I have to figure out how to do that, too. Um, which I didn't think about until just now. Uh, yeah. Also, did you guys also not know that um, that lightning thing, the ring, only deals damage when you stand on the blue part of the ring, and if you're in melee range, it doesn't do anything to you? I didn't know that for the longest time until it was explained to me by somebody. They're like, yeah, you just don't stand on the edge of the ring. And I was like, oh, is that how that works? Amazing. Very helpful. Very helpful data. Another day. Another death. That's depressing. I should be using Trinity. Oh, I should use Trinity with this. Oh, I, I've Shine already done four challenges with this. So that all may find you. Right? Trinity falls. support? Yeah, I should use Trinity support. Um, I think, because that gives penetration with resonance. I'll have to look it up. Because I do th all three elements interchangeably although i do them all at the same time and so i have a feeling unless i balance all of them no yeah i should be able to have all three going it should work f is it you i'm still alive on my end yeah it's the it's the whole twitch thing i still haven't been able to solve that unfortunately i really should look into that more oh that's the reason why i kind of want to quit them streaming for a bit i still haven't gotten a good response from um, the, uh, the streamlabs people, so still in the like in between, trying to figure out what the problem is. It should come back eventually. Keep paying respects. Eventually, it'll open up. The channel will be there. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's still the same. It's the same problem I've had before. I think you need jeweler's orbs. I got three. Nice. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! A lot of leech. Are you gonna get the achievement for reading all the lore? I mean, can't I get an achievement for just knowing all of the lore? Is that not good enough? If the answer is no, that's not good enough, I don't know what to do. Um, try, I guess. Alright, ring. Wow, it's a lot of resist early in the league. Okay, cool. That's not a bad ring. That one is, though. Um. Yep. 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 Cool items. They're not good, but they're cool. It's not very good, but pretty cool. Not good, but cool. Not good, but cool. Not good, but cool. Go with the spirit. Go oh, with the spirit. Oh, I don't have a high slocker. Um. I'm going to do my heists, I think, actually. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I have a bunch of them. Let me go take care of that now. Going to YouTube? I mean, yeah, the YouTube stream uh, also works. And it's free. I don't think it's ad-free. I'm pretty sure it plays ads, but it is free at the very least. Okay, and I can use the Cluster Jewel here for Secrets of Suffering. I don't even need to do the whole thing. I can just grab the Secrets of Suffering. I mean, Cluster Jewels are going to be... Oh, I need Chris of Elements in Secrets. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we go Heist Locker. That away. 
everybody. Hi, hey, what's bye. up? Hey, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Hey. What was I doing? Oh, oh, what's up? Ice, they did such a good job with. It's crazy to think that this was just an update. No worries. With so much voice acting. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, yeah? They were just like, yep, yeah, we're just gonna add an update to the game. Here you go. And it was this. Mind boggling. Things start going south from there. Don't expect me to save you. Thanks, Karst. Yeah, that... Appreciate you. We ain't alone. Place is crawling with guards. Stop them! You're here to make sure they don't kill us both. Also, Heist, I don't know if you any of you guys played in Heist League. No, Heist was so fucking bad in Heist League. It was more convenient. Yeah. I'll go quick. Before they make too much noise. The main the main issue is I just don't have YouTube monetized. So it's basically like Um If everybody switched to YouTube, then I could probably figure out how to do that. But for now it's just like it's just there on the sidelines. But yeah, YouTube's also convenient for a lot of people. I just like there's a lot of features I don't like about YouTube. One of the main ones is like for getting a stream started. So if you want to start a stream on YouTube, you basically have to set it up ahead of time as like an event. Which is very bizarre. They kind of think they think of it more like a TV show, but like you scheduled the stream and then you stream to the scheduled event. Which we don't want again. Th there's a logic there, and I understand it, but it's just a, it's an annoying process uh, that is also not instantaneous. Thieves die. Thieves. Hey man, it's not good. It takes a while to reset. It does. Good day to say from Cordovan. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Well, I'm getting hit. I was kind of hoping somebody would fill me in because I don't know the answer to that question. So yeah, I don't know. Who put did you, you miss anything room? from Cordovan? Mm hmm. I have no clue. I should tell you the truth. Been a wild stream. Hope you're doing well, bud. Yo, Infantakian. I'm doing fantastic. You? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today. I uh, was streaming some DDO, which was pretty good. I reincarnated my Dragon Lord, the one that I fully super geared yesterday with like crazy, insane endgame gear, uh, to a new Dragon Lord that is going to be similar but different, in the hopes that I can make a video comparing different Dragon Lord styles in R10, the hardest content in the game, so I can kind of get a good a bit of comparison there. And hopefully it'll be interesting when it actually does come out, um, but it's going to be a. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of time before I actually have that done, especially since the new Path of Exile lead just dropped. Uh, I don't, as is before, I don't usually play or not play. I don't stream all of the Path of Exile because I know a lot of people find Path of Exile kind of boring, um, or it's just not really that for them. Um, whereas I, as much as I love this video game and I find it deeply entertaining, I know it's not for everybody. Um, but that being said, uh, I'm going to. Jeez, Louise. On it. Uh, but that being said, I am, uh, yeah, just happy to see you back here. Hope you're doing good. Uh, we're going to be back to some more Dungeons Dragons Online on Monday. But for the weekend, I'm going to be playing a lot of Path of Exile. So I'm going to be streaming a lot of Path of Exile. Because why not? Just I'm playing Bow Dragon Lord. Yeah, Bow Dragon Lord is not bad. Um, I've seen quite a few Bow Dragon Lord builds. Not like pure Dragon Lord, but, you know, like eight ish. With six, eight, rook. or. So you ain't done uh, bad. No, yeah, eight Dragon Lord for the Oars. Right, take that, take that urn to Faustus. Come on, Faustus. Hey, here's the urn. Thanks. All right, give me this garbage, garbage, garbage. Anything good? Trash, garbage. Oh, yep, yep. Trash, trash. It's got dexterity. It's got crit multi. It's got a bunch of res that I don't need, and it's got low spell damage. Trash. 2% mana reservation efficiency. Garbage. Good luck Get out of here. Hello. Is there a bow attack in Ryzen Walker? Yeah, there is. Right. What's the job? It's a uh, scattershot. Scattershot used to just like fire at three nearby enemies randomly, which basically made it useless because of desync. For a job. And so instead um, of that happening. Um, Right. It would just like well, miss and do nothing. But now uh, it's just an AOE attack, and it works really well. Scatter shot is very satisfying Oof. to use. Words I never thought I would ever say. Tomorrow. Take this part of the job. 
Because there's like a pseudo technical reason as to why they couldn't do um, like AoE bow attacks. The pseudo technical Better reason was easy. that um, there is a mechanic in the game or an attack in the game called. Uh, oh, yeah. Well. What's it called? Uh, on, Hunt's End. And it causes a lot of problems of like, oh, you could do this, but you could combine it with Hunt's End and you have an issue. Um, and so kind of them taking Hunt's End of the equation has made a lot of ranged characters you. more interesting in her style, in my opinion. Oh, you ain't gonna oh, like this. So. Consume my past few months for me. Here's a new Dragon Lost video so. I haven't watched or new vids yet. Come back in the next month or so. Nice. A bad feeling, mate. Um... I am happy you're having a lot of fun with Diablo 4. Just get this out of the way well, it's not my favorite game or my cup of tea. In fact, I think that the video game product is like morally bankrupt and the people that produce it should feel bad. Um, I can't fault people for having fun with it. And, uh, you know, it's good to play things that you enjoy. At the end of the day, if uh, people end up playing Diablo 4 and then get more into action RPGs and want to like play more of them, that's just a good thing. So... Seems good to me. Because you could, like, you know, be running around a path of exile, like playing heist, and with all, like, fully voice acted characters, where you go through an entirely new narrative storyline that was just added for a four month patch. It actually used to be on a three month patch cycle, which is really crazy. I don't like this. I can't get to this door. It's freebie! Uh, but yeah, Dragon Lord's very cool. Um, the best way I can describe Dragon Lord is that Dragon Lord feels like fighter, like you think fighter will feel, if that makes sense. Like, um, Dragon Lord is very satisfying in that it is got this like big tactics angle, and when you close your eyes and you imagine like what a fighter is like, this like tactical sort of like um, heavy combat fighter. That's what Dragon Lord feels like. It really they do a good job of capturing the essence of what Dragon Lord I think is supposed to be, which is cool. I bought an old mate of mine along for this job. Her name's Talina. Oh, it's Talina. She might not look like much. But she can get Make him suffer. No one else Make him suffer. Tibbs is so funny. Heist is so good. They make you like just part of this like criminal family where you guys are all like friends and you're going out for beers after work and it's just great. It's just great. They did such a good job with this, this update. I guess it makes sense why they uh, Path of Exile usually calls the thing like each uh, update an expansion where they go like, oh, it's, it's this is the whatever expansion because honestly, most of the time, the content that's in here is like enough to qualify for the word expansion. Uh, okay, where are we going? We have a question mark down there. You think I'm stupid? Hate this part of the job. Great, buddy. Oh, you have to find out this way. Not that we need to be careful. Eh, we're fine. Dead or alive. Going, breaking into places. Yeah, overall, um, Dragon Lord, very fun. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to, do the, yeah, to kind of put it. I've just been having a good time with it. The animations are really nice too, um, and it's all about the tactics. So I've had like my trip thunder sort of heavy focus dragon lord. Oh, this is bad. I might be out of time, depending on how long it takes Tibbs to do this. Twenty seconds. A unique. Okay, sounds good. The scholar. Go, 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 go. Ten seconds. Oh, lockdown. Tibbs, get it. Oh god. Oh, we ain't moving. Ah fuck. Ah shit. Dude, it takes so long for him to do the bombs. Oh no. I gotta get Oh, that was embarrassing. I got a unique at least. Oh no. Oh, I forgot how long it takes when you don't have them leveled up. And especially under a point of pressure. Oh god, this is a fire line. Okay. 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 Uh, Tormentor. Die, please. But the guys have cycling damage reduction? Very annoying. Defend, you coward. Second time you played fighter? Are you enjoying it? As I said, for me, when I was a kid and I played DDO for the first time, I made a Warforged Tactics fighter. This was like way back in the day um, when the level cap was 10 and I had a Warforged I had uh, Adamantine Plating, Bastard Sword Proficiency, obviously, because it was very cool. This was before Strike Through existed or anything, so there was no Strike Through. This was like, yeah, this is way back in the day. And so you had like 
fast sword proficiency. I used uh, improved trip and improved sunder. And I had this like thought process of like you enter a room and you know when in um, the, there's the depths quest. I can't remember which one it is, but where like you go through the door and there's like the two ogres and the ogre shaman. And I had this like idea in my head that I would go open that door and then there'd be like the two ogres and the ogre shaman. And I would walk up and I would trip one ogre. I would stunning blow the next ogre that would sunder the last one. And then as a team, we would start pummeling the last sundered ogre because it was like weak oh, at that yeah. point. Then I was like, yeah. And then everybody would, you know, clap and shower me with accolades because of how amazing they thought my character was. This shit never happened, but that's how I wanted it to be back in the day. And uh, that's what Dragonlord feels like. It just gives me that, that exact vibe. It feels great. It's what I wanted out of a character. All right, where am I going? Here? Back to work. Yeah, so I've got the... Um, I do have one YouTube video about the Dragonlord, but it's like the initial video that the more involved video will be coming later of like comparing the end game stuff it but the initial video is basically going over some basic builds you can play the build that i played for end game as well as like an introductory one and then the second one is going to include a chains build which will hopefully be a lot of fun for many of you um i don't want to deal with evade okay. i will uncover the secrets hidden in these shadows Okay, let's go. Did I pick up Vol Haste? Because though I did, that's probably better than the Vol Storm Call that I'm using now. I don't really need it. Another mission to do. Talk to Karst. PK favor on her with EK Chains? Yeah, Bill Chains. Cool. Was that the one that I wrote? And by the one that I wrote, I mean the one that Ludacris uh, did, and fresh, I just took right? it directly from that and didn't make any changes because I didn't need to because it was really good. Or was that like on your own? Did you make up your own Eldritch Knight Chains build? Where are we putting these bombs? Bomb here? Biz is chaos. That's probably fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. Kind of layer this area. A little nice. bit of both. Nice. Yeah. Still alive? I'm I'm streaming right now. You just have to refresh. He can't see that. That's the problem with the, the disconnection, is it drops everybody and it won't reconnect you. The only way you can reconnect is you have to manually refresh. And it basically just destroys my live stream. So um I don't really care too much about it today because like people don't watch me when I play Path of Exile anyway. It's not a big deal. Um, but for like regular days, yeah, I'm, I might have to cut the YouTube streaming until I can get that sorted because like it's just um, You know having my viewership drop from like 140 to like 30 because the stream disconnects on its own is very frustrating um, I want to fix that F5 Maybe like, isn't it your internet connection? No, it's literally just the Twitch ingest. I don't know what it is. The multi-streaming. Maybe the multi-streaming ingest won't take the stream for too many hours. I I, I don't know. It's weird because the YouTube doesn't disconnect. That's how I know it's not something I'm doing. It's like, it's only one of those two pieces actually goes. I have so many points to spend. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, man, I'm big sad. Whatever, it's fine. Flows forth from a dark mind. Said it before and I'll say it again. Life's pain. I'm bleeding. That's not good. Bleeding. We're bleeding. Essence. Essence. I don't really know what league mechanic I'm going to try to run at the, at the start. I usually just go Essence, so I can craft like a million things and just slam Essences into stuff. But since you have to do Tier 6, 
it's not going to be hard, but it is harder as a league start because getting all those super juiced essences on tier six is going to be annoying. Um, in comparison to doing a tier one, farm it out. So I don't know what the answer is. Probably go do the intro delve mission before it gets like too easy. Or... Nicely. Almost almost high enough level to use my pissigators, which is kind of crazy. I will need to harvest craft it to get like. I'll need to get like a near perfect pissigators or a perfect one and then harvest craft it so that way it replaces the quality on it with. Um... So it's like, yeah, the quality is replaced by. Uh, what do you call it? Um. Like attack speed or something for quality. I think that would be kind of good. Here. I'm talking in stream stream. I was on stream Tom. Yeah, streams stream. So the reason why I don't stream on the stream Tom YouTube channel is again another reason why YouTube is annoying. So let's say uh, uh, the problem with YouTube as a concept is that the algorithm that dictates the website. Did you break Twitch? No, it's it's working just fine. I think I was typing to refresh in the chat. You just didn't refresh. Um, or you didn't see the chat. I don't know. Um, but the reason why uh, I don't stream on the main channel is because of how YouTube functions as a website. So what I mean by that is you if you go onto Dara. YouTube, you watch a twit or a YouTube channel. But it's not really a YouTube channel. It should be more thought of as a YouTube show because that's the way the algorithm treats you. It treats you as if you're doing a single show, a single program that is one thing. Because the way that the algorithm is programmed to function, if I, as a content creator, post one type of content and then somebody who wants to see that content clicks on that content, okay, they go, oh, okay, cool. This is what you want to watch. However, if somebody doesn't click on that type of content, YouTube goes, ah, you don't want to watch this, no problem. Say no more, fam. We will take that away from you. So because I post a YouTube video like once a week, but I post, I Twitch stream multiple days a week, or I stream multiple days a week, if I stream onto the YouTube channel, somebody who wants to watch the videos, but doesn't really want to watch a live stream, because that's understandable, the video is curated, it's uh, edited down, the person who doesn't want to watch the stream but is okay watching the video, um, they see the stream and maybe they click it once and then they click off and they go, yeah, that's not for me. And then they load up YouTube and they see the stream another time and they don't click it. They just see it in their feed, because they, but they're just not interested. They like they just don't want it. So they just go like, okay, whatever. They ignore it. And then the next day they ignore it. And then the next day they ignore it. As a result, I am now out. I'm no longer in their algorithm because they ignored my content. Because the YouTube doesn't see the difference between the stream and the video. It only sees YouTube. It just says they did not click the link while they were on YouTube, therefore they are not interested. And as a result, um, the viewer, like they stopped getting recommended the videos. This is a still a existing problem. Uh, some content creators can do it if they have a, like a, either a strong there enough a or robust enough audience. Between consideration um, you know, and hesitation. Somebody you got a gigantic audience on YouTube in general, so then it kind of solves that whether people will click on the live streaming option because the percentage of people that watch live stream is significantly smaller than those that watch a video. So if you post a YouTube video to a million people, a million viewers, then you get 30,000 people actually watching the stream. That's a, that's a good turnover rate. That's not a big problem, especially if you have people like editing and adding content to your channel regularly. So it's like a daily thing. So no matter what, somebody looking at your channel is always going to find something new. Whereas for somebody like me, when I was doing it before, I was streaming directly onto the StreamTom YouTube channel. And what it did is all of a sudden I uploaded a video and I was at 10% uh, of my regular viewer count. And I looked and it was because my video wasn't being served to anyone. Because it's like, yeah, nobody wants to watch your content. Like, what about all the people that were watching the content? So I it was like I had to start a new YouTube channel over again when I streamed on the main channel. So that's why we have stream streams. It's where the streams go. Does that make sense? Twenty all res pack level. Uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We can do the do this. That actually, all this is fine. That's all good. So it's a fairy. How you doing? How are you? How was your day? Hopefully, you're doing very well. There we go. These people. Impale, umpale, dumpale. Nice. Good name. 
Giga Necromancer of Hell. Classic video game name character. How's Lee treating me? Pretty good. Um, the weapon skill is cool. The new elemental hit. Look at the colors. I don't know how well it comes through on stream, but it's so multicolored. It's awesome. I'm a huge fan. I just like the fact that it's like very shiny and pretty looking. To me, that is very cool. Um, the character is going fine so far. I'm going a little slower because I'm trying to like full clear all the acts because they said they added like new content. Uh, they didn't. They added new content to Act 1 and 2. The rest of the acts are fine. Or the same. But Act 1 and 2 are slightly different, which is kind of cool. Uh, they, where if you go into some of the side areas, you get like new new areas to go to, like basically like new quests and stuff. To do. Not like new quests, like um, they had like the mechanics. I don't want to spoil it if you're gonna do it yourself, but it was pretty cool. Um, so I enjoyed that, and now I'm just kind of rushing through the game, uh, like everybody else is. Uh, torment packs once a tormented spirit on death. That is totally pointless to me, so I'm just not even gonna adjust. Yeah, me. I'm on X7. Why do they always resort to fire? Also, there's new witch voice lines. So, she's talking about the fire. Life mods, that's good. It's gonna be May before I get a chance to start. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, especially if you're working a lot every single day and it really gets in the way. And especially if you have, like, other things you're trying to do at the same time, that also makes it difficult. If it's, like, you know, playing Path of Exile is not the only thing you have to do but you have, like, other tasks you need to take care of at the same time. Oh, hey, another unique. Dude, I found so many uniques. This is crazy. Also, I just found a really great unique because I got the Mark of Submission, which I can throw my uh, Hex in. That's actually really great. Uh, so I can have Auto Curse going, and I can go for a second curse. Actually, a good idea. I can definitely use Mark of Submission right now. Not enough mana? No, I got, I got lots of mana. Twelve hours probably looking for secure dude. Do a couple of other things. Head, watch the stream, then head to bed. She'll start all over. Nice. If I can help you relax, I'm happy about that. If I can't help you relax, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, buddy. Uh, 400% item quantity? Oh, snap. There's a lot of monsters in this forest, but the devourers having 400 quantity? Cool. Read it now, read it with the sorcerer's voice? Yeah. It's like, not enough mana. Good old sorceress. Um, so I'd love to use this, but I need the Ellie res because I'm still down fire and cold res. Really all I need. Because I can manage the rest of this. It's not a big deal. I need fire and cold res. And do I have a fire and cold res? Or sorry, lightning and cold? I have fire and lightning. I have lightning and cold and a bunch of shit. But I don't have cold on here. I could craft cold. Or I could just use it and call it a day this in here. I can take my curse. I can take my curse. The weakness. Toss that in there. And now I'm overcapped anyway. I don't have to cast anymore, which is convenient. On a whole other level. It's a lot. It's just a lot of free damage on regular monsters that I don't want to curse. Yeah, I do want to get Assassin's Mark, so I should probably get that for bosses. Um, it's probably a good idea. Can I put Curse on Hidden here? Assassin's Mark? I can literally fit it right now. Ooh, can I get an extra Curse? Uh, I gotta clear the area here. Hold on. Um, one. Two, three. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. I can get an extra curse. Hilarious. All right. That was easy. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what items I'm going to use. Well, that was fast. Back in we go. Hey, yowza. Hello, I Lily. I require Mark. On hit. And Assassin's Mark. Assassin's Mark. 
mark on it, and we're done. That was easy. Uh, okay, back to um, back to town. It's gonna be a huge increase in my single target damage. It means I just everything is always cursed, which is very convenient. Monster pack level. I mean, there's a lot of apes. More damage granted pack members. I'm gonna take the monster pack level. Gives me more XP. So when I get to 59, I get a huge jump in power. Hello there. Hello, Rog. How are you? Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? 200% increased chance of life modifiers. Oh, yeah. It's dirty work. Okay, 50 percent more rares. It's good. Um, monsters pen chaos res. That's probably fine. Monsters crit more often. That that's placement. probably fine. Monsters generate life. That mod can go straight to hell. I will get the marked mod, so marked enemies cannot regenerate life, which will be very handy. I don't currently have that mod. Out of here, bad guys. Stay, stay. Nice. That was good. So yeah, overall, character feeling pretty strong. Yeah. It's not like the fastest thing I've ever played. Not the best thing I've ever played. But for a wand build, honestly, this is like the smoothest wand build I've done so far. Outside of like the. Um, Again, the like the one build that's just uh, actually just secretly applying dots the whole time, it's not really using one skills. Uses kinetic blast to apply dots. Well, I've automated almost every element of my build, so that's always fun. All I'm missing is the automated enduring cry, and then I'm pretty much in the clear. The kinetic bolts bleed. Uh, yeah, the kinetic as the kinetic blast be bleed feels better, but the kinetic blast bleed isn't really a wand build. Like it's a wand, and like that's the tool you use to use corrupting fever, but it's not really, not really any wand involvement. If if that makes any sense, like the stats in your wand are irrelevant. You just need something that deals wand attack. You're just using it as like a vector for it. If I'm like. I don't even look at the, the screen with the wand. I just go like, oh yeah, wand's fine, whatever, hit people. Oh, I mean, it's just Poet's Pen. Poet's Pen is cool, but Poet's Pen, in my opinion, Poet's Pen, I think, is very different than like your like a regular wand build. Get out of here, jerk. Hear the thunder? Uh, I just have it on. I don't need Herald of Thunder, I just have it. I wasn't sure what else to use. So I just had Herald of Thunder, because sometimes it breaks breakables. Convenient. Screen. You need to do in your game when you said you, you need more power. I do. Honestly, true. Big true. I do need more power. It would help. Good job, Exile. Oh thanks. I do feel like I did a good job. Thank you, Alva. It's so nice when people compliment you on how you're doing. By creatures. I just don't know what else to do for the mana. For the reservation. To point out all the monsters when you play? Yeah, dude. It's it's difficult because, like, you know, games like Path of Exile and stuff. Like, Path of Exile is very violent with a lot of very adult themes. But also, like, monsters burst into flames with these big ice blasts. Like, it's not like... It's not trying to simulate real-world violence. It's gonna sound... Maybe crazy, but you know the there isn't somebody with a wand whipping blasts all over the place, uh, you know, in down downtown Ottawa. Ever, it's just not not really the same thing. And so, and also, there's a lot of like really pretty colors in these games, especially in Path of Exile when you start getting like the micro transactions and stuff going. Uh, there's so many pretty colors, and then the sound effects like that shatter sound effect, mm, that that crunch, crunch, crunch. 
So good. good job. This. Okay. The winds of change billow. Risen St. John's? True. There probably is somebody with a wand shooting out kinetic blasts in St. John's. I actually can believe that. Peace. Fire from your eyes and lightning from your eyes in real life too? Uh, not usually. Depends on if I like to eat some like soup, really spicy Thai food. Then sometimes. The forbidden book spoke of you. Go back to the nothingness from whence you came. Hmm, reduce damage from bleeding? Mm, sounds good to me. Let's go. Not Scottish, no. No, no, no. Not Scottish. I have no Scottish ancestry. Oh, there's anything wrong with that. I just don't have any. Did I get all the fireflies? I don't know. Oh, fireflies. Bring them to Yina. Okay, so I did do that. Where did I miss Alva? What? I did two out of three, and I have no idea where the third one is. Well, you know, it is like that sometimes. Sometimes you just don't know where the fucking monster is. Alright, let's move on. Also, I apologize for cursing after you immediately said your small child is looking at the screen. I am very good at uh, moderating my tone, or like, you know, policing my own tone most of the time. Unless I'm like really tired. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I'm still under the weather for reasons I don't super want to talk about here. But that'll go away. That'll pass. Like everything else in life, it passes. And if somebody, if you're like, wait a minute, Shrimp, I'm feeling under the weather. You say that pretty often. And, uh, yeah, that too is also exhausting. <laughs> that part's also tiring. Uh, it is, it is what it is. Ooh, physical modifier tears. Dude, I don't want that at all. I hope there's somebody to feed that to. I don't know if anybody's playing physical modifier, but if you want physical modifier corpses, I'm your guy, dude. Oh, I thought he said he was looking at gear. He was like checking stuff in DDO. I don't think he said he was farming. Like look at the gear, you know? Just take it, put it in the inventory, stare at it. Kind of rub your temple a little bit while you look at it, you know? Just heavy breathing. <laughs> Yes, this skill too, the pretty colors. God, I love the, the tri-elemental effect. It's very good. Very good looking. Yeah, drink water. Good call. Really trying to pat plan out the passive tree as I'm running around doing the quests. Which is not a great idea. I should have already had that planned out. I should have like written a build, but I kinda of just like I was like, yeah, I'll wing it. It'll be fine. I know generally what I want. So I figured that would be fine enough. But, and in general, that's also pretty accurate. I have a reasonable expectation of what I need. Your, your children can trust me with their banking info. Hmm. Is that, is that what they can trust you with? So why are children running around with banking info? Honestly, if you have a kid and they know, like, they've memorized, like, 
you know, they're there if you, you know, because I, I think it's probably, I, I assume you give kids a bank account at something when they're like a pretty young age. I Well, not like really, really young, but you know, to get them to understand the idea of a bank. It's probably like a thing. I don't know how old you have to be, but where your parents go, hey, by the way, we're bringing you to the bank. You can have your own bank account. And you like teach them about how the bank works or something. I don't know what age that is. But then if your kid like very quickly memorizes their banking information, like their transit number and all that other stuff, it's like, ah, it's probably a bad thing if they memorize that. That's a red flag right there. What level? I'm currently 58. I'm a little over leveled because I'm just kind of doing everything. Heists on the agenda for what you are up to, then hopefully you're not trying to make off with our host's fine furnishings with your light fingers. You had, dude. I'm not even. I'm not even playing DDO. I'm not even playing DDO. And yet still, I am somehow being accosted. For making off with the host's fine furnishings. Listen. This is not the Endless Rebels. There are no satyrs here. It's fine. We're good. Alright, back to town. I got a town. I can't even pick up this thing. Turn in all my points. Get all my skill points. Blah, blah, blah. The test of instinct has reset. It never ends, dude. It never ends. Uh, the test of instinct has reset. I bet it has. That's a bad item. That's a bad item. This one? Bad item. Be kind if you can. Got a jeweler's orb from a recipe, apparently. I have things to do. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I can use Pissicator's. Oh! Pissicator's vigil's mine! Yes! Okay, so why is Pissicator's good? It's because uh, this item gives. Uh, no physical damage, which you think would be bad, except my skill, uh, which is up here, has no non-elemental damage. So no physical and no uh, chaos, which means it's perfectly fine to use. This also grants high attack speed, high critical strike chance, 100% uh, increased Ellie damage, and 5 Ellie pen, as well as a bunch of accuracy, which means I don't really need accuracy anywhere else. It kind of takes care of it all on its own. Versus mine, which just has crit and not really any attack speed. So I get more crit, way more attack speed, and then 100% damage, which is pretty good. And this weapon should, for the most part, carry me through most of the game. That's a 100% damage. Last I like playing in Diablo 2? Uh, it depends. I would say I would say it depends. Uh, is probably going to be my classic, classic answer. Um, so, I mean, Sorceress is always a classic, uh, but I think it really depends on the specifics of the build. So I like playing Sorceress, and pretty much every Sorceress build is fun. There's no bad ones. Um, the Enchantress uh, on my last time playing through Diablo was really, really, really fun. Um, I always try to play Fire Claws Druid, and it's always a bad idea, but I like Wind Druid because just fewer immunities you have to deal with. Uh, Bone Necro, also a classic. I just love Bone Necro, dude. Bone Necro is so, so fun. So fun. Such a good character to play. Um, how do I get Spell Suppression? It's like a huge problem. How do I get spell suppression? Here? Spell suppression? Here? I mean, this is a lot of spell suppression. It's really efficient. And this also lets me get pierce. Which I can just take now for leveling purposes. And then I can go back and get this. I don't know if I need this many pierces, but I'm just going to do that for now. Seems good. Um... I'm gonna go do Aspirin's Plaza. I need a skill gem. I'm just gonna go because I can't leave enemies alive. True. Uh, so yeah, so usually I do a lot of that. Uh, I pretty much never play Barb. I'm not a big Barb fan. I don't care much about Barbarian. Uh, Barbarian's fine. Actually, I'm gonna go do the cause. Finish off the cosmo first. And then I'll come back. Yeah, I don't really care too much for Barbarian. Uh, I never have. Uh, Chaos Orb. Oh, snap. Um, honestly, there's going to be a lot of these, so that seems good. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of a lot of these. If I do that. Um, Amazon, I did play my first Javazon, um, like my first like real Javazon, not like kid me attempting to play a Javazon, but like a real you know, for real these honest to goodness Javazon, and I don't lie, I had a lot of fun with it. It was really good. Um, I enjoyed just the the pace at which I could rip apart. 
uh, the cows in the cow level, so that was very satisfying. Um, good old cow level. I also have... I'm trying to think of the other classes right now. I said Druid. I honestly don't really like Assassin. Maybe I just haven't played the right Assassin build, but I've never really liked Assassin. It's easily my least played class in Diablo 2. Uh, not a huge fan of that in any capacity. The Paladin's fine. Sorcerer's good. Um, I'm missing a base class. Amazon Paladin, Barbarian, Necromancer, Sorceress, and Druid, and Assassin. Yeah, no, that's it. Kick ass, Assassin. Kick assin. Also, yeah, Sork means you don't have to farm for Enigma. True. Big true. I also don't like Hammerden. Maybe it's because I've never played Hammerden with Enigma, but I've just never really liked Hammerden. Also, you know what I know it's the worst? Is, um... Uh, fucking, what do you call it? Um... Fire Golem. Awful. Literally just one of the worst things in the entire game that you can play. There's pretty much nothing worse than Fire Golem. Really get my ducks in a row? Oof. It's not cold here, it's nice and warm. Uh, I played, I tried to do Fire Golem, Justice and I pulled Fire Golem all right. the way to hell in uh, the last time I played D2R. But then, because I didn't want to actually fully gear it, I um, I went and got, uh, I used a save editor to get all of literal perfect gear for Fire Golem. And I had like a level 50 Fire Golem or something like that. Like it was a crazy number. It was a disgusting, stupid number that should never exist in Diablo 2. I was like a level 50 fire golem. I had a major, like extremely high lower resist, so I could strip, like make monsters to be at like minus 100 and something on all of their resistances. Oh, the and traveler uh, close to the end I couldn't get fire path. golem to kill like anything in An hell act three. That was not fire me, non fire me. Like regular vulnerable to fire monsters. And the fire golem was just like unable to do anything to them. It was so sad. It was very upsetting. <laughs> Poor Fire Golem. He was trying his best. Enjoy the reprisal. By the goddess. What ambition. No, don't hit me. You're dead. What the fuck? He just said he's dead. You're dead. Go away. You just said you're dead. You can't keep attacking. You died. God damn it. Did you have a Only Golem build? Golem very bad in Diablo 2. Summons very bad in Diablo 2. Summons are great for um, normal. But they start to struggle a lot in Nightmare, and they're basically useless in Hell. I don't think it's even possible to play a summon in Hell. No build. Like, you wanna know how Fire Golem beat Hell? Uh, the answer is in a party. Fire Golem was awesome in a party. Because it turns out just having somebody spamming lower resist on every monster was really handy for everyone else. Oh yeah, Paladin. Um, Conviction Paladin. Conviction Paladin, very fun. Um, with Vengeance. Big fan of Vengeance Paladin. It's not the best Paladin, but rock, Rocking Conviction, dropping enemies' resistances, and then pulling out the Conviction, and you pretty much are just every group loves you, because you join a, a party and all the monsters' resistances go down minus 200. Um, so Conviction Paladin, also pretty good. Uh, this is a Shroud Puzzle. Go. Solve. By the way, if you're wondering how I solved this, so the Cubicle Ninja puzzle solver under Monastery has a PoE setup where you click it and it gives you this. So whoever works on this, I guess JJ Flanagan. Uh, actually has a Path of Exile set up for this. <laughs> for doing this puzzle. It's funny. Oh yeah, Fist of Heavens, also amazing. Yeah, huge fan. Great for Chaos Sanctuary. You can just farm Chaos all day. 
Which, when it's Terror Zone, is amazing. Good. Good. I think the golem did much easier to throw out the clay for some sort of healing. Yeah, you, the clay golem, you just put it out. Like, you just put the clay golem out there. It sometimes slows enemies that it hits, and that's basically why you have it. That's why you have a golem. Iron golem bad. Blood golem bad. Fire golem bad. Summons entirely bad in Diablo 2. The only reason why summons can be good is that if you play Druid, you can get the Grizzly Bear. And if you have the the synergies for it, the Grizzly Bear has like 50,000 hit points or something. And so it just stays alive. It's great. A lot of these guys. What's going on here? That's yeah, a random hex. I don't like that. I'll probably need to get some more hit points at some point, but uh, I'm feeling good for now. If so much, uh, so much damage, do I even need hit points? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. I absolutely need hit points. Quest I'm trying not to think completed. about it. Oh, Great Wolf, welcome back to the stream team. Appreciate the support. I hope you're doing very well. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I hope you're enjoying your day. Hope everything is going well with you on this uh, good Friday. And thank you for the soap. This is how I want to spend my Good Friday. Smashing undead. Isn't that the holiest thing you could possibly do? That's right. It basically is. Two Levains and get the bread. Dude, feed the starter. Uh, the I hate that. Come. You don't need to feed the starter. Or feed them from your starter. Ugh. I was, you thought it was Friday? So well, it's good Friday. It's like the this the enemies. Friday. Yeah, 100 tonight. Uh, somebody killed Searing Exarch and Eater of Worlds. So that's Searing Exarch and Eater of Worlds in seven and a half hours. That's fucked. That's crazy to me. Accept no impasse. Because these are solo players too. That's the that's the you wacky part. Inexhaustible. Wisdom. Man, it was fish. Yeah, I don't know if fish is meat. And time. It, and it basically is meat. But I don't know. Proximity shields. Fish doesn't count because it's not of the land. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if somebody who grew up Catholic, went to a Catholic school, and is, some, and is currently very, very not religious. I have never understood the either don't eat meat on Friday and or whatever. Like, there's, I, I. No, like, basis in it. It's just like, just don't do it. You're like, why? And it's like, stop asking fucking questions and put down the ham hock before I beat your ass. And you're like, okay, Jesus Christ. And you're like, don't say his name in vain. And you're like, oh, God. It takes 5.2 seconds for him to get here if you say his name. Watch out. Sold a ton of wine. Yeah, I can leave that. Long move, eh? Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Oh. Turn the water to the wine. If you sold a lot of wine, would you say that you were a wizard of the wine? Here we go. In here, nice game for crit. The pursuit of Discover power the power that lies within. Affair. Uh, I don't think that's double enchant, but I honestly don't know. Discover the power that lies within. Is that a free key? I think it's a free key. I I do enjoy wine. Wine's nice. Depends, like, on the type of wine. I'm not a big fan of red wine. Now, that being said, if you're like, oh, you're not a fan of red wine, so you don't really drink it? No, well, I mean... If, like, I'm at a social gathering and someone's like, hey, do you want some wine? And then they have red, I'm not going to be like, no, thank you. I would not like some wine. I'll be like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll take a glass of red. Mm. Go, 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 
glug, 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 glug. More of my my speed. It's red wine. An aspirant can afford to an adult grape juice. Mm. An emperor stuff. must keep you those must navigate your empire through troubled waters. Navigate your empire through troubled waters. Zoom! Stop attacking me, buddy. Don't give up yet. Goodbye. Wait, I teleported really far away. Is Give me your keys, nerd. All right. So we have Transfigured Gem. Here we go. And Bazinga. All right. Lightning Spire Trap of Overloading. Garbage. Essence Strain of Wickedness. I believe this is the new one. Um, regenerate 50% of debuff damage as life. This is the new one that heals you for the debuff. So the old one in didn't used to have that. This is, this is a new one. The only used to have like lifesteal. Cold snap of power. Power charge. Cold snap. I mean, if I want to play it, I'll take the essence train. I don't know. It's kind of neat. I don't know anyone playing any of those other builds, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, but a boo, but a bee. I I don't know what port is. I'm gonna be honest. I you know maybe that's. Me being a rube, I have literally no clue. Should I go ahead and drink a port? Like, the the whole port? All of it? You just dunk your head in the water and just like... Just slurp up the whole port? It's crazy. New wand? Yeah, I put the new wand on a little while ago. It was very good. It's more new golem. Oh, this. No, I have Pissicator's Vigil. I don't need anything. I literally can't use a better wand until I craft something. Uh, whoops. I'm on fire! Ah. The fact that this makes you on fire is so funny. Yeah. It's it's just something I've never never experienced personally. Um okay, now I need chaos golem. Pure chaos. See ya. And now I have a chaos golem. So now in a town. Here. Now I have crazy attack speed, which is nice. And more damage, because I get damage for that. So this is 4,600 damage. It's kind of cool. I understand how the math comes out here, though. I do way more than that damage per second. So, like, this, the damage on this is just so wrong. I don't know what my actual DPS is, but it's not whatever this says. It's way higher than this. Um, That's not including anything else. And now we have 31 physical damage reduction, which is nice from the Chaos Golem. I got all my Golem buddies. Let's go on an adventure. Copium? Hey man, what's wrong what's wrong with my copium, okay? Since I'm huffing it as fast as I can. Feta bruschetta? Oh man. Feta bruschetta sounds amazing. Yeah, I'll take two please. Uh that'd be great. And it's mostly a problem of I didn't make dinner. So uh yesterday, I mentioned this on stream, I forgot to buy groceries. And so last night I was like, oh you know what? I'll just get some groceries in the morning. Uh, it's a holiday, so I didn't do that. So, I just don't really have any groceries. That's why I'm playing Path of Exile. <laughs> Solves one of those problems. Can't think about being hungry if you literally can't be hungry. I'm busy. I'm gaming, man. I'm gamer, man. I don't need anything else. I stop by. It's a bit of a drive to Michigan, and I don't have a car. But, you know what? You're on. Deal. I think this character is going to work really well for mapping and very poorly for bossing. But we'll see. Feeling good though. My character feels very powerful. Act modifiers. What have you got for me today? Want to go to bed in winter? Get some? Yeah. Going to bed is also a good idea. I mean, it's getting late. It's like it's already 10.30 here. And I know, obviously, uh, some people stay up very, very late in the evening. Yeah, it's, it's important to relax, chill, hang out. 
not stay up too, too late. Die, bastards. Noble Lash. Or Noble Ash? Noble Lash? I don't know. Uh, more damage for each monster pack. Honestly, all these things are fine. I don't care about any of this. Just gonna go. They're all like tier 4, tier 5. So you'd assume it'd be dangerous, but... Fire and Ignite Resistance. I love that. Yeah, there's probably some stats I don't know about that I'm missing. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out in terms of some of this stuff. Um, like other ways to scale this. Also, gem level matters a lot. So I think that getting... If I had like a wand that had like plus to... Like, you know, fire gems plus to whatever gems. I think it's only really spell skill gems. So again, I think that's why the uh, Ashes of Stars really comes to clutch there. I think it's only really spell skill gems and elemental hit isn't one. Get an Empower going. Empower 4 or Awakened Empower... Five or whatever it is. That's what you need. The awakened and power five. Not that expensive. Throw it in there. Build her up. Yeah. My biggest worry is I'm. I have no idea how I'm going to prevent myself from dying to everything because I have no spell suppression. So it's not a big problem here, but when I get to maps, it's gonna I'm just gonna get popped by literally everything. And I don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna get some spell suppression, but eh, yeah. Ugh. Nice. I didn't know I could actually make it across that. I was just hoping, so I'm jamming the button as fast as I could. Get away from me, spiders! Get away! Maybe just get spell block. Ooh, monsters can drop abyss jewels. That's kind of cool. Also help out when I have more crit as well. You lose a bit of weight while back. Find it here. Um, yeah, true. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't like been actively trying to lose weight. I've just been trying to get more exercise than anything else so i've been using uh i have my exercise bike i've been using that every day which is good just spend like half an hour doing you know spinning the wheels uh get some good exercise tomorrow i'm not gonna be using the exercise bike because i'm gonna be out for like half of the day there's a big pokemon go event so i'm gonna be out doing all of that which should be fun Bell suppress spell suppression I guess if I get boots and like gloves that have spell suppression, it should be okay. Like 14 server, I remember. I ended up in a long session of what a stone is. Yeah, I have, I have no fucking idea. I, I still don't know. So if you're like, oh, how many stone are you? I can't answer that question. I've already forgotten that information. To me, it's irrelevant. So I do not know how many stone I am. Stop spitting on me. One stone equals 14 pound. Hmm. That does seem like a lot. Uh, but I don't know. I don't actually have a scale, so I haven't measured myself in quite a while. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Look at those weapons. Okay, maybe I should have, like, only had the... Oh. 400 quantity on bears? Just kill all the bears? Okay, deal. Kill all the bears. Stone alone, shadow. Yeah, maybe. I'm not. I'm not that big of a boy. What with such large walls? I'm very happy I started exercising a lot before I went to like max because I found that like being on my feet all day and having to walk around was not as challenging as I thought it was going to be. Um, because I was very worried that I wasn't gonna be able to handle it, and I seemed to do it pretty good. The only thing that hurt still was like like my actual feet because I don't walk. I just exercise. So my cardiovascular system handled it just fine, but my feet were, like, in so much pain after walking all day, every day. Because I'm just not used to being on my feet for 10 hours, let alone, like, walking around for 10 hours. So it's fine. I just, like... I'm, I'm surprised. I also didn't get any blisters, which I was shocked about. 
had to look good for that. True. I had to look good for that. Yeah, I've still haven't gone back and actually looked at any of it. I imagine it's completely unlistenable because that's what everybody told me is that you can't hear like anything that's going on in there. It just sounds awful. Which again, I totally believe. It's, I was there. It, you couldn't hear anything in the room we were in. Like in the physical space, you couldn't hear the people you were talking to. So like, I'm trying to imagine how it, bad it would have been like to actually have it on stream. Because we didn't have any like microphones or anything set up, which is uh, unfortunate. But like, you know, it, they did their best. It is what it is. Oh no, it'd go 404. Again? Did the stream go down again? Hail. I guess you can't tell me if it did. I still see you? No. No stream the imager link? Oh, the imager link. Oh yeah, we have to pester horse. To fix it. It's a horse problem. Ah, oh, crap. Well, can't fix that. I, I didn't see it. I'm tired. <laughs> I just I just stood there and died. I didn't see that at all. Nope. I saw nothing. I just stood there and died. Good enough for me. Very funny. Um Godslayer. Godslayer. Hey, Godslayer. Godslayer over here, Godslayer. Godslayer. Should have left your computer doing a chair stream ago, unless you were ready to find out the chair did better. Um, it's more so just that, like, unless I, I, I guess I could have muted the mic, but like, I just didn't want to have the, the the thing possibly like recording the house while I'm gone. Also, I think you're not allowed to leave streams unattended, but maybe they've changed that ruling because people do like sleeping on stream and stuff. But I guess it's like you have to have like a moderation team set up if you wanted to do that. I don't Go. Oh, is that a coral? No, that's a different kind of amulet. Okay, let's get all the stuff. Orbs of fusing and a bunch of crap. All right, good. This is true. Nice. Crap. Yeah, I need a strength. I need to get the strength dex amulet. That's for sure. Danig, eh? All right, let's get this going here, and we'll do this, and like monsters bleed, whatever, monsters crit, no problem. And I hope they don't do lightning damage, because they penetrate a lot of lightning resistance. Yeah, damage. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but I'm just shooting my attack, and it seems to be going good. Glorious. Nice, great job, team. I don't know. What I got a logbook, and I got another one of these, <laughs> another shackles of the wretched. That's so funny. Oh, it's like one of the worst uniques in the whole game. I've gotten two so far. I love that. Element lit. Yeah, bud. Cat stream? Yeah, there's no way I can get the cat to sit still for long enough to actually do a stream with the cat. It's a fanciful idea, it's just not feasible. Destroyed. Does it explode on each target hit? I need to figure that out. It does. Okay, good. An explosion on each target hit. So as it passes through, if there's big enough AOE, it'll have multiple explosions. Alright, that makes sense. Posture check. Oh. The foulest thaumaturgy hangs in the air. Alright. I approve. Nice. That's pretty good. 
Act 8? Damn, dude. That's crazy. Making it all the way to Act 8 feels real good. You know what he feels even better? Uh, oh, I can't see it. Slash ladder. Fucking be in level 89. <laughs> I have 160 million XP. That guy's got 1.9 billion with a B. God damn, these people are fast. There's an elementalist. Man, Sinacle, Ged, Ged, Keller. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. But you know what's even better than that? That's right. It's the end of the live stream. Uh, I'm tired, and I just uh, need to take a break. Need to get some food. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, thank you for tuning in. I hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll be back um, either Sunday or Monday. Monday for sure, but I might stream Sunday because I, I, I kind of I'm just going to play more Path of Exile, so I'm probably going to stream it, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I'll be back on Monday for sure for some more Dungeons & Dragons online content. If you missed uh, the uh, if you missed out or you want to get some more content, always check out the uh, YouTube channel. I've got more videos there. I've got a video about Dragon Mode, which you can always catch up on. Other than that, I'm tired. I still have these DDO posters to give away. So these are posters. I'm going to come up, try to come up with a way to give these posters away. I'm going to be mailing them to people. So I'm hopefully going to have like a good contest or something to take care of. But uh, we'll see. And uh, that's all I get. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Uh, I'm very tired. I'm like sleepy. I need to definitely get some rest. Oh, the old get some rest trick. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, bye bye. Enjoy your day. See you later. Or, 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 or,